evening, party people. My name is Cameron, and I'm joined by the lovely Kirsten, aka a corrupted Jasper. Hello. Who's found her way behind the bar this evening for a very special episode where we're exploring. What are we doing? Uh, wine cocktails, if I'm not mistaken. Wine cocktails. You drank it here first from the grapevine. Amy Chow's popped in who says, hey, Jasper. Hey, Cameron. Hi, Amy Chow. Hello. Are you? Another beautiful guest of the bar stream once upon a time. Yes, yes. Back when we were doing a, a fizzes and flips, we had egg cocktails. Yes, I remember. I was watching from home. We've got so many people coming out of the bar these days. We've got more people coming on, too. It's just so exciting around here. But in any case, tonight's cocktail stream is inspired by the grape. What type of grape? It's mostly mus Very muscat. Yes grapes uh, various different types of grapes um i don't know what you know we'll get into that yes wines come from grapes they can come from any grape particularly i don't unlike like tea for example which comes from like a particular like genus of plant like you can make wine out of any type of grape or any other any type, type of, of fruit fruit indeed too and you don't need to like it, there's like, there's also you can use grain too like barley wines and stuff Although, we're not getting into that stuff. The yeah, because whole... <laughs> then it just gets like vermouth and gin and just the other stuff. If you put grape, it's complicated. <laughs> if you put grape in it, it could come about in many different forms. Yes. But in, these, in this case, we've got a bunch of wines from a local winery, specifically Tomasella Winery this evening, where we're just going to go through and make a bunch of cocktails with them. I, and honestly, I would love to spend uh, an hour or so more of your time and your time and our time to be able to go through the history of wine, its prevalence in culture, its prevalence in the, the process of how you make them. However, I took an entire college course on wine, me just, just kind of rubbing my ego for a little bit there. I remember none of that information, and if I quoted any of it, I'd probably be misquoting it, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, like, I think <laughs> alcohol itself is, like, prehistoric. Oh my gosh, yeah. Amy Chow says, technically, you can make tea out of many herbs and fruits, too. Also includes barley. This is true. This fair is enough. True. See? Fair enough. Tea's varietal. Wines are varietal. Classification varietal. is very varietal. And it's a whole entire field all on its own. Yes. I, I feel like it's definitely somebody's job to go out there and, like, look at a wine and the process and be like, hmm. Actually, you wouldn't call it this type of wine. You call it this type of wine. And I believe those people are called sommeliers. Sommeliers, indeed. Som sommelier. I don't know what the. I'm not French, so. I yeah, I don't know. know I am partially French, and I don't even know what that means. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm French at all. I got the Germans in me. I got beer and stuff. And the Italians. Never mind. There is some wine in there. Yep. Table wine. Vino, vino de table. Anyway, me attempting to breach culture lines. What kind of wines do we have this evening? Um, I do... You sourced pretty much every single one of them, so I'll just I'll let it take it from here. Well, yeah, and also kind of funny how Amy Chow is one of the first ones on stream. She actually helped me source a few of these. <gasps> Another curator um, out there in the crowd. Specifically the blackberries and cream a la mode she helped me source. Delicious. Um, this daffodil white that she was particularly happy to have you try. Oh, the daffodil white? Does yes. it actually utilize daffodils? Oh! Uh, like, why do, why don't they call it the daffodil? Do -do -do. Is there dill pickle in there? I don't know. It Does doesn't it say? have What's any the back ingredients. Of the oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh, well, we'll get to what our what our plan will be is to start things off. There's a lot of different wines here. We also have cocktails planned, and we, maybe we'll mix up a couple of things on our own as well because we pretty much uh, there's so many different things to do. Oh yeah, and we'll uh, we'll try to we'll try to taste them all first, kind of see what we're working with, and then make some cocktails out of them. Yeah, because you want to know what you're working with, and when it comes to like local wineries and stuff. Mm -hmm. Always good to find your favorites. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to trying pretty much all of them because I don't think I've tried any of these wines except for this cranberry Moscato back here. I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I You have, because oh. I did give you an Anna a bottle of it. Of the cranberry? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I figured it was going to be one that... I... Very sour taste. Very sour. Very good in cocktails. Indeed. I figured Anna you guys really would like really, really like this. Anna's a huge fan of the sour cranberry stuff. Actually, I think one of her favorite drinks is like you take the cranberry juice and you put it with like pineapple juice or like orange juice and stuff and just put a little vodka in it. Yeah. Various different types of breeze drinks. Exactly. Image is saying daffodil because it's right in its it's light in color, color and, and flavor. flavor. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I Again, because I like sweet wines, it was a little bit funky for me, but everybody is different. I'm so curious. 
Well, then let's crack it open. We have the daffodil wine, and we'll also introduce these other wines pretty much as we, as we go along. I think that'll be the way that we play things around here. Yeah, so let me hand you your cordial. <gasps> Thank you. We are actually tasting, We have. I have not just the wines that you see before you, but there's a ton of other wines that I have up in the front of the bar area. There was some meat up there. There's other cream wines up there from various other vineyards and stuff. Yes, I was... I saw one of them down there that was from Bollock Winery that's also somewhat local. Oh, yeah, because I bought that over in uh, Clinton. Yeah, that one I would also be very willing to try. Ooh. So we'll start things off with a little bit of wine tasting. Not really a recipe per se. We're just gonna go through them, see how far that takes us. Tasting, tasting, tasting. Delicious. Yes. There's a lot of wines here, so I would just like to remind everyone that where there is a bucket over here, yes, which can the bucket also of function destiny. as a spittoon if we so want it to be. Yes. <laughs> Amy Chow is... Oh, and never mind. That was the same comment as before. I get yes. so mixed up sometimes. Okie dokie. So first, we'll, we'll kind of... Scooch these. We'll scooch these guys off to the side a little yeah, bit, make a little bit of a runway. Yeah, for... I suggest we do the a la mode ones specifically last. Last, because those actually... are cream wines. Cream if we wines. have anything sour, that's going to curdle. It's going to well, it's going to be weird. I yeah, don't you're right. think either of us want to drink cheese. No, I don't really want any of that. Although, you know, you could, I wonder if you could do, because they're a cream wine, there's like a clarification as a process for cocktails where you mix it specifically with something that's sour, and then you let it curdle, and you strain out all the solid curds. And then what you look behind with is something that's clarified. You can do that with like milk and I did it accidentally with like rum clarified cream. cream. Exactly. Exactly like that. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So the first wine that we have in our beautiful wine tasting section is this Daffodil White Premium Semi-Dry White Table Wine from Tomasella Winery. Tomasella Winery has crafted a collection of four seasonal wines to celebrate your seasonal moments. Each of these wines is made to capture the essence of the season. Daffodil White is a premium semi-dry white wine with hints of fruit. It is perfect served chilled with cilantro-laden salsas and as a dinner wine with citrus grilled chicken or shrimp fra diablo. Daffodil Wine is the essence of spring all the best charlie and jack tomasello the third generation winemakers well thank you charlie and jack and what a beautiful description too it seems oh yes i love how this is <laughs> i was like daffodil what could it possibly be amy chow says it's the essence of spring and i was like yes i the bottle says essence of spring i wonder could it become, uh, what it could possibly be could it possibly be spring could it be summer i guess we're in spring right now so i guess that makes sense yes so what does it smell like i feel like Grape juice. <laughs> I just realized too. We're drinking these out of like. I, I feel like if we were proper sommeliers, I feel like we'd have a bigger wine glass so we can really swirl, swirl these wines around and like give them the full. Yes. Do you want to? We can. I've got bigger wine glasses. That we do. Since you are. Oh, wait, they both have. I'm Cameron oh. with the X, so I'll take the one with the X on it. Oh. And I guess we could always, I don't know what the best way to like reuse, we're gonna wind up reusing glasses. There's no way that I'm, I'm gonna, I don't have enough wine glasses for all that stuff. I think it was one of the jiggers. It was one of the jiggers. Oh, classy. I bought a couple more of those so we're not I like noticed. vying for the same resource. I noticed. Daffodil wine. And Kirsten, what kind of, are we seeing any legs on this guy? Are we seeing any, uh, any drippy droppies? I legs or tears? I believe. see too many tears on this to be honest tears or stuff hmm. usually you, you can kind of see on wines i say this with like absolutely no it, there's none on here at least from what i can see otherwise we'd pull up the cocktail angle to check it but sometimes you can actually see these little tears that are falling down from the sides of the glass depending on how much sugar is in it and how viscous the wine is i would say this is kind of a straw color maybe even less than that me trying yeah this to, is fairly clear me trying to <laughs> take some inklings from that class i took a while ago Smells like white wine. Mm -hmm. It's kind of citrusy, almost like a pear or lemon. But there's like there's almost something in there that's like almost cleaning producty, and not quite like like floral, I guess. It's springtime. Springtime for daffodils. Yes. Shall we? Indeed. Hmm. It's sweet. I like that. It's very. It's a lot more like kind of. It's like a little, little buttery, maybe? I'm getting a lot Definitely more floral. fruit notes than last time. Mm -hmm. It's very That's grapey. That's interesting. I would say like it's almost, it's almost kind of tastes like a peach. peach. Peachy flavor there, almost like a tad, like a teensy bit pineapple-y. More so on kind of like the sting of a pineapple. 
Thank you. Right? Right. Getting a little bit of that. And it's also interesting because I don't remember tasting that stuff when I first had it because it was chilled. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess technically none of these are chilled, are they? Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, for the people who don't live here, they have to travel a distance in order to get here, and Kirsten did bring along all these wines, so there wouldn't have been enough time to really... Unless we stuck them in the freezer. But that can actually affect the flavor in a negative yeah. way. Yeah. So we're like, nah, nah. We're working with the limitations that we have here. But daffodil wine, if we had to... Let's see. It's got fruity notes to it. It's not super dry. It is rather sweet. Not like overwhelmingly sweet. A very pleasant type of sweetness. And I'm getting like notes of like fruit on it like... It definitely you know, does have a springy note to it. I can see that. Like everything's blossoming. Everything's starting to bloom. Because I would think like if we were to do something, let's say wintry, I feel like it would have like more spice notes to it. I think. Yes. If it was like fall, probably the same thing. And if it was summer, I feel like it would have to be more sweet in summer. Yeah, more sweet, definitely more fruity. Mm -hmm. Semi-sweet, lightly dry, floral, but with fruit notes. Spring, because it's springtime. At least as of this recording, it seems. Yes. Daffodil wine. Tasty. Very tasty indeed. Yes. Which one should we try next? We have a multitude of, I think the only ones that are remaining on this side of the bar, the right hand side from your perspective, is a bunch of Moscato wines. We have a, if I'm saying this Cranberry, right, blueberry, and watermelon going from watermelon, back to front. Watermelon, indeed. Um, the... Cranberry, a blueberry. Yes. The watermelon. The cranberry I actually got from uh, their Smithville location. The watermelon is actually from my personal collection because oh, I have an extra nice. bottle. So what a wonderful donation. Yes, and since I didn't have an extra bottle of it, I did grab a bit bottle of blueberry because that is the one that I personally would really like you to try. And if I'm being honest, as was the one I was looking the most forward to. I feel like you've been talking about the blueberry Moscato wine for a very long time. I'm just have. completely teasing me about it, and I was like, oh, this is the ex perfect excuse to just say like, you have to come up for show so that you can give me the blueberry moscato and i can just keep it and walk away with it and like never have to do the street again just <laughs> my precious blueberry wine but i'm gonna save myself from it we're gonna do the cranberry moscato first because it's the one that's closest to fair us. enough and always good because funny Indeed. enough um where their main location is hamilton mm. blueberry capital of the world apparently really yes oh wow I didn't realize that there was a major blueberry export here in uh, New Jersey. Oh yeah, if you're actually driving up Route 30 from Atlantic City toward Camden and Philadelphia, mm -hmm. um, in and around Hamilton, Egg Harbor City, kind of where it meets Route 50, um, bunch, bunch of blueberry fields. I didn't realize that at all. When I think of, I, I don't know what a blueberry field looks like. I guess they're like kind of like small bush, small bushes and stuff. But I was told that apparently cranberries are very similar. I guess because we're on the cranberry one now, so let's talk about that. Cranberries yeah. supposedly also grow in like these low hanging bushes, and like it's tough to get in there with like to like pick them by hand. Hence, so they flood the they fields flood and the make fields, the cranberry and bogs. The cranberries all float up to the top. Now, the part that you might not know is apparently spiders really, really, really love cranberries. So supposedly, in addition to all the cranberries that you find floating in the bogs, below your legs, as you're walking through the bushes to try to get to the cranberries, are the cranberry spiders. I don't think they're called cranberry spiders, but supposedly there are a number of they should have been creatures and spiders. creepy crawlies and stuff that will... I mean, I don't know if they're alive because they're under the water, but like, to be fair, you, it's, it's apparently a more terrifying job than you may think. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to have Glenn try to do that job considering... The phobia. Yes. Arachnophobia. Any arachnophobics, just don't. One day we're going to have a spider-themed stream and Glenn's going to be the guest then. <laughs> do it as a Halloween stream. Oh my gosh. Halloween spi spider cocktails. Cocktails made with uh, uh, tarantulas. Tarantula. Here's a hairy cocktail. Here's a, an eight-legged cocktail. This cocktail's skittering away. It's not coming back. It's building away in the corner of the room. Oh my god. Sp spiders. Oh my god. Spiders, oh man. Cranberry. The cra Ooh, wait a minute. I love so far uh, that all of these wines have an entire paragraph on the back and then describing the wine itself. So, would you like me to read this? Oh, one? please, by take all turns. means. We will take turns. At Tomasella Winery, we make our natural cranberry Moscato with the highest quality Moscato and our 100% natural Tomasella cranberry wine, 
balanced, aromatic, lightly, or eh, not lightly, <laughs> naturally bright in acidity and fruit forward. This wine is the perfect complement to turkey burgers off the grill, cedar planks. We had turkey burgers this evening. Yes, we did. We had turkey burgers for dinner. Yes, and it actually did taste very well. Oh, because you had it with dinner too with the Sprite. Yes. Well, did you know this ahead of time? I feel like you knew that ahead of time. I actually didn't. I This is the wow. first time I've really read this paragraph. <laughs> Despite me See, owning we, multiple we like bottles. To, we like to put in the effort to really appreciate all the bottles that wind up coming into the With an X collection over here. <laughs> the curation is by no means exclusive, but it is indeed a small subset of the multitude of bottles of wines that you might be able to find at your local vineyard or wine shop on yes. the side of the road. And somebody forgot to finish it off, like, one time. Amy really? Chow says spider. Oh, so it was spider. 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 By spiders. spiders. It's for spiders. Oh my god. By spiders. Ah! For spiders. <laughs> it's the spider. It's the cider spider. And she just hangs in the corner over there. <laughs> just spread a couple more bottles of spider cider. <laughs> this is terrifying. I need to write spider cider down specifically because I will not let that leave me. <laughs> Don't. Spider cider. If it's not a thing, um, check back here in uh, I October. I think you've forgotten R. <laughs> I'll read it later. Drunk Cameron sometimes makes writings, cryptic messaging on this board anyways. Ah, uh, yes, where you think you're writing something in English, but you're actually using the Cyrillic alphabet. And then I go back later, I'm like, <laughs> when did I learn a new language? <laughs> it does smell a lot like cranberry juice. It's very cranberry juicy. Honestly, I don't know the smell of cranberries very well, but like... Yeah, the first time I actually had this, I mm -hmm. actually did not realize that there was alcohol in it. It just tasted like really, really sour. Hmm. And then the alcohol hit me and I'm like, oh. Does it hit you kind of like, oh, let's go for it, actually. Just do it. Oh, that's so sour. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Yeah, you want to put that yeah, on like, the cranberry. middle of your tongue, otherwise you're going to be puckering. That is very cranberry. Mm -hmm. Wow. It is, it is probably as close to... Now, now, I've bitten into a cranberry before. And I was actually surprised to find that it's actually very, very herbal. Well, I bit all the way through it. I think that the seed on the inside, if there's a seed on the inside, something's in there. And it's actually a little, it's a little bitter too, especially when you get all into the, like the, the meat of it. Um, so I was actually surprised that actual cranberries taste like that, which we could do a comparison to if we want to, because I did actually. I do have some cranberries left. Um, they're actually from the Christmas time, but I froze them and then unfroze them. Yeah. So we do a side by side comparison with an actual cranberry. Sure. One of them actually looks like they actually some of them look like they're kind of shriveling up a little bit. Yes, this one does have a couple of wrinkles. A couple of wrinkles. Cranberry. Oh. Holy. Whoa. Whoo! That is a very dip. That's very. It's like. Has a lot more potent. A lot more potent. It's definitely more on the like the. To be fair, it has been frozen and then re uh, unfrozen. This tastes so. like cranberry sauce in comparison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Much more sweet than. Yes. I guess compared Holy. to an actual cranberry, or at least this actual cranberry, more tart the cranberry is, much more sweet and jammy, the the wine is. Yes. Mm -hmm. I gotta finish that off. Ooh. It's not unpleasant though. No, not at all. That would go great in like a like a Thanksgiving like sangria or something. Oh yeah. It'd be so good. Those extra like those extra like drying notes there, I think would be very, very well. Or if you like muddled it at the bottom of something. Oh yeah. Really bring out that juice. Well one of the cocktails this evening actually does have the um it says I think one of them uses I, I unfroze the cranberries specifically because it was like you can put cranberries up on top of them. Like, wow. There's a lot of cocktails planned this evening. I don't think we'll get through all of them. You might have noticed that there's a watermelon over here. There's a watermelon Moscato. The drink calls to be garnished with a watermelon. So, you know, it's it, it will... This round object. Yes, Bernard will be appearance. sacrificed to the watermelon gods later. It has a name! And his name is Bernard. And Bernard is beautiful. And Bernard may be sacrificed later. <laughs> the pineapple was named Tanya! The pineapple was named Tanya! Which, which I think is a female name, at least last I checked. Well, fine, but... we'll call it Bernadette. <laughs> Bernadette? <laughs> How about bur burn? Just burn. It's burn. It's burn the watermelon. Burn the non-barinary watermelon. I don't see. <laughs> I don't see any parts on there. It's so. a plant. It's a. Pl 
Technically, it used to be a flower, which is kind of both. But like, it's. I'm not a. Who are, I'm not an herbalist. I'm a botanist. I am not a botanist know. nor a biologist. I do not know the semantics of plant. I don't know how gender. to gender a watermelon. I don't know what gender you are. So for now, you will be all and none at the same time. Burn. Burn. I'm labeling the watermelon burn. Oh, wait, it's with an E. <laughs> burn. Bernadette, Gonna Bernardo, say. Bernie. Yes. Watermelons are male and female. Thank you, dearest. We're very all accepting around here. Non-binary fruits such as watermelons included. By gender fruit. By gender fruit. Indeed. All gender fruit. Anyway, what fruit were we talking about? It was a cranberry, cranberries. right? That's a, I don't know what Back kind. to cranberries. Anyways, without thinking about the genitals of cranberries, <laughs> we're going to move on to the blueberries. I also realized too. <laughs> the genitals of cranberries. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in my glass to kind of wash it uh, out a little bit. Yeah, I'll grab some for my water glass. Ooh, that's wow. That's tart cranberry water. Yes. Oh my goodness. Amy Chad says, "Burnest, burnest. Don't name, it. don't name them. Burnest. You'll get attached." I we did. <laughs> Oh, please! Everybody has names. You have a name. You're my friend. And I would still sacrifice you if need be. To be fair, I'm trying to think of the repercussions of naming everything that pops onto this stream. I don't think I'd have the capacity to kill a live animal on this show. But I if wouldn't. chicken cocktails are a thing... Actually, I don't, think, I don't know if it's against Twitch's terms of service to kill an animal on stream, and I don't know if I even have the heart for that. I wouldn't. That mm. also might give a viewer trauma. Mm, this is very true. So if anybody has a suggestion for which animal we should kill next, just like let me know. Just 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 pop it down there. Use the suggest the exclamation point suggest command for what animal you want to see slaughtered in, in a cocktail. Well, hey, biblical cocktails. Biblically sacrifice a we lamb. have to sacrifice a lamb. <laughs> see, we're always we're always <laughs> workshopping things around here. Anyway, you are scaring me now. It's kind of blood yes. red looking. The cranberry wine is a little blood red over here. This one's a little bit darker. We're moving on to the dark blood of the blueberry Moscato, a 6.5% alcohol by volume glass that we have here. Tomasella Winery is nestled in the heart of Hamilton, New Jersey, the self-proclaimed blueberry capital of the world. Like you were saying, we make our natural blueberry Moscato with the highest quality Moscato and our 100% natural Tomasello blueberry wine. Our natural blueberry mescala with the natural... Okay. Balanced, aromatic, and fruit forward. This wine is the perfect complement to barbecue or spicy noodles. Slightly frizzante. Best sure cold. Frizzante? Frizzante? Frizzante. F-R-I-Z-Z-A-N-T-E. I... Frizzante. Da. Probably just, something like fried. It's also interesting that this description here talks about how the natural blueberry Moscato is made with the natural Tomasello blueberry wine because we I think we noticed it was on the cranberry, I think. The yeah, ingredients, it's almost the same paragraph. The ingredients says the first ingredient to the natural cranberry Moscato is cranberry Moscato wine as if that wasn't already the product itself. And I bet it's the same thing over here. First ingredient is blueberry Moscato wine for the natural blueberry Moscato fruit wine. Interesting. Yes. So I wonder, I guess that is to imply, I would think, that it's actually made from, it's not just like a wine that they infuse with blueberry flavor, it's actually blueberries that have been made into the wine. Yes, because they cool. also do have their own, they have various fruit wines as well. That makes I sense. I just like the Moscato specifically because they are a little bit sweeter. Um, and some of the wines that I have had that are their fruit wines are not that great. Mm -hmm. I remember having tried a blueberry wine from, I think it was York Cellars Winery. I saw them in one of the, uh, I think it might have been like the Deptford Mall over in Jersey. And I tried the blueberry wine. I was like this, oh, oh no, no, it was the peach wine because Anna loves the peach flavor. And we thought we have to get this peach wine and try it. It tasted so bad. It was really, really bad. It kind of tasted like rotting peaches, which I guess like Ew. that's an archetype for some people. But when we when we thought about peach, we thought of like peach cobbler, like peaches themselves, like fresh like peaches, peach schnapps, fresh peaches. And this was not. It was not at all bad. And another thing that Amy Chow can attest to. <laughs> um, remember when we both tried Tomasello's 
apple spiced wine because Tomasella's spiced apple wine does not taste like spiced apples. I was thinking it was going to taste something like maybe apple pie, apple cider. Uh, it tasted like a banana Laffy Taffy. Oh, you were mentioning that earlier too. <laughs> yes, it was. It's so probably interesting. One of the most rank things I've ever oh drank, especially because I hate Look bananas. At Laffy Taffy. Oh, really? Yes, I hate bananas, Glad especially you here a month ago. I remember. <laughs> Especially like artificial banana. Mm -hmm. Like I'll take a real banana over I an artificial love, banana any day. I love, love artificial banana. That flavor to me is like so nostalgic. Like those little, the little, little red, red candies. I have them in the closet. You I mean don't like runts? Yes. With the little banana, little crunchy Where bananas. it looks like a banana? Yeah. It's so nostalgic to well, me. Well, then I'll have to grab you a bottle of that spiced apple. I'll try that at some point. That feels so, that feels very fall. Maybe when the November comes around, the birthday month, and we can try things that Cameron will like that nobody else will like. Apple flavors. Apple, fla apple flavors, <laughs> quote apple. unquote. Yeah, and then you can bust out like uh, Crown Royal apple whiskey and stuff like that. Oh. I have some Crown Royal down here. And I can grab you their apple cider too, Ooh. because that is tasty. Tasty, tasty. Amy Chow says, it tasted like overripe, overripe gross, gross Michelle <laughs> banana. <laughs> Big Michael. As opposed to the Cavendish, which you will find in your cabinets. Cavendish in your cabinets, because Gross Michelle is dead. Big Michael's out of here. Blueberry wine, made from actual blueberries, it seems, yeah. at least according to the label. Cheers, my gal. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. There is like a a very mild bitterness. It's creamy. It kind of tastes like uh, it kind of tastes like cream cheese. Yeah, like to me, I had their Huckleberry Moscato before mm -hmm. that. The Huckleberry tasted like blueberries, like mm -hmm. fresh blueberries, like as oh, you yeah. get them off the farm. This tasted like legitimate candy afterwards. This really, this really, really it is candy tasting. It's extremely tasting. sweet. It is so good. There is like a certain, like, I'm getting notes. I, I think of cream cheese because, uh, like, I've been having, it's been having cream cheese days at work recently. And, um, yeah, there is a. I was talking about their bagel time. We have our bagel time in the morning, and we have this strawberry cream cheese that Ooh. the consistency of it, like, that, cre like, it kind of tastes like strawberries, but it mostly still tastes like cream cheese. This is giving me like kind of cream cheese notes. And also, as it's sitting in my mouth, it's almost like gum can taste like bubble gum or like mint, but like minty bubble gum has like that effervescence to it. And it almost tastes like, like a blue, like a, like a fruit mint bubble gum, like as it sits in my mouth. And it's very, very pleasant. Oh, yeah. A lot of the things that I, I can, can be very particular about, especially when it comes to like wines, beers and spirits and stuff is the aftertaste that it leaves behind. And yeah, it, it leaves behind that creamy aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Most aftertastes I am not a fan of, but this is almost like what it leaves behind is almost like a cream, like almost like a mint cream. And I love that. It's almost, it's almost like I licked ice cream. And that's the flavor that's left behind. My mouth is not cold, obviously, so it's not like the, the ice part of the ice cream, but the, the flavor part of the ice cream. Yes. Very tasty. I didn't even catch what it smelled like, but it smelled really good too. It definitely smells more like what I imagine, what I know blueberry wine to smell like otherwise. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't really smell like, like a blueberry, more like, like a blueberry plant. I say that, and wait a minute. <laughs> I have blueberries. It tastes like blueberry, but enhanced. I have blueberries. Yeah, this is what the huckleberry wine will taste, or their huckleberry Moscato will taste. And if we do a round two of this, I'll bring it up. Side back time comparing. Yeah, I'll grab blueberry one of time. The smaller ones because the other ones are filled with water. Are they a little watery? Oh, wait, what were you saying about the water ones? Basically, these ones aren't gonna have as much blueberry flavor because they're bigger. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize basically, the with oh. like GMOs and everything. The um, bigger ones are a little more diluted in flavor. Yes. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Down the hatch. The smaller one. Hmm. Yeah. Blueberries are a lot more tart. Yeah, definitely. And I, I would say, like, speaking honestly, I don't really, I don't think this wine 
tastes like this blueberry. Not really. Not no, to me. it tastes like artificial blueberries. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's that like kind of like the when we were. Thinking it's about interesting. The, when we were talking about the banana stuff, one of the things that I think about a lot is like how the banana flavor doesn't really taste like a banana, probably because of the whole like different like genus of banana thing. Yeah, and it's also technically not a banana. Exactly. Like it's just it's a it's like a it's a particular like polyphenol I think that they use for like flavor for the banana. It's it's cool stuff. It's cool stuff. Lego says howdy friends, bro. Hi. I just saw you the other day. What's going on, dude? Hello. But so it's that like confectionery flavor. There's like yes. a confection like there's like a confectioner's cherry. There's a confectioner's banana. There's a confectioner's blueberry. And I feel like it doesn't necessarily taste like what the fruit is. But like, yes. it's it's like it's an ooh, like an ooh of that fruit. Per se. Yes. It's good stuff. Absolutely. Precisely. That was delicious. I had to finish off the rest of that. And yeah, we'll put a little bit more water in my glass over here. Just cause uh I noticed some of the some of the flavors of the wines are now starting to leach into each yeah. other, so I'm uh, I understand why the it would be beneficial to have like more glasses. And I do have a lot of wine glasses, but there's still cocktails this evening, so. Mm-hmm. For now, I'll keep on going with this stuff. Lycos says, I am the tired. Lycos, yo, buddy. Three hours of sleep finally catching up to me. That's on you, man. You only slept three hours last night? What were you doing with your... I will not name it because it is not It is not for public knowledge yet, but Glenn is working on a project, my friends. Yes. And he's been staying up late to get this stuff done. Yes, even though I keep telling him to go to bed. You should really go to bed. They, they, yes. they'll, actually, I was going to say that they look beautiful, but he has not showed me pictures. They do look very nice. I feel betrayed. Glenn, like we do us. happen to have a napkin because there is water. Oh, we got a little, a little guy over here. Yeah, I appreciate you for being so cleanly over there. Yes. Blueberry Moscato, out of the way. So far, we've tried three different wines. So far, I have a favorite. What is your favorite so far? I. It's between. Let's see, we did it in this order. The cranberry and the blueberry, just mm -hmm. because again. They're really good to mix with everything. I mm -hmm. like basically the tartness of the cranberry. Mm -hmm. um, and then the blueberry, like I said, it just tastes like candy to me. Yeah. I, I think drink that whole bottle. The blueberry is absolutely my favorite by far. It took me, like, it, it completely surprised me, like, how good it tasted. It was like candy. It was complex in its flavor. Like, don't get me wrong. I think the cranberry was probably equally as complex. Although tart and sour flavors are just kind of, they're not really, they're not really my flavor. So I'm not a huge fan of it. The daffodil wine, I feel like it's more, it's a lot lighter a wine, like, yes. like we were all sharing before. And I think it's so light that I can't quite pick up on all the notes there that would be enjoyable. But like the same like kind of cream cheese quality that I got from the blueberry wine, I am particularly a fan of, of this wine, which was a little less, a little less cream, but a little more like butter, kind of like a, keep coming back to cream cheese. We had this like whipped cream cheese that we used for like a week ah uh, actual cream cheese actual cream cheese and it was good not that con not the condensed cream not cheese. the condensed block not the stuff that's more it's, it's, it ain't your mama's you know, philadelphia cream cheese it's not my mother's philadelphia cream cheese my mother is not philadelphia too she's down in south carolina if i remember correctly she I be, thought that, she that was, woman be traveling you know yeah because last i heard she was down with glenn's mom indeed she'd be traveling all right yeah the gals like to get together sometimes oh yes indeed so the next one that we have is the watermelon moscato kirsten would you like to do the honors of reading the absolutely beautiful paragraph? though i think it's probably gonna say a lot of the same stuff we'll only have to see yeah at Tomasella winery we make our natural watermelon moscato with the highest quality moscato and natural watermelon balanced aromatic and fruit forward just like the last couple of paragraphs this mm -hmm. wine is like a glass of summer that can be enjoyed all year uh perfect for sharing with friends and family slightly frizzante best served chilled Alexa. i'm uh, oh you first uh i was actually saving my other bottle of this to make a summer sangria oh yeah yes oh, that is one of the what? ideas that i have with it i'm gonna put some watermelon in there probably maybe a couple of apples in there maybe maybe a little bit of grape what are we thinking Pineapple even? I was thinking more pineapple than this. Really? I was thinking the pineapple might even be too much. Well, because this just screams kind of tropical. It does. And oh, because the... I will say it does have a flavor. It's not as strong. I got to take your word for it so far. I can't wait to taste it. Anyway, Alexa, what is frizzante? <laughs> Thank you. From brainscape.com. Frizzante, a term meaning semi-sparkling wine, as opposed to sparkling wine, which is used for fully sparkling wines. Oh, 
because one of the wines we saw is called Splumante, which is more sparkly. This is like a semi-sparkly. Oh, that that's makes so interesting. Much sense. And yeah, Moscatas are actually supposed to be slightly carbonated. The word of the day is frizz. <laughs> Pizzante. Frizzante, as everyone can tell. Actually, Kirsten, there's a dowel by your foot. Please, please grab the dowel for us. Yes. It should be on the right-hand side. I see it right here. Today on Cocktail Time, we have frizzante. Frizzante, meaning, semi, we'll call it semi-bubbly, semi-sparkle. Semi-sparkle, semi-bubble. Semi-bubble. Half-bubble. As opposed to spumante, which is spelled S-P-U-M-A-N-T-E, which is just the sparkle, apparently. Half-bubble? Full bubbles. Half bubble, full bubble. Like what is bubble what is, bath on a good Friday bubble. What is no bubble? No bubble. No bub? Question mark? We, we may... Flat and disappointing. Know. I was going to draw a picture of that, but I don't know <laughs> if I want to do that. I wouldn't. Flat and disappointing. Just like... Enter your mom joke here. That's the only time I'm making that joke this evening. Only time. Yeah, probably for the best. I love the sound of freshly cracked bottles. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. This smells so good. Oh my god. I caught a whiff of it. Ooh, there we go. I caught a whiff of it as I opened the bottle. And I... Oh yeah. I have my thoughts. I have my <laughs> thoughts so far. Oh my god, I have thoughts on this. Swirly, swirly, swirly. How are her legs? Actually, I don't see a lot of legs on this at all. There, there's so much. There's so much stuff on the inside of these glasses anyway. Oh, you know what? Nope, I can see. I can, no, I really can't. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take my pretentious self and stick my nose in my glass. <laughs> oh my God, it smells so good. It's like you opened up like a fresh container of like Jolly Ranchers or like those, um, those like sour strips. Specifically, uh, there's a, there's a watermelon bubble gum. I don't remember what it's called. But it had like it was like green on the outside and red on the inside, or maybe it was red like on the a outside, hubba bubba. The, hubba bubba? It might have been hubba bubba. Yeah, because I oh think I God. had it too, and it was like obnoxiously it's, watermelon, it's but it was just addictive. Like a freshly opened bag of that stuff. Ooh, I have to agree. Wow, it's delectable. Yeah, it's that candy. It's not. It's like that actually does taste like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's like it's like a it's like a watermelon Jolly Jolly Rancher, but it's a little less. It actually because like watermelon, at least to me, you know, it's very it's very very liquid, very very watermelon. It's not super. Yeah, watermelon doesn't flavorful have flavorful, terribly much own. flavor. And so I think it actually is a lot more reminiscent of an actual watermelon versus like the Jolly Rancher like concentrated watermelon flavor. It's a very relatively light watermelon flavor it's not overpowering fullingly sweet i think like the blueberry wine was a lot sweeter oh, than yeah. the watermelon wine this is a lot more light it does kind of spark those feelings of summer i can understand that yeah and watermelon cider it's basically like this but a lot more spumante it's not more spumante which as we know spumante is it semi sparkle, semi -sparkle? Or, is or is it, it sparkle, sparkle sparkle or is it flat no bub. Disappointment. It's sparkle. That's spumante. Yes. I have it written on the board. It's your cheat sheet for this evening. Yes. I'll erase that. Maybe. Who knows? That's good. Well, we'll see if we if we have more lessons to learn. We'll put it up on the board appropriately. Yes. That's the, I've had that dowel there for literally two months now, and I've never and once actually used it. And now you finally used it. I never found a very teachable moment. For example, frizzante, spumante. It's just fun to say. Really? No. You've never had that teachable moment where you need to write think, something down? I don't think I've ever learned something on this stream, Kirsten. Like, ever. Never. I know everything already. <laughs> wow. That's it. Can you guess what the three truths and the lie are? It's just kidding. They're all lies. Everything is a lie. Everything is a lie. Everything you know. Every, the cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. The wine is a lie. The wine is a lie. Even the lies are lies. Yes. There is no such thing as truth. It's all speculative. I love that. Ominous. Indeed. Indeed. I don't know what that was comment was in relation to. Well, well, I mean, it could be in wine and philosophy. They go great together. Dude, people have been drinking and thinking for many, many years now. 
Ah, uh, all the way back to the ancient Greeks. Oh, Kid Sandin popping in with that beautiful Prime subscription. My guy, nice. if I had a bottle, if I had a fresh bottle of champagne to pop for you, I would do so. I had the sparkling ones, but that's that's all I got. Here, you know what? We have. Would you care to party horn with me? Yes. Party horn. Here's for the sub. <laughs> That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you, kid. That was perfectly insane. Amy Chow, hey Jasper, this sentence is false. Well, you don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it. You got it there. <laughs> nice job, Wee Wee. Yeah, because I actually recently showed Emi Chow Portal 2. <laughs> I actually streamed it for her through Discord. Oh my god, so good. Yeah, just to kind of give her like a story idea because mm -hmm. Aperture Science is like massive and Portal is one of my favorite video games. Portal itself. Yo, Lycos Lore told me that we should do like a sci-fi games theme stream one day and I was like, oh we could, we could split it up. We could do a Halo stream. We could do a, a Mass Effect theme stream. Could do a Portal theme. Portal sci-fi. And you could tie right? it in Half-Life. Oh my god. I've never because they're in the same universe. I've never played Half Life. Neither have I. I have the games, but I have every I am single also one of the giant games now. Pansy. I got the I got the big I got the big pack where you can get all the or like the, the yeah all games. of them. Never played any of them. One day though. Yes. Uh, but enough about <laughs> enough about video games. Let's talk more about Let's the other side. More, shall we? We'll wind a bit more on the other side of the table. On this yes, side, we, we have, have a la mode two. wines. The, and a la mode is, I it's guess, like... cream wine. It's their name for, like, the more creamy, desserty wine that they make. Yeah, it is literally, like, when you pour this stuff out of the bottle, it legitimately looks like Bailey's. Well, even even now, like, I don't know if y'all can tell from this angle, but, like... Yeah, you can... It's very, it's very you opaque. You cannot see through this bottle. Actually, I wonder, all. if we want to switch to the cocktail angle, if you want to push that over here yeah. and then do our special button combination, well, and we'll try to get a, I'll try I'll to get a view of this. I'll let you help with that angle as I switch everything over. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Hello, you everybody. you can't see We're going on a little bit of a all. trip. So let's see. Let's, like, if I take a little bit of a light, like, try not to shine it in people's faces. Yeah, let me actually flip that back towards let's this see. way. Let's see. We got this guy over here. Sorry, not trying to blind anybody here. My light is directly behind this bottle. Yeah. We cannot see anything through it. I'll put the light down for a moment. Versus, let's say this blueberry one over here, Something which- that is either translucent or transparent. Look at this. That's actually kind of cool. That's kind of creepy looking. It looks like a car light. Ooh, it's a, I'm turning on my blinker. Or this is, this is me trying to piss you off while you're following and tailgating me. This is my brake light. <laughs> anyway, we, we, we can switch back. That was fun. That was. That was fun for a small moment. So we have a number of different, well, we have a number of different cream wines over here. Yes. We basically, we only have two of them, but that, that's still good. They're packed with flavor from what I've been told. Yes. Oh my God, Dom too. It's been a whole year. Dude, yeah. Dominic, my boy, the star himself has been here for a full year. I remember meeting you on Super Mario Sunshine. I was drinking a beer. It was, I went back and I saw that the other day and it was, it was a raspberry flavored sour ale. It was very good. And it had Interesting. A on it. it was not that bad. I remember those moments very fondly. Aw. Dom, here's to another full year around the sun with you here with us. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Oh, but we need... Yes. So need... which one do we choose? Hmm, I'll Butter leave pecan. that up to you. Ooh. What are we thinking? Dom, I want to let you choose this. Butter pecan or blackberry yeah blackberry and, cream yeah because actually neither tasty. of these i've had before this one's one i was wanting to try mm -hmm. next um the ones that i had were the almond one and the chocolate one which and chocolate also, one tastes like you -hoo. i tried to look on the website to see if there was any info on these wines and aside from just like a link to buy them like i couldn't find cocktails on them i couldn't find like recommendations on them so that's kind of just like yeah, literally the best way to find out like what these wines are like is literally just to go, go to Tomasello some. Winery exactly. and actually just like ask your bartender. The best way to learn is just to like just try stuff, you know? Exactly. Grab a bottle here or there, get a little glass. That's what it's all about. Dom's saying blackberry, blackberry sounds, sounds good. So good. So that's what we'll do. Yeah, so we will leave. So this the one blackberry last. cream. Oh, is it my turn? Or is it your turn? I think it's my turn because you read the watermelon off. I did. There you go. Waha. Well, huh. Did I do the watermelon? You can have it. Tomasello a la mode blackberry cream is a delightful blend of Marion blackberry and lush cream Marion. with the distinctive warmth of a fine wine. Enjoy as a cocktail or aperitif. We suggest that you serve it chilled or over ice. Ooh. We want to try to put this over ice? We could totally do this over ice. I can grab a little couple of ice cubes. Yee! Yeah. Let's grab some Now the question cubes. is, will we, well, that answers that question. 
Here we go. I'll grab... I wonder what size ice cream would actually be best for these type of wines. It I makes me think... curious. Yeah, I wonder, because they say like serve over ice, and I'm thinking, I would think like, maybe not a wine, but like, it would feel to me that if they said to serve this over ice, we probably wouldn't be using a glass like this. I mean, unless you wanted to. I would think to use more something like an old-fashioned glass, like the ones we have over there. Yeah, like just a kinda... tumbler. Yeah, we put like a couple, like two to three like small ice cubes in it, and you pour it over top. I feel like I've definitely ser seen like other like cream liqueurs just kind of served. Like yeah, that. also I will say this ice that you have is very very clear and it is very wonderful i'm so surprised you're saying that it has barely mm, i'll take it, it yeah like it barely has any inclusions it's definitely it's got that it's got a directional quality to it and i don't know if that's just a, i bought a small little silicon mold off the internet so that's by no skill of my own i have tried to make like like the clear clear ice before like using I do have, the cooler method and everything yep because i do have well actually you can use um those glasses or those um those like vacuum containers where like the ones yeah, that you can get like the, at the um, like that are made out of styrofoam. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I've nice actually seen that before. This is a nice color to it. Yeah. It smells good. All right, let's try. And get, apparently, it is good according to Eni Chow. I'll try to put this over top of the ice. Wow, that is so purple. Holy. Do you want to keep this so for your next purple drink stream? Wow. Look at how purple this is. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna switch this back over to the cocktail angle. Oh my god. Yeah. Check this, this out, is like guys. Barney purple. This is super purple. Like, wow. If you guys can see that as I swirl around in my glass, like, let's that try to is see Barney. Uh, if I don't knock everything over over here, here we go. Hi everybody. It's my face. Not that you wanted to see that. Look at how like, purple that is. Holy. That is so freaking purple. La very lavender, very light purple color. Not yes. super like, I actually just, I had a, a cocktail left over from that stream and um, I completely forgot to, um, I forgot Ooh. to throw it out, uh, but I took oh, it out of the fridge like the other day. Oh, it was very purple. Mine started to curdle a little bit. Actually, I think it came out of the bottle like that. Almost smells like a Pop-Tart. Yeah, there's little, little things over there. Oh my God. That smells like, it smells kind of like a pop tart. It's perfumey. It's not. I feel like I've had like not not a perfume. I'm not a very perfumey guy. But I feel like I've had like a like a. It a smells. Like that. <sighs> Get back on the top. That's what it reminds me of. Um, there is this company that my brother used to grab like energy drinks and everything from, hmm. um, like Neutral Life and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and it tastes like their meal replacement. It smells like how their meal replacement bars taste. Very well. It tastes like a pop tart. It does. That tastes so good. Wow. And I'm not usually one for like cream type of. There's a little bit of curdling and stuff happening at the bottom, but it tastes like it tastes like a cream on top of a pop tart. It does. That's cool tasting. I want to like just uh, describe that more. It's like it's not it's not like it's it's very it's sweet. It's sweet cream. There's like no tartness except like it's a flavor tartness. Like, if it's like sour a milkshake, yes. And I'm thinking, like, if sour can be described as not necessarily like a feeling on your tongue, but more like a flavor itself, it's slightly that, like slightly, like almost almost zesty in a way. But like, mm -hmm. if if blackberry had a zest, yeah, and it's got a nice little bite to it, mm -hmm. which is actually something that I like in these cream wines. Indeed, Kid Sanders says. Oh, it's the purple drink. It's the purple drink emote. Oh, nice. I put a little purple drink up there. It's and such Imi a beautiful drink. Imi Chow says, score. It's a good one. Dude, Imi Chow, excellent, excellent thing here. And I see Anna in the background. Hey, What's purple up, drink. Lurker? Purple drink, girl. Oh, Anna, Anna, no camera for Anna today. Sounds good. That's good. Yeah, it is. That is very like, I'll admit, I don't do a lot of like sipping of liqueurs and stuff just like on their own. I should probably do that more, not because I need any more alcohol in my body, but mostly be, to get like those flavors and get used to like, what does blackberry taste like? Mm -hmm. What does vanilla taste like? What does, trying to find something else completely random back here. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, what is coffee? I don't even, I have no idea what coffee tastes like. But like, just to like get it a feel for like what one thing tastes like versus another. For example, you have two different, let's say orange cream liqueurs. One tastes like this, one tastes like that. A little bit of A, a little bit of B. Yeah, one can What's taste the like crushed soda, one's gonna taste like a creamsicle. Exactly, and I feel like I've had the most experience like comparing certain spirits together. It's an ongoing process. We're yeah. All, we're all very, uh, we're all very old of mind, but young of age around here. Yes. So to speak. Young body, old soul. I'm a very old soul. 
That's why I look tired all the time. No, that's just my body. I was gonna say, it's probably just the stress of existing in this mortal coil. <laughs> Speaking of stress, we have another cream wine, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right, and I, I'm I think, gonna let you rinse yeah, both let me, of these out. Yeah, let me give out. a little rinse here, because it seemed like the, um, the cream wines are very apt to whatever is left for, uh, in the glass. We're gonna use the bucket here. It's a little bit of a cleanup. Put that in there. Let me do a little. No. Well, those glasses are looking funky. Let me go grab those glasses. Let me just let me just put these guys off the side. There should be more. Oh, let me go grab. Them. There's some tiny. There's some smaller glasses over here that I can utilize. I gotta go to the top side of the bar. Yes. There are so many compartments. Check this stuff out. I say. Do you there want is. me to like move the boom arm over? Does it fit? Can you? Can we get all the way over here? Maybe? Hi, everybody. Oh my god, actually. Oh my god, I can. Let's check this out. Hold on. I'm gonna set up the arm. Here we Let go. me know when you're ready. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, I'm gonna start to see if I can put this all the way over. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It works. Okay, kind so. of. Very kind of. All right, so I can't spin it all the way around. But hi, everybody. This is my floor. Look at all these different parts. Uh, compartments down here. Oh, did I hit something? Uh, no. This started to tilt. Incredible. To the front. Then everything looks like in the front. Yeah, bar with an X. Very complex. Indeed, there's so much stuff over here. This is and that beautiful. rhymed. Bar with an X, very complex? Yes. Dude, make a song out of it. Bro. Great. All right. Great. <laughs> I just noticed my whole angle is falling over. Oh my god. All right, let's, let's yeah. bring this back up. Let, let's, yes. We're back. Let's bring this back to a more stable position. I grabbed the glasses, right? We're all we're all good on glasses now. Um, you grabbed one. Oh, did I really? Yeah, oh. this one and this oh, one alone. Uh, there's the other one. Yay! Excellent. Oh, Excellent. this is from a... my reaction to the stress of the mortal coil, dude. It's a teenager's dream alcohol cabinet, dude. This is essentially just a um, what is it? just a <laughs> entertainment center. We bring you the floor. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I was on the floor for a little bit. Shall we switch? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Boop. Put you back over there. Oh, sorry, guys. You went on for a, you went on a little ride. You get to see the blinds for a second. Yeah. There. Just a little bit of a ride. So now we have smaller. Let me hand this to you. For the next one. So this is this is basically pop tart. This blackberry cream. Yeah. And it's delicious. This is super good. This is like a wine that I unironically would sip on its own. Like on those nights when I'm just watching anime or the final season of Breaking Bad as I embroider or catalog cocktail recipes or firmware develop. You know, the things that I will be caught doing on any particular night of the week. Brainstorming ideas for cocktails for this. That's true. For this particular. We gotta, we gotta start muddling about it. If I will, I will create it to fun. the crowd as well. Muddling. Yes. Oh, oh my god, I have been using the term muddle in just like my daily life. As Beautiful. I think about it, you noodle on something, you think about something, you muddle on it, you know, because like... You beat the idea to ever-loving crud? Bartender. And eventually it will become... Like, I like to say things ironically enough times that I begin to say them unironically. Like swag. Or dab on the haters. Or YOLO. Yes. I say those ones ironically still. Dab on the haters. <sighs> That's the same feeling I had when I was um, muddling with my own inner mortal coil. And thus, like us, Laura will now break two more bones. Oh my goodness. Who, whose bones they are? No one knows. Everybody. Two more bones. That's what happens when you dab. <laughs> In general. So if anybody has any thoughts on what to mix, let's say, blackberry cream with, or yeah. butter pecan cream with as we go forward, we're down for some ideas, because those yeah, ones, this, we have a reference like, for them. Again, this literally just makes me think of ice cream. It also literally has a thing of ice cream on it. Yes. As the bottle itself. Ooh, cool. Buttercream. Let's crack it. Butter pecan cream. Grape wine with natural flavors and caramel color. Tomasello a la mode. Butter pecan cream is a delightful blend of rich butter pecan and lush cream. No wonder. With the distinctive warmth of a fine wine. Enjoy as a cocktail or as an aperitif. We suggest that you serve it chilled or over ice. Shall we grab another ice cube for our tiny little glasses? Why not? Absolutely. Let me go grab that. Wine not. Wine not. Puns are a thing around here, and if you're not into puns, please promptly leave. Oh, yes. But just for a moment. Especially because I am a pun fiend. What if we did just, like, a bunch of drinks that were, like, themed by puns? Oh my god, there's a theme in the works for that. And now you can kind of see what I'm talking oh, about. You're like, holy I crap. I did see that. Wait, I did. Oh, uh, not on mine. Mine kind of sucks, but yours is pretty cool. Yeah. Wait, also, quickly. Did you know that ice Cocktail is mineral? Ice is a mineral? Of course, right? That makes sense? Yes. Inorganic crystalline solid. 
Look at how clear this ice cube's trying to be. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, it wait, has, wait. like, Did... no inclusion. There it is. Hi, everybody. It has barely any inclusion. Sometimes it just works. Are they worth the 20-ish dollars? How much do those bottles cost? Oh, my God. Actually, how much are these bottles? Uh, I was it, and like, are they worth it? Swill? I didn't buy them. I think when I just stole them from my friends. They got the a la mode. It was like eleven ninety five. Actually, that's pretty affordable. Yeah. Consider. Again, they're not badly priced. Yeah, there's a little bit of. I noticed there's a little bit of curdle on both of these. Like when I opened them up. So I don't know if the curdle was our fault or the wine's fault. Tomasello. You then again, guys. these were bought at room temperature. Oh, that's fair. So maybe they just. They like... do have to be kept in like something that is like above 72 degrees yeah i think like for my cream liqueurs that i have mm. i haven't really been following the rule of keeping them like in a refrigerator but for something like a cream wine actually i've never come in contact with oh uh, yes i have it'd be interesting especially the blackberry cream is something that is very worth it says even chow but jasper and i got sample flights throughout the year so they made sure to only get the bottles that they really liked which in this case these ones yeah and i'll let you know how this uh butter pecan tastes so I got a lot of... I just got... Would I be able to have a different... <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that is so... That is so curdly. Yeah, that... Okay, let me just like, let me just, like wash really it out. Bad. Let me just wash it out. Maybe it's because you got the first pour and the, the curdle... It's, it's probably, you know, it was sitting at the top. So maybe... Maybe a serving suggestion for these would be to like... Yeah, them. store these in like a fridge or something that is below 72 degrees. If you want to hand me that... Pa towel over there on the wall. That's this the cleanest, one? the cleanest one that we have. I'll give it a little bit of a. I don't know if that's gonna do us any good. This is tough. I'm not gonna do that. I just need to know. Because so I mean, I think a second rinse would have just done that fine. That was the second rinse. Oh dear yeah. God! It's, it's creamy. You know what? I could just use this cordial glass. That's another tiny wine glass. Or that works. Too. There's so many of them. Mount said, Hope Estate Winery. Mount Hope. I think that's up near where the Renaissance Fair usually is. Ooh. Hopefully this see. pour will be better for you. I think the first I pour. I certainly hope so. I'm guessing because there was a lot of curdle at the top, and, you and can I pour got pour out the little first. Yeah, little there's bit. no curdle in this. Oh, and you need an ice cube. Why did I pour that much? I regret my decision. <laughs> don't worry, the oh, bucket well. is always thirsty. Don't splash! Don't splash! Okay, it splashed only a little bit. Lucky for mm, all of us, the bucket creamy. is always thirsty. This actually looks like cappuccino. Mmm. What's the brand? These are all Tomasello yeah, wines. these are all Tomasello winery. It's a local winery, uh, kind of close to me. Mm -hmm. uh, their main location is in Hamilton, New Jersey. Uh, they do also have another one if anyone is in Atlantic County. Um, hmm. In historic Smithville, um, which is basically the winery that I usually go to. And sometimes you can find them in your local liquor store. This smells so good. Well, at least around here. I'm getting like a flashback to a memory that I can't bring form to. I don't know what that memory is. Interesting. I don't know if it was a coffee drink I had or whether it was a candy that I had, but I'm getting I'm getting something that brings me back to my family vacations. So maybe it was like I... roaming through the streets of Georgia and Savannah and like going to like the candy shops and stuff. Maybe? I have a memory for this. Um, back when I was in high school, <laughs> one of the local coffee shops that we went to had an open mic night. Ooh. And smell of coffee in that place is absolutely bomb. Like us, like it's a, really good. Yeah. I remember what my memory was. You know what this smells like? What? A Werther's original. Oh my god, it's, it does! It's a Werther's original candy. <laughs> I was like, what is this nostalgia? That is what is nostalgia. this memory I'm getting? Just... It's not nostalgia. It's it's the future. It's what I'll be eating in the future when I have no teeth left and I'll just be like mm. <laughs> That's not I back remember. to your summers in Savannah. That's back to the last time you went to Jess's house. I remember my days <laughs> drinking Tomasello butter pecan cream wine behind that bar I had when I was 25. <laughs> Man, my 20s were a wild time. <laughs> then I realized it's time to stop drinking entirely. It's killing me. And I lost all of my teeth because of it. Don't drink, kids. You'll lose your teeth. <laughs> this has been a PSA. <laughs> with Remember, kids. old timer with an X. Remember, kids, don't, don't, just don't. <laughs> just don't. If you don't, I you'll die. Do a straight face. If you do, You'll also no. die. 
And so no. goes the reference to our mortal coil once more. Just, it's time to stop. Get some help. Oh! Skin time? 30! Skin 30! You know what that means. Cheers! Cheers! Five o'clock somewhere. Well, okay. I'm drinking all of this. That's ice cream. This tastes like melted ice cream with alcohol in it. You know how you were talking before about what to mix this stuff with, and you said vanilla with something. I don't remember. Well, what. I said that one for um, the blackberries and cream. This, this one, I me... think I said cinnamon. Oh my god, I have a cinnamon cream. I have a cinnamon horchata liqueur that I use on a. I've used on occasion. It's like this flavor minus the cinnamon. If we added the cinnamon to it, it tastes like that. I'm getting ideas for this one. Imagine mixing this with eggnog. Oh my god, this was making excellent eggnog. That was the other part of it. It's very... So, like, it's... This flavor is, like, it feels pre preparatory for cinnamon or for some sort of, like, Christmassy spice. There's also, like, another... There's another angle there. Like, I can imagine very that meg going in it. Oh, yeah. I got... Well, well when we... When we figure out what to do in a cocktail for these guys, I got some nutmeg, got some cinnamon. I got clove up here too. Not that I, I don't think you can grate clove. I guess you can. I wouldn't try it because they're very small. They're really tiny. And it's guys. a very, in, it's not that good. I'd hurt myself on the uh, the grater before anything good comes of it. Oh. Maybe. By accident, of course. Mm. Wouldn't be the first time. Actually, when I first started trying to teach myself how to peel citruses and stuff, I peeled my finger. Ouch. The third thing I peeled was my finger. And, and, I, and it got in the cocktail, too. It was very unfortunate. Reminds me of when I was trying to peel apples for a cheesecake. Oh, my goodness. Did it, yeah. Did it end well? Yes, actually. Ooh, I lovely. did it. It wasn't the last Thanksgiving. I think it was the Thanksgiving before I made this um, apple crumble mm -hmm. cheesecake. Mm. That sounds good. It was gone by the end of the week. <laughs> I made some pineapple souffle that's now in my freezer. It's, it's pretty good. It's very, very, very sweet. Too sweet for me on a normal occasion. <laughs> Peeled them? Peel? Pestle them. Pestle them? What does that mean? Pestle? Like peel? Peel? Essel? I'm trying to trying to say that in my head. It no working. Okie doke. Oop, sorry about that. Oh good. I whacked your fingy. Oh yeah. Um Pestle? No, for Amy Chow's comment, <clears throat> there are two tasting rooms in Smithville, one close to the pizza place, which is Costello's. Um, mm. and that one actually sells like chocolate. Oh, cool! Like the like, like bonbons the and itself? everything. Oh, sweet! Literally. Bon bonbons, bonbon bombs. Not bonbon bombs. No, like chocolate bomb. Like like you put it in. Not a like a hot, hot cocoa, cocoa bomb. Oh, okay, okay. But like an actual like nice chocolate, mm. like a truffle. Like a tr I was thinking of truffle. Love me some truffles. Mmm, truffles. I also saw a note from Dom earlier about jokes on him. Jokes on us, I guess, because he'll have a robot jaw in the future. Ah, Cyberpunk 2077. 2077 is coming, guys. Yeah. It'll be there. Probably be within our lifetime. That's mm -hmm. scary to think about. That's going to be in like 50 years. The day will be interesting. We're going to be 70. Cybernetic parts in my body. Dude, the day will come where they'll be like, yeah, we can put like a USB port in your brain and you'll like be able to upload like your consciousness to the internet. And I'll be like, yeah, whatever, sure, why not? The ramifications of that, I just choose not to think about for now. Yeah, because there are entire video games on why that's a bad idea. Aperture Death Job. Soma. I think was a game about that. Hmm. Maybe. Amy Chow says, someone needs to make a chocolate bob -omb. A chocolate bob -omb. That sounds tasty. Super Mario. Maybe one day, we'll, maybe I'll just ditch all the alcohol stuff behind me. I'll just become a chocolatier. I'll just make <laughs> a Mario Gushan. A who now? Oh, um, uh, do you know that one chocolate guy? Who on, just like, makes like chocolate tables and stuff and ping pong tables and yes. baseball tables? That's yeah. his actual name. What's his name? A Mario Gushan. I can spell it for you if you like. Mary Gushan. Time for learning moment. Here's a marker. Marker time! In the meantime, Thomas is 75 and our memes will only become more cancer. Imagine the shit posting now that'll be so much worse when we end up in our old homes. Dude, seriously, when I have absolutely nothing to do when I'm old and gray, it might just be making memes and stuff all day. Or becoming a chocolatier. Potentially for- Why uh, not both? It's so high, nobody can see it. However, we have the beauty of the cocktail angle to oh. hopefully remedy that for us. That's okay. This is this is a bunch of, this is a larger board than people think it is. Yes. There we go. This is that's Yeah, that's how you spell his name. Amon Gouchon. Mon Gouchon. 
that's the lesson for today. Very good job, everybody. We're, yes. we're all learning. Also, and the you sound and I have switched history. positions. We have. That's okay. I can hang on this side for a little while. Yes. Okie doke. So, we have tasted all the wines that we have at our, dis at our disposal this evening, including, but not necessarily limited to, blackberry cream, butter pecan cream, blueberry moscato, cranberry moscato, watermelon moscato, and daffodil white, the taste of spring. Do we have a favorite? Out of all of them. The blueberry has been dethroned. I like the butter pecan best. I could drink this entire bottle. I still love the blueberry. The blueberry is so good. Oh my god. I can't even get over how tasty that was. It like blew it like blew everything else out of the water. Like nothing compares to just how delightfully like complex and it's tasty. Just so it's good. just so good. Oh and my this God. is why I had to get you a second bottle because I knew if I gave you my personal bottle, I would not be going home with it. No, I'm sorry. I'm keeping this one. This is this is my, this is my child now. I love this so much. <laughs> this is my oh child. Oh my God. I love this so I much. I love so tasty. him. If you insult it, do not talk to me or my son this ever is, again. This is the boy. This is my is boy. boy. I love that boy. And this is this is your boy. This is this is Kier's boy. Yes. And then we have. We I feel have, like I could rim a glass with chocolate sauce for that. You probably could. I actually. I just thought the other day that I should be taking the chocolate syrup that's in my fridge out of my fridge because it's taking up space, but it didn't. So we still have the chocolate sauce. <laughs> it's <laughs> chocolate syrup, not sauce. But speaking of which, we were at Giant the other day and we saw two containers. One was. Concord grape jam. One was Concord grape jelly, and there was literally nothing different about the containers except one said jam in all the places that say jam, and one said jelly in all the places that say jelly. And I was so tempted. Ingredient lists are the same. Completely the same. But one said jam, one said jelly. I don't know if they were phasing one out of the other. I really wanted to buy both, but I just didn't need that much jam and or jelly in my life. Not yeah. Now. I don't make as many sandwiches as I used to. Don't let it put you in a jam. Mm-hmm. Why are you so jelly? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not the jelly one. I'm not jealous of the fact that they can call themselves two different names and still be basically the same product. Um, I'm not jealous about that. I don't need two different personas. I don't need to, you know, I don't need two different personas, personas, or outsonas. It's just like how Burn doesn't need two different names. Exactly. They're Burn just needs one name. Things. That's a beautiful watermelon. Watermelons. Watermelon. I hardly know her melon. Only time I'm making that joke this stream. So, what do we do now? Hmm. We tried all of the wines. That's it. Let's make some cocktails. Let's make some cocktails? Let's do it. What kind of cocktails do we have this evening? It's finally cocktail time! Yeah, because uh, Thomas at the Winery actually does have a full website where they have recipes for all of their wines. They do. And it is Not a all of them. long list. I went through the entire repertoire as per research for this stream to see what kind of cocktails that Tomasello themselves recommend for each of their wines. They have about 60 something recipes on there. They are all added to the recipe book and to boot, not all of their wines are represented there. In right, particular, you said that the blackberry and cream was not represented. I don't think any of the a la mode wines are featured in the cocktail list. I think I know why. I think they're brand new. Are they really that new? Yeah. Ooh. At least from what I saw last time I was there. We're doing some good stuff around here. Also, would you like me to put the name of the winery up on the board? You may have to re-raise. That's okay. They got all the bottles here that are saying the names all over the place. Yes. If you want your name on the board. Not sponsored, by the way. You have to sponsor us for your name on the board. That's why Kirsten's name is on the board. Because you brought all the wines. Fair Not up. really a sponsor, but sponsor sort of kind of. Sponsor. There's a lot of chat out there about how yes. I'm a furry now. If I was a furry, my spirit so furry. animal is a sea lion, and that's not quite Research. furry as it is slippery. Like, I don't actually know. I love to get to... I have. Wait, I leave to get oh my God. The mail and come back to chat saying, Yeah, I'm sorry. I, so I, I assure you that this is much more interesting than whatever's in your mailbox. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so if I was, it's a sea lion, although that's not furry at all. They got is like that your and persona? Sea lion. If I had to pick one, that would be it. Okie dokie. So. Which, I think, where do we want to start? Honestly, we've been dodging the bullet of this watermelon named Burn the entire, like, so far the entire stream so far. And I feel like we should start off with sacrifice. sacrificing Burn sacrifice. for the sake of cocktails. Sacrifice. So I think what we'll go, we'll go into first is 
Let's think of watermelon margarita or one of these also says What is a troublemaker? A troublemaker in use. This is the watermelon Moscato. Look at that. A water. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. A troublemaker combines vodka, the watermelon Moscato, some OJ, Aperol liqueur, which I don't have Aperol, I have Campari. Watermelon seltzer. seltzer and some spumante. We can do that one first. Yes. We all technically have the spumante, which as we learned earlier, is sparkle. Um, but I got some Prosecco that we'll use. Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully so it'll I think, take out the metallic taste. I gotta go around and grab the, the, the spumante, and I think the OJ is downstairs. So I'm gonna go, uh, let me double check that. Yeah, and does this need water to be erased? It does need a little bit of water. So usually what I'll do is I'll take just a bit of the water here. It's okay if we get a little on the floor, so I have a towel. I'm just kind of like, it'll all come off like that. Yeah, just wipe it down. I'll be back in just a hot second. I'll go get the OJ first. And I Cheers. will redo the horn. OJ, is that you? Of course, everyone can just look at my back now and see how socially awkward I am. Hi, everyone. I've got OJ. He's got me too, unfortunately. And I'll grab the Prosecco over here. There you go. Get all in there. What did I miss? Are we still talking about my fursona? <laughs> I hope not. Let's do a little bit of cleanup over here too, because there is a lot of wine yeah. There's a lot going and on. Not enough bar. So let's see. Watermelon mascara yeah, is the start for this one. Yeah. Why don't we take all the wines that we're not working with at the moment off see. of the bar? Wine line. Pivot. 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 There we Pivot. go. Pivot. There we go. There we go, there we go. I'll take any dirty glasses we have, yes. like these guys. We can keep our cordials if we want to sip on things a little bit later if we want to. Okie dokie, and I think- one of the jiggers. Got him, sweet. What is everybody's, oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> Furry X, slippery, yeah, slippery. Slip, slippery X. Oh, there's an X in there. Oh my gosh, what does that even mean? I don't know. Cameron accidentally said fursona twice when his, oh, this is the context. Now everybody's caught up now. I did. I fully admit to that. Maybe it was a slip. Maybe it was a fir Fersonian slip? Slips. Freudian slip. Freudian slip? Fersonian slip? Yes. Yeah, unlike the Freudian slip where you say one thing and then mean your mother. I mean another. <laughs> we weren't making any more your mom jokes. No more, because we only get one. So, the Troublemaker is a cocktail which, if you remember from what I said earlier, but for the sake of education, we're going to say it again, combines some vodka, some watermelon Moscato, OJ, orange juice, and Aperol liqueur, watermelon seltzer, and spumante together. Apparently, everything gets shaken up, you pour it over ice, and that's your Troublemaker. I'm trying to think of the thing that makes this a Troublemaker, and most of it's alcohol. Yeah. Except for the watermelon seltzer and the orange juice. So there's just a lot of a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, it's kinda like the purple dragon from Tipsy Bartender. Oh yeah. That had like a yeah. bunch of like dragon fruit and stuff and just It like, had it dragon had the, fruit and then it was just pure alcohol. Liquor, 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 and liquor, more liquor, 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 liquor. And like the only so mixer was it. one single bottle of white grape juice. Indeed. I got drunk just looking I at it. I remember that. And then he was like, and then we're gonna top it off with champagne. Just a bunch of champagne. I was like, that Four is Four bottles of it. A lot of champagne. Tipsy bartender. Very excellent. Excellent. Yeah, he literally went, definitely don't drink this and drive. No, for sure not. So what are we driving over here? I mean drinking. <laughs> so this one actually doesn't call for burn as a garnish at all. That doesn't say that we garnished it with anything. So we'll we'll just let burn sit on the you side. Live back, another day, burn. Back on your throne for now. We'll get to you eventually. One thing that we do We're need is a use it anyway. Mm hmm It's not gonna bother. We can. We can. Oh, actually that sounds delicious. Okay. So what just, we'll do, just, <laughs> just like, just, just give it a whack. There we go. How does that sound? Does that sound at all? I didn't know you know how to beatbox. A little bit. That's pretty good. I can do this weird thing with my mouth where it sounds like. It hurts my tongue though. It's a beatboxing thing, probably. Oh, 
Probably. I do weird things with my mouth sometimes. Like, put things in it. What if you started an ASMR channel? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bit, guys. It's, it's Right? It's just a bit, Cameron. It's just a bit. It's just a bit. It's just a bit. It's just a bit. It can't hurt you. It can't, <laughs> the bit can't hurt you. Meanwhile, the bit. The bit. <laughs> it's a living, like, the, the bit is looking over my shoulder, and I'm like... I don't know what's going on. Do it not, just raises a muddler behind you, ready to strike. Burns perspective. <laughs> so let's grab ourselves a shaker glass, and I'm yes. thinking. I'm thinking. I feel like we definitely should put a little bit of watermelon in here somewhere. Oh yeah. Indeed, indeed. So we got the top of that, and let's grab one of the dudes from down there. That's where I got all my Boston shakers. We can take just one of them. Yes. We can take oh, that out. Oh, cool. Will this guy fit? Hell yes! That'll work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Him to the side, right where that shaker was. And actually, I I don't feel like being very merciful to burn. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take burn out. Yeah. We're gonna take burn out in a little little a little joyride. So I just realized I don't have a big enough knife up here. So I think I have to go down and get another knife. 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 I'm blue da ba dee ba da ba die. Um, I feel like ba dee ba da. Also, uh, do you even have a plain vodka? I vodka so that I can at least I got some, try to start. I got some Tito's. Actually, yeah. Tito's. If you want to start things off by putting some liquid components into the glass, I've got the recipe list over here, and I'll just go get a big old knife. Yeah, because I can put them in this part, and then I could just. At some point in time, I'm just gonna buy myself my own knife, and then like <laughs> I don't have to keep going downstairs for things. Yeah, just grab a chef's knife, dude. I should. I've been meaning to grab one from the store. I just haven't yet. Expert precision. Ah. Uh. Fun. Absolutely fun. Because this is one thing that should not be drinking. Is definitely Cameron's phone. Okay, so that's one ounce of vodka. I've got a knife! Oh, boy! Okay, so... Fresh from the dishwasher. It was just recently cleaned. Beautiful, Holy and now God. it gets to stab burn. It's gonna be great! Yes! So let's, let's do something about it. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake your orange juice. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake your orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get, let's get our cutting More board. More than awesome, it says, ooh, Tito's. Tito's? Tito's. My shakers aren't dudes. My shakers are whatever you want them to be, Dom. That sounds re. <laughs> and you can pay them too. The shakers, I mean. You know what they say, shake what, sh shake? Shake what your mama gave you. J just shake, you know? Shake a, shake a, shake a. Shake Sonora. Shake, shake Sonora. Orange juice. Shake your Tropicana. So let's switch the angle up a little bit so everybody can get a beautiful view of Burn and uh, their death. Yes, I do apologize, yeah. Burn. Do you want to switch places? I think we'll be all right. Yes, I'm sorry, Burn. It just had this to be is this your way. summary execution. Shall we switch to the cocktail angle? Or uh, do we also want to wash angle? that off? No, I mean, we're not eating the outside of it. Fair we're enough. just going to get the fruit on the inside. Would you mind switching us for a moment? I uh, yeah, Thank you. Can. I wonder if this is... Let's see. Eh, 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 eh. Hello, everybody. Hello, every Bernie. Sanders? No. Silly. Come on over here. Can you hold that piece of wood for just a moment? Yes. It's not properly counterbalanced, but I know I can get over top of this guy. Hello, Bert. Nope, you're flip. Whoa, hi there, everybody. Let's make you... He flipped again. You know what? This is all we get. <laughs> Try turning it this way. A little bit. Like that? Yeah. I have limited... Oh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot I can do this. There we go. Totally forgot I could do that. There we go. We're still getting used to the cocktail angle. I hope nobody minds. Ah uh, ha ha ha. There we go. We there made we it work. go. This is burn. I slapped it. Would you like to slap burn? Slap that burn. Nice. You're gonna die here. Yep. We, would you like to do the honor? I mean, we we essentially all we want to do is grab some. I will do it. We just want to grab some. We just want some. We want some bits. We just want some bits on the inside. The we bits, bits. The bits. The, the bits. bits. The bits. It's burn. It's burning. It's a watermelon. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. 
I believe in you. There. Oh, there it is. There bye, we bye, go. Burn. Bye, Burn. Bye, bye, Burn. Bye, bye, Bernie. What color are your insides, Burn? Probably red. I would hope so. Otherwise, much I'll like a worried. human. Yeah, I'll get a little worried if it's any other color in there. What if it was blue? If it was a little blue, bluebird melon. Bluebird melon. Bluebird melon. Blue who's melon? Nope. We only make that joke once. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh. I see his insides. Oh, they're red on the inside. Ha ha. I knew you were gonna be red like the others. This isn't surprise. This isn't very satisfying at all. Ah. <sighs> smells like summer. Ah. <sighs> Indeed. Getting a little bit of a dust component there. A little bit of hint of allergies. A little <laughs> bit of pool time. It's a smell I'm getting. I love that. Okie yeah. dokie. How do we want to get him out of there? Save burn! Well, not save it anybody. Work some progress in my favorite things about this. <laughs> Cut. Gore. <laughs> Gore. Watermelon can, can be, be yellow. yellow. Yeah. Just Humans can be yellow on the inside too. In there, eh? I mean. Well, yeah, it's watermelon. I definitely could have put other parts of me up in there too, but it's a watermelon and this is a kid's show. No, it's not. Just kidding. <laughs> it's just alcohol. No, it's not a kid's show. However, it's PG-13 instead of R. This is fair. This is fair. No penises on set, please. <coughs> None of them. Keep them off set. We're gonna take, just take a slice of this watermelon. I don't know what the best way to slice this watermelon. Come to think of it, what's the best way to slice a watermelon? Mm hmm. Huh. Oh, like slices? Wedges? A wedge it. I was wedge. gonna say either oh that or god. if you had like a spoon. Wedge. Oh my god, the melon baller is downstairs. Why is everything downstairs? Well, because I don't keep everything up here. There we go. There's a wow, you're juicy. <laughs> my goodness, burn, you're juicy. <laughs> Wow. That's what she said. Wow, look at you. That's a nice heaping that wedge. That is a perfect That's slice. That's a beautiful wedge. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. That is like some stock wow. photo level of good. This stream is getting a little spicy. My goodness. Are you going to get an ice cream scoop? I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Not anymore. Photo time. Is it beautiful? Oh my god. Did it work? <gasps> oh, it did. It did work. I was confused. All right, cool. So we have a wedge. I think we can cut. We might as well just cut up some wedges, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think I don't have any spare containers to put the rest of the wedges in, but we'll make it work. There we go. We'll just cut up some watermelon while we're here. Yeah. While we're here, we'll just cut up some watermelon. There we go. We'll do cut another. Cut the watermelon. Cut the melon now. There we go. Cut the watermelon. Shake the entire bar. Things aren't very well structurally supported around here. There we go. We got a couple of nice ones over here. Let me yes. see if I got anything over here that might be a good container to hold things. See, a plate over here. Uh, hey, Cam, would this work? Oh my god, hell yeah, it would work. I've got a pan. This is the pan that I couldn't find last week. The pan of no regrets. The pan of no regrets. We'll keep... We have a knife. We'll keep whichever wedge is left remaining. That's a tiny knife. It is a tiny knife. That's not a knife. It would be very good for slicing up watermelon. This so is a knife. Could... Wow. No, it's, that's not a knife. I just, I JK. That's not a knife That's at not all. a knife. That's a watermelon. That's not a knife. This that's is a, a melon. tiny spatula. That's true. I actually don't remember why it's still... Actually, we were cooking bacon last week. That's why. Ooh. Oh, hello, Burn. Ooh, hello. That was their name. I'm going to try to wedge this guy, too. Let's just see what happens. Wedge. There we go. Getting better at this. Let's see how far you can make it squirt. Oh, that hello. sounded so wrong. Hello, burn. <laughs> and burn and burn and more burn. T some people and just want to water the world burn. Burn and 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 burn. Some people just want to watch the world watermelon. How does the world watermelon? Just like this. This burn. is the way the world watermelons. This is the way the world watermelons. Not, Not with, with a bang, bang, but with, with squirt. <laughs> oh my god, it's still. Oh man. Yeah, this is a juicy melon, my dude. Really this is. Yeah, I'm gonna put the camera over here just so y'all can see the squirt happening over here. <laughs> I want everyone to experience this glorious squirtage. Here we go, here we go. Hopefully, we can get a pretty good squirt this time, too. Oh, I think you will because the knife's are rated. Here we go. Let's go. Can now see that? Oh, yeah, look at her go. Dude, that's halfway to your death. That's incredibly disturbing, but here we are. Watermelon. <laughs> Who is melon? I'm not making my joke again. All right. We have a single slice remaining. I'm going to take the rest of the slices. Actually, can we switch the angle? Yeah. Then we can show everybody our beautiful haul. 
ladies, gentlemen, and those who fall in between or beyond, burn. Rest in peace, burn. Wait, I just had an idea. Where's the kazoo? Where's the kazoo? Where is the kazoo? There's the kazoo. Godspeed. For the noble sacrifice that was burn in their time of prime, cut and twine, and then twine again, and then twine yet again, mm -hmm. for the sake of the cocktails at the bar with an X, all be with us here today. May God have mercy on your rind. Amen. Let's muddle this bitch! <laughs> So, so let's, let's, take like, let's take like a little, like, a, I'm just gonna take a slice of it. Do we oh. want to use this knife? Yeah, well, sure, why not? I'll put this knife over in the bucket. <clears throat> now the bucket's dead. Do you know why I use a knife? Why why you use a knife? I was trying to make a reference to the Dark Knight. I don't know. Oh, is it the Joker? Yeah. Heath Ledger Joker? What's the thing I'm that gonna like, take... Harley Quinn says? This is just like, oh, J baby, or something. Uh, Mr. J Puddin. Mr. J Puddin, watermelon? Put what and where? You tell me. Right? Haha. Ha. Is that, is it? I think that would be good to muddle up. That is a ginormous piece of muddle. You know what? There might be enough cocktail for both of us at this point. Oh, yeah. Let's I can go for just it. Cut that up. Now, let's take, let's take yes, you. Yes, take Burns' carcass let's away. Let's take the so rest of Cut this up. <laughs> Look, I'm happy. <laughs> you're happy, that but. Makes me happy. When you're happy, but you have a tooth missing. <laughs> There's something rhymed with me. <laughs> Anyways. So essentially, what we're gonna do, we're add, we're change up the recipe a little bit. We're just gonna add some yes. watermelon to our to our little. Because nothing over here. can make life better than fresh watermelon. That's true. And That's I am true. just going to. I'll pop you over there. Oh, gotta get him. Oh God, the yeah. sounds. Ooh. Ain't that delicious sounding? <laughs> <laughs> That's what good watermelon sounds like. <laughs> That's what burn sounds like. <laughs> when, when, when you muddle burn just right, that's what they sound like. Mmm, squishy. Oh my god. Oh, is that this vodka? literally just has a sh it has an ounce of vodka in it. Vodka! Yay! Burn vodka! Watermelon vodka. Watermelon vodka. Melon vodka. Okay, and then how many ounces of OJ do I need? We need a total of one ounce of OJ, or about 30 milliliters. Wow. I'm going to sneak behind you and put this cutting board back. I'll clean this off. Wow. Wow. Alright, so I'm putting the spatula in a safe place. The table. Just give it a chem lab. The table. Chem lab? I have been watching a lot of Breaking Bad. I think I might know how to cook a little bit of meth. Maybe. Maybe just, maybe just... I mean, if you know how to make cookies and have some Sudafed, according to that police, you can make meth. Oh, really? Yeah. Apparently, I it's definitely made cookies before. I wouldn't suggest making meth, though. No? Why? Because then you can sell it as ADHD medication. Meth. For the kiddos who suffer. <laughs> More than awesome, just oof the ASMR. Dude, Hashtag all of that stuff. Knife for bucket. That's what good ah! sounds like. All right. What else do we need? We added our vodka. Oh, we need our watermelon Moscato. Yeah. We have almost forgotten. Two full ounces, or about like 59 ish milliliters, of our watermelon Moscato coming from Tomasola Winery. Totally not sponsoring this episode. They decided to completely ignore my DMs on Instagram. No, no hate. No hate. I understand. People are busy. I get it. You're slightly salty. I'm just only slightly salty. They didn't even bother to read it. So sad. So sad. Me and my less than 2,000 follower ass. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Salt. We also need an ounce and a half of April liqueur. I don't have any April, so the substitute that we're going to use is Campari, which is another bitter orange liqueur. April usually comes out on the kind of the sweeter side, but we're just going to use the Campari because we got a shit ton of watermelon in there. That's going to be right behind this Luxardo bottle down there. Ah, oh, so it hides cool. behind the other herbal liqueurs. Campari. Oh, Campari. this has a very nice red too. It's to so it. red. So how much of this so do we need? Great. So we need an ounce and a half, or just about. Uh, I'm forgetting my measurements there. 44 milliliters of. Ah! So an ounce on that side, and then we'll add another half ounce. And too. I got one. I'm a foot. Oh, oh my God! I just noticed you're wearing sandals. Very nice. Excellent barware. So that's gonna be three quarters on that side. 
Yeah, Indeed. I can do, do it two twice. measurements. Yeah. There we go. This is a very red drink. You've got to do the cooking by the book. Yes. I don't know the rest of the words of that song, but it's chill. Or else the cake will wind up crazy. That's true. The cake, yeah, then you have a cake. This all tracks. It really does, though. So next we need the same amount of watermelon seltzer. I don't have watermelon seltzer. I just seltzer. realized. Ooh, what's up? For your watermelon seltzer, mm -hmm. we could technically use club soda. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So originally, one of the other cocktails calls for watermelon cocktail mix. I found watermelon fruit cocktail by, I think, Arizona in a bottle. And it said watermelon and cocktail on it, so I bought it. However, we just muddled a bunch of watermelon in here. And I think, honestly, we can just add the amount of club soda. Just like, even just like a... Who needs watermelon seltzer when we have actual watermelons? Exactly. Who needs it when we have burn to sacrifice to the watermelon gods? Thank you, burn. Indeed. Absolutely. So there's some club soda over by your right foot. There's some bottles. Those uh, cans ah. are tonic water. The plastic bottles are club soda. What is the difference between tonic water and club soda? Tonic water has a chemical in it known as quinine, and it provides like a very bitter flavor to it. I think it used to be a considered a... a grippy, grippy. Absolutely. Actually, let me see. It I used to be this. considered a medication, and they started putting it in like alcohol and stuff with their gin and tonics and stuff. Yeah. And that ain't gonna do you any good. But it's, a, it's kind of a bittering agent. There's probably other like medicinal properties to it too, but I couldn't say that I'm very up to snuff on my knowledge there. But as opposed to club soda, which is just like carbonated sure water. This do we need? It said an ounce and a half of the watermelon seltzer, and we have a bunch of watermelon in there, so I'm inclined to just like put like an ounce in there. Yeah. And half an ounce. I bought it a little bit. This is just gonna provide that. I, I don't want to skimp on it too much because I think it's there because we want that carbonation, and so we'll make things a little fizzy. Just a, just a. There we go. Now one ounce of vodka. Glug 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 glug. That we already did. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, and we also need the spumante. But it actually gets topped off at the end. So I think what we should do is we'll split this into two different shape, uh, two different glasses for ourselves, and we'll just top it off with however much Perse spumante, yeah. prosecco, sparkle that we want to. Sparkle time. Whoa. I should microphone. really put this on here. And we'll put that away as well. I'll put the... I don't know if the club soda will make returns, but I'll put it over here anyways. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And as far as this goes, do we shake with ice? We will shake it with some ice. So I'll grab a couple of ice cubes and we'll get things going. I like to, just as a particular rule of thumb for me, to put two little cubes a big old ice cube. You can also crack the ice cubes, but I suck at that. So I'm just gonna do this. Big ol' tig all cube. All right, let's do this. Liquids into solids. That watermelon's gonna be great. Make sure that that's sealed. Absolutely. It it's is. It'll seal on its own. Whoa. Ah! Oh, it kind of squirrely a little bit. Yeah, seal broke a little bit. Burn coming for their revenge. <laughs> Burns rivet. Yeah, this is just gonna. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, it's let's squirting. See. Let's see about this. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. Do we want to use the actual cup that it came with? Hmm. This is actually a new shaker of mine, so I guess the seal is not as, it's not as, uh, tight. What I want it to be. It, it did, it's, it's sealed a little bit. Hmm. It'll just work with it. I'll just be a little more careful with it. Try our best to say. What's more than awesome saying? This all tracks quinine will treat your malaria. That was what it was for, it was for malaria. All right, I'd say that's more or less adequately shaken. Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. So I actually bought uh, one of the shakers that I bought recently. Instead of coming with two metal parts to it, came with a pint glass and the other half of the metal part, like the big part. And I was under the impression that it didn't matter which one you use it with. Apparently it Apparently it matters. Yeah. So I learned something new today. That are like, it's possible because like the liquid line is kind of up there. Yeah. So, so I wonder if there's the just a lot of liquid seal might in there. not. <laughs> in any case, it's okay. We'll leave the, the sealing questions for the scientists. Yes. And I suggest we use a strainer. Well, probably because we have the watermelon pulp in there, we'll double yeah. strain it too. Yeah. Actually, well, actually, I think it'll be okay. I don't mind a little watermelon pulp in mine. Actually, well, I guess the seeds. Yeah, yeah. that's why. We'll use, yeah. we'll use that guy. It'll catch Single the bigger, strain. It'll get the, the bigger seeds out and whatnot. All right, so let's grab some glasses. glasses. I feel like because we're topping it with a bit of spumante, that these would work very well inside of these little champagne flutes of ours. I think that'll look pretty good. 
Yeah. Let's see. I lost a lot. I had a lot of juice in there. We definitely did. So I'm gonna adjust the cocktail angle a little bit, trying to get this yeah, an angle where we can. Oh, Ooh, hello there. Can you hold the wood for a second? Yes. Thank you, thank you. I need to eventually counterbalance that thing properly. Put it like that. Oh, increase this a little bit. All right, let's switch. Let's see if I got the right angle. I'll hold control, you click five. There we go. There we go. It's not too bad. Hello, everybody. Hi. Put you there, put you there bring you up just, just a, a tad. tad come over here hi everybody Hello. cocktail time thank you madam it's the first cocktail of the evening yeah finally all right and so what we'll do is we'll pour about like half ish through and then we'll top it off with the rest of our spook monster dude what are you doing what are you doing whoa i was not doing a very good Oh my god, it's not... Okay, well... Yeah, you gotta go quick with it. Gotta go quick with that. Alright, here we go. Caught a little seed in there. Wow, that just like... That does not want to go. That's okay. That's why... Whoop! Wow, we're making a mess. There we go. This works? Wow. Burn is being juicy till the very end. To the absolute bitter end of it. I'm gonna put you in there. It's, just, it's safe in there. Away from everything. And now we'll top it with a little bit of imitation spumante. Okay. How do I? So with this guy, let's see. Oh, you're the difficult. Oh, there is a little tab there. Ah! Go for it. And I think it's probably gonna. I don't know if this one has the pop or not. No, I don't know if this one has the pop. If it does, I'll be happy. Eh, not really. Not really no. big pop. Just teeny pop. Teeny popper. Teeny, teeny popper. Cute glasses indeed. Thank you. The one that says MRS is mine. Because I broke it, I think, right? Nope, that's the MR one. I don't even remember which one's which. Yeah, that works. I think. You want to pop it up a little bit more? I'm wondering exactly how much spumante it expects us to have in there. I don't really know. It said just top it off. It so. just, it's true. It's true. Pour over, oh, over ice top with seltzer and, oh, seltzer and spumante. Well, Enjoy nonetheless. Absolutely. It certainly so smells watermelony. Indeed. Melony indeed. It smells very, very fruity. Get to the tastage. Dom is saying, confidence is key. I will be heading to the, out for the night. I wish you all great whatever with you and your stream and good luck. Thank yes, you, sir. thank you. And cheers to another year. We'll go for it. This actually smells lovely off the bat. Ooh, that's different. Kind of reminds me of a ranch water. It is kind of ranch watery. Yeah, there's a little bit of like a, well, the bitterness there got to be coming from that. Probably a combination of the Spumante wine and the Campari. It's a little, it's it's got a, it's a little too bitter, I think. Mm -hmm. There is like a sweetness here, but it's like a very light sweetness. It's interesting to taste like I've never I've never thought of having bitter flavor and watermelon together. And that's pretty much what this is. When you said ranch water, that was like that like clicked it, the bulb it for me. Tasted, it tastes like a watermelon version of the ranch water that we had on the spicy stream. Yeah, because that was and we used the uh it was the jalapeno something. cucumber vodka, I think. Yeah. Ha cucumber like, jalapeno something. Yeah, like, like the bitterness, somewhere. I'm getting notes of cucumber. Because I think even though it's not in here, the ranch water is it's tequila, lime juice, and sparkling water. So Topo Chico on top of it. I actually tried to make myself a ranch water the other day with the remainder of I think it was cilantro infused tequila, which was also left over from the spicy spirit stream, and it did not go well. I couldn't I couldn't recover that. It did not taste good the way that I had mixed it together. That's totally on me. But yeah, this is very like. The combo that we have here is I can taste the bitterness of the Campari and the Prosecco. I'm not a big fan of this Prosecco, but like there is like a very particular bitterness that's sticking around on my tongue that's almost as if like there was peel in there somewhere. It tastes like cucumber peel. Yeah, which is kind of interesting. It's not bad. It's still refreshing though. Like I think that those wa the watermelon flavor and just because like everything that went in there in terms of flavor, aside from, I think, the Campari, 
has a light flavor. Like vodka, aside from the alcohol It's notes, a neutral alcohol. It's a neutral spirit. The watermelon Moscato, very light. The orange juice, flavor, probably. I don't know. I wonder if there's any bitterness from the orange juice in there. But everything else was just kind of like base light flavors. Mm -hmm. And I think combined together, I I I'll say like my initial reaction is eh. Mm. But it's kind of growing on me a little bit. If you were to give this to me and said, this is watermelon, I would have kind of turned my head a little bit and be like, is it really? I was like, it's very vaguely watermelon. You can't. Yeah. Like it smell. it certainly smells like watermelon, the way that like a watermelon smells, not like watermelon smell smell, like the confectioner, but on the taste side, it's peely. It's almost like there was like a cucumber or like a like a, like lime peel or like yeah, grapefruit it's like... from wheel in there. It's giving me heavy grapefruit notes. Hmm. But like the peel of grapefruit, which the only reason I know that is because apparently you can preserve lemon peels and put them in like oil and salt and stuff and it tastes really good. Ooh. I did the same thing with grapefruit and that does not taste very good. Good grape grapefruit peels are very, very bitter. Yes. Unfortunately. Much like grapefruit itself. Indeed. Indeed. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. Not, not too bad though. Honestly. And I'm even okay with the fact that there's a couple of little seeds in there too. That's okay. I liked it when that I that proves that it's watermelon when you're doubtful. It's true. It's true. Burn's trying to leave behind something for us to enjoy after the fact. Good for you, Burn. Mm -hmm. You win. You know what? You win. I'll take that. Honestly, not too bad. Not too too bad. Definitely not something I. Probably I don't know if I'd order this again. A lot more bitter than you'd expect. Aperol is a. Big citrus and big sweet. That's the difference. Mm, that would be the difference. Yeah, because it did call for Aperol. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I've never had Aperol before, actually. Oh, I, I guess I have in, like, cocktails that would call for it. I've definitely ordered drinks that have Aperol in them, but, like, I've never... I, I had an Aperol spritz once. Well, then Anyways. it looks like that's the next bottle for your bar. Maybe. Get myself the other red bottle that everybody knows and loves. Ediches says, I think it was tequila with the, with the ranch water, I believe. Yeah. Indeed was. Coolio. So that's the troublemaker. Yes, it certainly is a troublemaker. I'm getting into Burn. trouble with this. Does it? Is it? Is it the one that makes the trouble, or is it's it the, the one trouble? where if you have too much of it, it makes, some it makes some trouble? I would definitely say like if if we go with the whole ranch water thing, like ranch water on a ranch in the desert, mirage sickness of like 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 desert sickness and stuff. This could make you do crazy things. Maybe. Mm -hmm. In any case, so that was our troublemaker. The yes. first tech, technically the first cocktail of the night. This is wine cocktails, and we just did a lot of wine tasting and stuff. There wasn't a lot of wine cocktails. However, we'll be proceeding to another cocktail up next where we use a different wine completely. Yes. I feel like I was a little more, I was like a little more pumped for the watermelon Moscato to see like what we could do with it. But honestly, I feel like it would kind of pair better with like citrus flavors. Yeah. I feel like just combining the watermelon Moscato with just like club, some club soda, like a little bit of like a little bit of orange juice would be nice. Honestly, you could take the club soda, the Moscato, and the orange juice, and you basically have yourself like a watermelon mimosa. That's what I would think. But there's so many other wines that we have to cover this evening. It's almost otherwise. Wait, this itself is almost like a watermelon screwmosa. Mm, true. Well, yeah, because the screwdriver will be. Oh, because it's got the vodka. You got your OJ. And you got your. Prosecco in there, your spumante in there. It is kind of a beautiful little three-way love child there. Yeah. Your screwdriver, your mimosa. I guess you got your April on there, so like a spritz. That's a spritz how it's a thing. troublemaker. It's an illegitimate love child. Spicy stream. <laughs> Scandalous. Burn your dog. Oh my god. <laughs> that watermelon just keeps on coming back. Yeah. I can't it keeps on it. coming. No oh my god. <laughs> So let me grab, I'll grab a couple of coasters for these guys. Uh, Put them off to the side. Would you say that this is a drink worth keeping behind at the bar? I would say it's worth keeping behind the bar if we follow the recipe perfectly. Indeed. We'll put them. We'll put them on both Otherwise, sides. Otherwise, it's a little bit better for me. I agree there. I don't think this is. I, I don't eventually. Think it's worthy. I think eventually I'll fall in love again with the beauty of the blueberry moscato. So maybe, maybe, maybe that'll be the one. Maybe, maybe that'll be the one. Wine stream part two? Wine stream part two. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We return to try to fix the stuff that we did previously. Trash can and or bucket. Garbage, absolutely. We'll go to the recycling bin because I have that separated out now because I'm trying to be a good boy. Yes. Okie dokie. 
So the question is, where do we proceed with things next? I need next? to head off. Sorry, you guys. Have fun. Bye! No need to apologize, Amy. You have a wonderful rest of your night. The fact I that you popped you on even a little bit, it's appreciated. Yes! I'll take this watermelon wine over here. Thanks for whining. Or... Again, thank you for whining with us. Thank you for crying with us, too. If you were crying along at home, thank you for that. Yes. I wasn't crying. On the outside, at least. Indeed. On the inside. Only on the inside. As I, as I, what was it? I was doing something with my mortal coil. I don't really know. So let's see. Out of the other cocktails that we have this evening, I will show Kirsten our list here if anything else hmm. sounds interesting. All of these cocktails are coming from the Tomasello Winery cocktail site, so all the recipes and stuff will be up on there. There's also a cocktail blog that I post after the fact. So we'll go with those as well. What is the blueberry? Excuse me. Oh, got a white cranberry juice, gin, triple sauce, oh, I sparkling water. Oh, did I? I need to check to see if I have the cranberry juice here. I do. Let's make a blueberry hill. We're going to make a blueberry hill. Yeah. Hey. Because I definitely have the white cranberry juice up here. Triple sec, gin, sparkling water. Oh, nice. Yeah, Actually, it's fairly simple. It, well, I don't have sparkling water per se. Wait a minute. I we might. have club soda. I might. It depends on what Taco Chico is considered. That might actually just be considered sparkling mineral water. I'll check that in a second. Okay. When in doubt, you can always ask Alexa. Alexa, what is Taco Chico? Taco Chico is a brand of sparkling mineral water. Piece. Hell yeah! Taco Chico is both naturally carbonated at the source and artificially carbonated. Wow! Taco Chico has been sourced from and bottled in Monterey, that's... Mexico, since 1895. Thank you, that's a lot of info on Taco Chico. That's, that's, that's... Alexa, stop! That was a lot. That is a lot. Well, I got the first answer to my question, the first second, and, and they just kept on going. Look at the Tapa Chico when it comes to it. I actually have an entire yeah. case of Tapa Chico in the closet. It's great. Love that stuff. Wow. You can make it for you can use it for your ranch waters. Oh, I need to write the cocktail on the board. Yeah. This next one's called Blueberry Hill, and it is starring my personal favorite of the evening so far. This natural blueberry Moscato wine. Not sponsored. No, not at all. Never. No, they ignored me. I said, hey, do you have any recommendations on how to use your wine in cocktails? I'm a really big fan and I like them. And they were like, you know what? Yeah, you want to know what some people do with their watermelon that I think would be perfect for this I situation? I don't like where this is going, Kirsten. They put salt with it. Oh, okay. I like where this is going, actually. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. I was thinking like, oh, you do that with grapefruits and stuff. You salt up your grapefruit, you salt up your watermelons, you salt up other fruits and stuff. Good do we stuff. have any salt? Uh, yeah, downstairs. Hmm. Wait, do I have any salt? How do we not have salt up here? A salted room is something that, actually, my little tackle box that I have over here for, it's mostly so that I can whip up garnishes and stuff ad hoc. I don't have salt there. Hmm. No, it's just a shame thing. because like usually with margaritas, you salt the rib. I actually don't do a lot of margaritas. You should. I should, just do a it's almost as if we should do a whole margarita episode at some point in time. I would be entirely there for that. Sweet. So what do we have now? Blueberry the Hill. Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill. So Good night. night, lovely. Good night. Night, Anna. She kisses night, me. Street. You didn't kiss Kirsten. Oh, I'm sorry. Kirsten, I need your hand. Ah. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> Blueberry Hill is a shaken drink poured over top of ice with sparkling water up on top. We gonna need that second shaker? We gonna need another shaker. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake it. Is that coming out of there? No. Let's give it a try. It's stuck. <laughs> Get out. There we go. Nice. I did it. It's like one Ooh. of those uh, Matryoshka dolls. This is very nice. Yeah, I bought this one on Amazon, too. This is very nice. This is nice. Oh, wow. It's got an interesting sound when you put your ear up to it. Huh. Everybody hear that? Huh. It's kind of like the tuning forks that we have. I don't there know we go. Are. Oh, got it. Need to hold it toward the bottom. Hear the tolling of the bell shaker thing. My gosh. Bye, Anna. Oh, watermelon plus salt is a yes from Brad. Tomasella Winery, hashtag now sponsored, totally. But I'm a Southern boy, we salt everything. Ooh. That sounds like Taco Bell. <laughs> that sounds like the Taco, Taco Bell, Bell. Bell. Yo, Caro Taco Bell. I, I also <laughs> Caro blueberries. Yes. But I, 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 so very, I don't know how to say blueberries. I don't I think there is a specific. In Spanish. 
That's fine. I didn't want to know either. Thanks. Okie dokie. So in our cocktail shaker, we're going to need to add blueberry Moscato, white cranberry juice, gin, triple sec. And that's it. We shake that all together. I assume. So I'm going to put, we're going to put liquid in the small container. That was the advantage of using a small container and a large container because what we can do is we can kind of make sure that we don't overfill things by using the small container. Do you want me to try cracking that ice? Do you want to give it a try? Yes. Go for it! I love doing this. And then when you do it successfully the first time, because it's definitely not a difficult thing to do. Oh my god! See, that was awesome. I'm just going to say beginner's luck. I'll let you not a beginner at this. Nice. Ah! There it goes. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I feel that. Yeah. No, nah, I feel that. Yeah. You get a couple of good cracks and then it just goes all over. It's a technique that I've yet to mention. I think also too, I realized that this, like ice. The, the ice that I have is very, very dense in the center because of that cloudiness that you see. So it's a little more, fuck it. It fell on the floor anyways, cool, yeah. But uh, it's a little denser in the middle, so it doesn't crack evenly because it's not that clear ice. So maybe that's just what it needs to be. Your one smaller day. ones would be better. Yes, if I can crack the teeny tiny ones. You could. Nah, it's too much. Oh, cracking every single tiny one of the little ices. It's like trying to grate every single clove, carefully. Or like when they take garlic and they like finely slice it with those tiny little slicers, just like so tiny. So tiny. So precious. Because the thing is, if you did it with the tiny ones, you might get it in one crack. Possible. possible. But, back to the task at hand. Back to the task at hand, which involves putting liquid into a glass. Yes, how much we how need, much do we need? Two ounces, about 59 milliliters, of our blueberry mosquito. Our blueberry mosquitoes. I'm gonna put it all in there. There we go. Then we're also gonna need two full ounces of our white cranberry juice. How's that? Feel? Bro, imagine doing this with a cranberry Moscato. Cranberry, red cranberry, white cranberry. Are there other cranberries? I don't know. Maybe there's a blue cranberry out there. Blueberry cranberry. Yo, mix between a cranberry and a blueberry. Blue cranberry. Maybe? Who knows, really? Then we're gonna need a single ounce of gin. I'll pull up from down here. We've got favor gin. Yet again, we have no idea what kind of gin this is. It's distilled from corn. Huh. I've learned something today. How corny. Indeed. <laughs> Shucks. Ah! Get it? Cause corn. There is corn in your cocktails. Who knew? And after we add an ounce of that, we're gonna add a quarter of a, oh sorry, a half an ounce, or about 15 milliliters of triple sec by De Kuiper. De Kuiper. De Kuiper. Who's Kuiper? Mm -hmm. Richard. Nice. Gotta love our gin there. Personally, I like gin cocktails. I was trying to sip gin. The, actually, I was trying to sip that particular gin the other day and try to get, figure out like, what kind of flavors were happening. This smells heavenly. It's interesting. I'm gonna throw this block over there. I don't need the block. This smells amazing. The triple sec? Yeah. It's very orangey. It's like it's like the classic orange. Like when anything calls for like orange liqueur, it's either gonna be some sort of uh, triple sec or curacao. Ooh. I got the blueberry in there. I was like. Oh, I didn't recognize that smell for a moment. It was very, cl very cleaning in, in the best way possible. Very Febreze, kind of Yankee candle-y. It's a very, very nice, it's almost waxy smelling in a good way. Yes. Indeed. Is that it? Yeah, that's all we add to our shaker. And then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to add some, we're going to put this in a tall glass. We're going to add some ice in there. We're going to throw some blueberries, some lemon on top of that. It's more on the garnish game than anything else. Yeah, Ooh, there we go. Taking, I'll grab the taco chico. Yeah, this is holding a lot better. And it's getting frosty. Mr. Preacher Man said, stay frosty. Chico. The top is the Ooh. chicos. There we go. That's great looking. All right. Put you off to the side. And let's see how I can break the seal. It's I wide. believe. It's not wanting to break. <laughs> there we go. This is, a, this is a tighter one. Ooh, ooh. Well, somewhat. Let me see. I've never tried the slapping technique before. There we go. Oh, 
that worked very well. It smells so good. That is so gin forward. That is gonna be good. I love that. So, do you want two highball glasses? So, I think we only did the contents for one. I think if we move forward through things, we would get plenty of these. So, yeah, if you grab one of the one of the tall glasses over there. Um, I'll grab one from Red Lobster. There we go. <laughs> And I'll grab this works. ice cubes from here that we can put on the inside. Eventually, I need more tiny ice cubes because we're about to pretty much run out with this. Well, actually, we don't need too many in there. Oh, this one's got a little. Hmm. It's got a bubble in it. Cool. Yeah. So, essentially, what we're going to do, according to the instruction, is we're going to take some blueberries and put them up on top of them as a means to garnish. We're also going to take a lemon, a lemon wheel. So, ooh, Kirsten, would you like to. Slice off a lemon wheel for the garnish? I most certainly do. Do we have a cutting board? We do, indeed. Oh, it's over here. We've got the one from before. Yes, the one that still holds Burns' blood. I will prepare the cocktail angle, hoping as not to completely... Ooh. Tall glass. Scary glass. I'm gonna put you... Little ball of glass? <laughs> Small glass, little glass, scary glass, little ball of glass. Remember shards of glass candy? Did you ever watch Wait. those commercials? No, actually. They were anti-smoking ads. Ah, uh, those commercials! Shards of glass, the candy for adults. Let's grab you. I'm just preparing the cocktail angle. There we go. Let me know. Oh, go for it! Let's cut some lemons. Lemons, 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 lemons. Now, if only this were sponsored by Lycos Lord. Ah! Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> lemons. Sponsored by Lycos Lore. Better than Lycos Lore brand hot dogs. Oh my god, that's our sponsor today! Lycos Lore brand hot dogs! You know what? Screw it. There we go. Put a little oh, wedge in there too. We'll put these guys off to the side. I don't know if we need more lemon juice. If we need lemon juice later, we can keep this guy off to the side somewhere. Juicy. Let me put him up over here. We'll get him, we'll get him right there. We'll put the cocktail angle in view. There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Hey there. Nice. Very cool nice, looking. Nice, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Indeed. So now what we'll do is I'll put a little bit of, put a few blueberries in there, and if you would like to strain that over the top of it for as much as we got, it'll be good to go. I certainly will. Blueberries. Blueberries, blueberries. Blueberries, blueberries, blueberries. Whoa! That video where we were talking about blueberries and the child falls to the ground. I showed that Absolutely. to my English teacher freshman year. It's so funny. She was just like, oh, this is a cute video. And then she just went, what happened? As the child falls, it was so funny. And then we'll top it off with some Tapo Chico. Wow, Ooh, you are bubbly, my that friend. That is bubbly. Here we go. Whoa, Whoa that was bubbly. That's so cool. Look at all those blueberries rising to the top. They remind me of the cranberry fields filled with spiders. Do you have a straw? I do have a straw. I've got two straws. We can have a straw for each of them. Unless you want bendy straws. No, these were actually the ones I was thinking. These I would take this one. Here we go. Yeah! I will color mine with a little blue mark. <laughs> there we go. It's mildly, it's mildly blue now. Yes. <laughs> mildly. Ooh. This looks very cute. I like that. I'm gonna take a little Just, picture for the. You know what? I'll leave it like oh that. no, please put the other straw on there. It's for the flavor. This is actually a very delightful looking drink. It is very cute. It looks very like almost a blueberry lemonade. Indeed. And I completely forgot to take photos of the other guys over here, so let me just go do that. Indeed. And a beautiful That's photo indeed. Pretty. I love how these guys look, indeed. Meow says that looks super yummy. I really hope it is. Otherwise, I don't even know what we're doing up here. <laughs> Lycos Lore hashtag is a sponsor. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh, Jen. All right. Let's switch the angle back and get this thing a. Well, I guess we got to give it a smell first. See, it, see what things are really happening here. Yes. I guess smell with the not so straws. It smells like lemon. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I I am now continuously catching myself being like, hmm. I just put a garnish on the cocktail. What does this smell like? The garnish. The garnish. <laughs> <laughs> not surprisingly, no. it smells like lemon and not very much of blueberry because I guess the blueberries really don't have much of a smell themselves. But hey, the smell adds to the taste. Let's see about this. Shall we, my love? Yes. Oh, that's delightful. Interesting. I like that. 
Oh, I like that a lot. That is delightful. That is so refreshing. It's a very, so the blueberry flavor, it's, it came back. It absolutely came back. Full it's sucker punch. It's just, it's right in my face, in my mouth, my taste buds. But it's like those slightly bitter-ish notes, the more effervescent notes that I got when we were drinking the blueberry Moscato earlier are back. And actually that almost fruit gum flavor that I love that stuck around in my mouth afterwards is back. I did not taste it when I drank it the first time, but it evolved into that flavor. And that's like that like effervescent, almost minty aftertaste that's kind of sitting there. I feel like not everybody would like that. Not everybody? But I am so into it. If you really like fruity drinks, this is the cocktail for you. I'd say it's it's not it's very very fruity, but it's not super sweet. So in terms of like in terms of like the fruit stuff going on, it's not like you bit actually I'd say contrary to that. I was going to say it's not like you bit into a fruit, but the blueberries, at least the ones that we have, weren't like super full on the flavor anyway. They're kind of like those plumpier, a little more watered down blueberries. And I'd say it's a lot more similar to like the kind of flavor burst that you get from those types of blueberries, as something opposed to something that's like- Something you would want to drink like, if you were sitting at a picnic on a blueberry hill. I wonder what the, so it's interesting, right? I'm thinking about that now. All of the cocktails on the winery website, like they, some of them have like really interesting names. Some of them are obvious, right? Some of them are named like the, the, the Jingle Bell, like it's a Christmas drink, or like the, uh, like Witch's Brew and like it's a Halloween drink. Yeah. Something like Blueberry Hill, like somebody out there came up with this drink and named it. And I wonder what the history behind it is. I'm gonna take a guess and say because Hamilton is apparently like the blueberry capital of, was it the world or like the country? The world. The world, that perhaps there's a blue, there's a hill of blueberries somewhere in Hamilton that is represented by this blueberry, ref, this refreshing blueberry drink here. Many of them as acres and acres are filled with blueberries during the summer. Oh, is that when blueberries are in? Bloom? Yeah. Bloom or season? Yeah, because basically the my dad works on small, uh, like small equipment, farm equipment. Mm -hmm. Um, he works with those farmers all the time. Mm, that makes and sense. I remember when he bring, and stuff. Yeah, he would bring home like gallon bags of blueberries. Oh, that's so cool! They set you up real good. Oh we yeah, have, like my parents actually have a blueberry bush in their backyard. It's a single blueberry bush, and I don't think the blueberries are at a point where like they taste super flavorful. But like at certain times of the year, you can go back there and you just. Take off a little blueberries. And like, this was not a thing like when I was a kid because the blueberry bush didn't exist then. It was only a thing after I went to college that it was planted and began to- Oh, that's fruit. unfortunate. But I do have memories of coming back. I think it was when, when COVID happened, when I went back home and I lived with my parents for a little while during like the peak times and whatnot, I'd go in the back and I'd grab some blueberries during the summertime. I actually got to take a summer off because school's tough, man. School is tough. Stuff. Might take a semester off too. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. More than awesome, aka Brad says, the more I hear blueberry, the more I think it's not a word. <laughs> blueberries, 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 blueberries. Proceeds to fall on the ground and hurt myself. Uh, by accident. Proceeds to slip on ice cube and then break neck. <laughs> Meaningful. Wait a minute. Meaningful? Meaningful. And painful. Yes. Don't go to the hospitals for blueberries. Yes. Yeah, no. Don't stick blueberries where blueberries don't belong. <laughs> don't put them in your ears. Do not put them in your nose. Put them in your mouth. Chew first. Don't. <laughs> you get the story. I would highly recommend not putting blueberries in your belly button. <laughs> not speaking from personal experience whatsoever. Sure. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. I'm not. <laughs> I would. I just wouldn't do it. This is excellent. Yes. This is very tasty. I think those sort of like um, blueberry cream notes from earlier. It's like it's like that, but it's a little bit lighter. And it, it kind of well tastes like a the... blueberry lemonade. Yeah. And I think like I'm starting to think too. The other like more effervescent notes of the blueberry, I feel like maybe there's some interplay with some of the more botanical notes of the gin. I don't know Definitely. if the I don't know if the Faber gin really has a lot of flavor on its own, so I don't really know about that. But like if this were to be combined with let's say like like a different type of gin, like let's say like a London dry beef eater or something like Aviation, I think, is an American dry gin. It would probably be like very, very flavorful with something like a lot more there. I know I also have a bottle of the botanist gin back here, which would have been a good, might have been good. But Isn't like that the a, one that Binging with Babish always? Yeah, it's like a 50 something dollar bottle. Somebody got it for me for my birthday. Who? right. Also, Someone did get that for you for your birthday. I just realized right too, right behind the big bottles is this tiny bottle of tankery, which probably would have been a good choice here. Huh. Oh, I well. forgot about it. Hey, the if classic, there's gin in another drink. The, the classic gin, tankery and tonic, TNTs, it's great. Dynamite. Dynamite. 
This is a learning moment with Cameron. <laughs> I love the botanist. Ooh, I love stuff. the botanist. Uh, we also like, we never learn things around here. And except... today we're learning everything. Frizzante. Spumante. Spumante. Sparkle. Frizzante. Semi sparkle. We Disappointment. Learned... No sparkles. No sparkles. No, no bub. Fun. No bub. No, don't know what it's called. Flat. Sad. Flat. Flat and sad. Blueberry Hill. I like that one. Yeah. That is really, really tasty. Do you want it? Can I keep this? Keep it. I'm gonna keep this. This is really good. I'm gonna grab myself a coaster. I'm stealing this one. Go ahead. This I gotta fine. drive home. It's true. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Mm, water. Tasty. Very good. I wonder if I like. I wanna see if I mix this up a little bit. Cause I don't know if the sparkling water kind of sat on top, if it changes it a little bit. Might add a fizzy note to it. Nah, it's still just as good. Ooh, I like that. That's good. All right, that was Blueberry Hill. That was cocktail number two this evening. You might yeah. have been wondering what the hell we were doing for the first hour. We were trying all the wines. Yeah. Like six or six, six wines? One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Yeah, six. Six different wines this evening. Yeah, because I had six different slots in the bag that it came in, which was also Tomasello brand. There we go. Absolutely. Ooh, tasty. So... So we've tried the blueberry Moscato wine in a cocktail so far. We've done the watermelon Moscato wine in a cocktail so far. I feel like logic would say... Try to good. find something cranberry. That's what I would think. So I think that's where we'll go next. We'll yes. try a cranberry wine cocktail. Go back to my recipe. We can see what we can find. There were a lot of them here, I think. If I look within them... Cranberry... Cranberry Cosmo. Cranberry Cosmo. That looks... And I got a plan. We'll do... Cranberry Cosmo. Which uses the cranberry moscato, some vodka, Grand Marnier, which is an orange type. I think it's like an orange type liqueur. I don't have that. Spency, spency stuff. Thank so we're gonna use. Do so the. I actually gonna sub it out with a different orange liqueur that I have because I think it'll be interesting. And we got some lime and some fresh cranberries and looks like thyme for garden. There's a little sprig yeah. of something. There. I got some thyme. I got all the thyme in the world. It's good stuff. I would hope so. I mean. Oh, like an hour left. Woo! That's Thank okay. Thank God there was nothing in it. <laughs> nothing in there. I think we'll Ooh. use... I think we're shaking this one? We'll shake yes. this one again. I think we'll do more shaker cocktails. So I'll clean this one out a little bit. Get it ready for the next one. Is that Rich I see over there? Rich, how are you doing? Blurberry. Blueberry. Blurberry. Blurberry. Yeah, blueberries from the Blueberry Hill. Blur. So we kind of clean this guy out. Smelling good. Prepped and ready for the next cocktail of the evening. We'll swap out this Moscato for a cranberry Moscato, which is this one. The cranberry Moscato, as we had from our tasting notes from earlier, very tart, pleasant. Very wonderful. Indeed. Definitely more on the sour side of things. Ooh, and the one thing I don't need is another jig to wash out the jigger. There we go. Because we have plenty. Jigger for days. For days. They were actually not that, the, the shakers were actually kind of on the, I, I, not expensive, like, but like on the less frugal side, each one was like $15, like, oh no, too rich for my blood. Not really. We, we, do, we do stuff around here. We must make sure we have it. As opposed to having to clean out the shakers, like, like every single cocktail. Better than if one was like $30. That's true. So for our Cranberry Cosmo, AKA the Cosmopolitan, we first added two ounces or about 59 milliliters of our Tomasella Winery Cranberry Moscato. And then it looks like I am going to need that bottle of Tito's again. Okie dokie, go for it. Which is gonna be an ounce. Cranberry Cosmo. And Wanda. No, just Cosmo in this case. We have a full ounce of 30 milliliters of vodka in there. So the recipe next calls for a full ounce or 30 milliliters of Grand Marnier, which if, I, if I'm correctly saying is an orange type liqueur, I don't actually have Grand Marnier specifically. There's just so many different types of orange liqueurs out here. So the one that I kind of want to sub it out for this time is this orange citronge liqueur. To me, very reminiscent of orange zest as opposed to, let's say, like the orange juice itself. I've never tried Grand Marnier before, but ooh, it's potent. I like it. So we'll add a full ounce of our orange liqueur equivalents. Also, I love how it basically comes in like a tequila bottle. Yeah, it looks very similar to the Patron bottles because it's also made by Patron. 
The bottle used to say Patron Stronger, but um, they took off the Patron for some reason. Probably both used in margaritas. Potentially. Brad says, a wild rich has appeared. Hey, doing well. Come in a little late this week. That's okay. You come in whenever you want to. There we go. The bar. We don't have... People come in, people go, people meander, people stop by, people stick around. Not everybody has to hang around till closing time. Yes. Well, for the people who do. Cheers to your last call. Cheer. Cheers, right? Absolutely. All right. Juice from half a lime. I have a, a, lime. Lime. a tiny lime. He's so cute. It says juice from half a lime, but it's a tiny lime, so I don't know. Like, whether... Let me get a full... Almost looks like a key lime. Get a full lime in here. These are really, really tiny limes. They're also, they're, they're a little on the older side. They've been here since last stream. I decided we try to conserve our fruits and whatnot around here as best as possible. And so long as it's not turning colors and stuff or cracking around the edges, mm. it usually sticks around for another day. Lime. 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 Lime there time. that? Time, lime, sign time. Oh, there it is. I found the cutting board. I must Here cut. you go. Grain Marnier is great, says Rich. Should we use it for all kinds of margaritas? Hey, I wasn't far off. Here we go. If you had to describe, Rich, if you had to describe Grand Marnier compared to, let's say, other liqueurs of the site type, how would you describe it? Because I've never actually tried it before. It's not a bottle that's appeared in my bar. Hmm. Do you have me juicer? Squeezer on your right hand side. Right, that right one. over there. There's some that I like, and there's some that I don't. That one will work, I guess. We're just squeezing it right into the shaker, so I think it'll be pretty good. The juice from half a lime, sacrificed in a very similar fashion to burn from earlier. We'll name this one Hearn. Hearn? Yes. Have you heard the news? I'm it's juice it. time. Nice. Also, I saw this advertised as a lemon juicer in Walmart, and then the exact same thing, but green as a lime juicer. Yeah. I've it's, never been more disappointed. Been like a little, like a teeny bit smaller, maybe? No, exact same size. Exact same thing? Exact same thing. I feel cheated. Don't, because you only have one of them. I only have the one. Or at least this guy, well, at least. Yes. Okie dokie. And that's pretty much all we needed in our yeah. shaker for this guy. We shaker had our rice, cranberry moscato, glass garnish, vodka, Grand Marnier, or orange equivalents, and then we had our lime. And we can garnish it with, it looks like, this picture looks like there's like thyme sprigs in there. So we've got a little bit of thyme. And we got some cranberries. So yes. we'll make that happen. Okie dokie. I will take this beautiful cutting board and I will move it to a safer location. I'll keep the knife with it as well. And it looks like I gotta get cracking with more ice. There we go. Would you like the crack of the ice? Yes, I would love the crack of the ice. Let's the crack of the ice. Crack of the ice. Crack of the ice. ice crackers around here. Cracking the ice. Cracking, cracking the ice. Cracking the ice now. Around. Crack. <laughs> crack. That was awesome. It was so good. Gravity got to it first, though. Earth was like, I'll take this one. Ew. Ooh. Ah. I guess if it gets in the bar, we can always just like pop it in there. Yeah. Oh my god. It keeps it. bouncing forward. <laughs> I love it. Ah! This is why this is why I was like, this is why I'm scared of cracking ice. This is why I'm scared of cracking ice. It just gets all over the place. Yes. On the bright side, there's a towel on the floor below us, and uh, Cameron does maintenance after the fact anyway, so it'll be alright. We always get there eventually. Crack, crack, the, crack, see, Sonora. I think the g gist of what you need to do is just do it in little chunks. Indeed. Yeah, I feel like, or like hit it at an angle that like you can get the corners first and then like the brunt of it, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Alrighty then. I don't think then. there's any specific technique. Cool, yo. All right. Taco Chico has been bubbling in the corner for some reason. Just going for it. Hmm. All right, let's, let's go. Let's drop the shakage. Nice. Alternating dad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice and frosty. Oh, I see some comments from Brad over there. Brad says, just gotta see if Grand Marnier will sponsor a stream. You can't juice a lime with a lemon juice. That's against the rules. We like to play by the, we, we don't like playing by the rules over here. Just doesn't work. Oh, I think, what's Rich saying? 
Not sure I'd be great at comparing Grand Marnier to other orange liqueurs since I pretty much only use Grand Marnier. Ooh. It's got a nice full body bitter orange flavor with a bit of vanilla. I also like mixing it with bourbon to tame the bourbon down a bit sometimes. Ooh, so it's a little, it's a kind of like orange and vanilla-ish. Okay. I'll have to take note of that the next time I see something that calls for Grand Marnier specifically. Hmm. Sometimes, sometimes the substitutions go a little wild. I mostly just Google like, what's a good substitution for that? And they were like, it's orange. And I was like, that's cool. Ooh. Martini glass. Nice martini glass for our Cosmo here, which will be garnished with a sp couple sprigs of thyme, as I said so, and some skewered cranberries. We'll grab our garnishing material. And while you do that, I will pour this in. Mm-hmm. Ooh, let's, yeah, there you go. You got the right idea. Yes, yes, Cocktail I do. Cocktail angle time. In the meantime, I'll grab myself a skewer. Not sponsored. I'm a skewer. Uh... No, never sponsored. The, the, day, the day that this stream gets a sponsor is the day I, I, I don't know, I jump for joy. That'd be so cool. Ooh, there's still a little bit left over in this. There we go. There I wonder if we, we can go, fill There we go. I wonder if we can fill it all the way to the top. Do you think? I don't want to risk that because you and I <laughs> both have to drink it. All right, let's skew these cranberries. Eh! There we go. Cranberry. Eh! Wow, they make a very satisfying popping sound. Can y'all hear this? Oh, oh that, that's that actually... squelched though. Yeah, let's get a, I don't know, I'm gonna get a couple more cranberries on here. This is a wide tip glass. Oh, it like popped. Wow. Oh God. <laughs> Absolutely. I love the pop filter. Absolutely my... delightful. Bro. There we go. That's pretty. Little bit of that and a Tinge of time, so to speak. In the nick of time. In the nick of time. Grab a little bit of your floating. Please tell me you have a picture of this. I will get a picture of it. And the photo command will also come in handy here for anybody who feels like typing it, although no pressure. <gasps> there it is! Thank you, more than awesome. You certainly are more than now, awesome. Now I'm gonna do the thing. Oh, that photo is not, hmm. Oh, is the bot not working again? Oh, where are you? Oh my god, hold on a second. I might have a solution to this. Are you being particular again? Burn has inhabited your- I'm resetting bot. you, bad bot. Maybe it'll work, maybe not. There it is. Let's try that one again. There we go, maybe? There it is. Sometimes this little dude needs a little reset. I wonder if I can set up error handling for the that. The spirit of Burn. It spirit inhabits burn? the bot. Oh my god! Burn is trying to haunt us from beyond the grave! Actually, well, I guess Burn is technically on the table over there, yes. but, you know, let's, let's not worry about that too much. Incredible. It's so pretty. It is a nice thing. I feel like it. you could put, like, luster dust in this and it would be perfect. Do you wanna? We can. A little bit of... Just a little bit of... Just a tinge. Give it a little like agitation with the spoon. Or the cranberries. I like cranberries. I love cranberries. Ooh, that is kind of sparkly. Yeah. In case it shows up again. Got a beautiful little. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there's a little piece of hair right there. <gasps> it looked gray, so it's probably mine. Beautiful! Alright, let's let's switch back and see how it smells. Probably like cranberries, if I had to take a wild guess. Oh, mm. there's also a little bit more in here, right? It ha yeah, it has a mild smell to it. Ooh. Can we switch back to the main angle? Um. Thank you. Thank you. What? There we go. Okie dokie. That is precariously high. What uh, precariously strained cocktails? Beautiful. It is beautiful. All right. I almost don't want to drink it. Oh, here, you. I genuinely almost don't want to drink this. It's Sometimes too pretty. Sometimes the cocktails are too pretty to drink, however. Ooh. It's a refreshing smell. Yeah. It's not super cranberry, I'd say. It actually smells a little bit like that like uh, that citrus liqueur that I used. Huh. It's very refreshing. What else was in that? Vodka. Vodka and... Cranberry and that lime juice. Oh, lime juice. Yeah, I'm getting the lime juice stuff now. Now that I think about it. 
Brad says, that does feel like a little sparkly drink. Meow says, those cranberries look like they're trying to cross to the other side of the glass. They're, just, they're inching ever so carefully to try to get from one side to the other for fear of their lives. They'll yes. fall into the... To the... The abyss. The abyss. That is Which happens to be signs. growing some green. Yes. It's actually quite beautiful. Shall we take a sip? Yes. I, How I, do we want to do this? I don't want to touch this. <laughs> Oh wow, that's cool. Mmm. A little bit of a little bit of time in my mouth. That's pleasant. Really tart still. I like that. That is like um I'd say it's, it's definitely more on the tartar side. However, there's like um the time gives it a really nice herbal note. It does. I'd say like there's even and I, this has nothing to do with the Grand Marnier comment from earlier, but I feel like I am actually getting some note there that's like almost like a vanilla spice type thing. It's interesting, and I don't exactly know where that's coming from. It might be those character, those lingering characteristics of the cranberry moscato. Because I know, to me, sour things hit me like a train, and so when I get something that's sour, it's kind of hard for me to piece things apart afterwards. But when it's in this more diluted form, still tart, still pleasant in the very in that tart, tart way. Yeah, that there's something else that is popping up there, and it's a very very nice combo. Mm -hmm. It's very tasty indeed. Ooh, I'm gonna drink some more of that. I, again, I just like looking at it. It's just pretty. Mm hmm I really like that. It's also very dry, too. It's definitely that cranberry Moscato in there. That's cool. That's, like, that's really pleasant. And I think, like, the cranberry flavor, to me, also evokes, like, those more seasonal times of the year. And it's tasty. And maybe that's where I'm getting, like, the spice in it. Maybe I have, like, some association in my memory that wants to insert, like, that more spice, that spice note, that more, I think the word is piquant. It's French. Yes, if you're trying to... P-I-Q-U-A-N-T. Piquant. Piquant, I believe it's pronounced. And it represents spice... Not spicy like pepper. Spicy like... Cabinet spice. Spice forward. Piquant, I believe. Yes, because considering this is it in Spanish. Picante! You're right. Like a pepper spice, but it's not the pepper spice. Yes. It's like the cinnamon spice. Wouldn't taste bad with the pepper spice though. Mm. Oh my God. I think there's still like the habanero and stuff, the tinctures and whatnot. God. It would hit us like a train. <laughs> habanero vodka with cranberry. It's mascara. 10 to 20 in your mouth. 10 30? 10 20. 20 in your mouth. 10 20 in my mouth. Mathematics. Or maybe it's 10 minus 20. It's negative 10 in my mouth. But like, but like inverted because it tastes pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Nice. That's a very pretty one too. Ooh, I like that one. So, so far what we've had on wine cocktails so far, we've actually had the opportunity to use pretty much all the Moscatos that we have yes. in our wines so far. And they're doing, doing pretty good, honestly. It was very, very tasty so far. I think if I had to pick a favorite of that, well, I guess I have a favorite of the cocktails. Yeah. It's still the blueberry one because I can fit over here. Yeah, and I would have to agree with you. It is still very, very tasty. What about you, though? As far as favorites, like I said, I agree. It's between these two. Mm -hmm. Again, that one, it basically tastes like ranch water. It, not so much hitting me. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of ranch water. Yeah. This first one was called, it was Troublemaker. Yes. And it utilized the watermelon Moscato that we had, as well as some pieces of actual watermelon, some club soda in there, some other stuff too. All the recipes and stuff we'll cover again uh, at the end, and I'll put it in the description of the video that comes out after this, and the yeah. cocktail blog on the Discord. But um, it- And why not include a link to their uh, website? Indeed. And Tom, all of these recipes comes from Tomasello Winery's website. Yeah. Sites. So you can go, you can go talk to them. They'll, maybe they'll talk to you. They don't talk to me. That's okay. It's okay. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. It's okay. But so this is pretty tasty. So now that we've done all the, whoa, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I have, God I have damn. a command hook that was holding up all of my bottle openers, and they all just fell to the ground at the same time. Burns coming. <laughs> Seriously, that 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 one is scared the, the entire thing so far. It broke Jesus. the box so far. It was squirting all over the bar. It was. It didn't let us seal the cocktail shaker, and now my bottle opener is on the floor. Bruh, screw wine cocktails. It's curse of the watermelon. It's curse of the burn the watermelon. My God, wow. So I think <laughs> what a great segue to something. Not Moscato, I guess. Yes. There's plenty. Of, so I guess the other wine. Oh, we have the daffodil wine still that we haven't yes. done anything with. 
So let's yeah, see. Yeah, we have the daffodil and then we have the two cream wines. Indeed, indeed. You could use this as pointer. You could. Or we can use the dowel of discipline. Detente, spumante, piquant, no, no bubbles. <laughs> And then, what was it, Maury Gouchon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the top. You can't, you can't see that. You can't see that. Chocolate it's, guy. it's up here. Yes. The dowel of discipline. Some people need disciplining. Like, burn. Discipline! I completely missed the watermelon. But it's going to be okay. Yes. So the two cocktails that I have... Much like the troublemaker. It's true. The two cocktails that I got uh, for the daffodil wine, one uses... Oh, one is called the Yellow Jacket. It uses the daffodil wine, some pineapple juice, some elderflower liqueur, lemon lime soda, and the other one uses some Grand Marnier again, which again we don't have. Lemon juice, simple syrup, lemon lime soda, and a bunch of fruits and stuff. It's kind of almost like a sangria. Let's try the Yellow Jacket. I'm gonna go with the Yellow Jacket because I'm actually curious to see how this plays Spring with the elderflower is here. liqueur. We deal with wasps. We like the bees. Oh, hello bees. there. Bees. 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 They're good for your. Nope, they're not. Sorry, you had time in your mouth. Oh, get it? Oh, 1020, like the time. Ten. I, I get it. I didn't see the colon there. My eyes are- Puns. That was a puns. good one. We like puns around here. Yes. Let's take- Where do we want to put that? We'll put this on a coaster. Where do we want to put it? We'll put it over there. It's a significantly, it's a, it's a, it's a, what do you call those things that aren't tall? Short. Not short from a liquor standpoint, although it is a little spirit forward, I guess. You can sit over there, you pretty little thing. Yes. And we'll swap out this guy. And I would like another towel. This guy over here. Daffodil wine. How are you doing? You are very, you are very wet rubber today, and yes. that's okay. It's not like completely soaking. I think I had to sw swap one out last stream because it got way, way too messy. I was like, I, I can't do anything over here. Ha -ha. You got it. Those commandos Man. haven't fallen yet, although if I say it enough times, it will. I'm sure they will. Burn is watching. That that yes. watermelon is like I, I'm like so tempted to like walk off stream and then draw some eyes on it or put some googly eyes on it, which I don't have on hand unfortunately. What just, if we write yellow jacket with yellow marker? Yes, I actually just bought some yellow markers the other day. Where are they? Where's the new yellow markers? Because I ran out and I drew the Star Wars logo on my board last week. Then I... And you? Oh. What does yellow jacket have in it? Daffodil White, pineapple juice, Saint Germain, lemon lime soda, and a pineapple for garnish. An entire pineapple? It says pineapple for garnish. <laughs> Where's says, the top of that pineapple from when you did the mocktail stream? With pineapple. The I actually do have a lot of pineapple in this apartment because uh, the other week we had some buddies over. We were playing games and made a bunch of pina coladas in the pineapple. Oh. It was very tasty. Uh, and so I had a bunch of like leftover pineapple. You are just, come on now. It needs gravity. Get out there. I need gravity. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like it's going. It is going. It is going ever so slightly. I think what we'll do for this one is we're gonna skip on the actual pineapple bits themselves. I think it's just gonna be a little too much hassle. So, oh nice. There we go. Go for it. And in the meantime, everything gets combined in a shaker. Just like the previous cocktails. No different from the first verse. We're just doing it again. Let's go with my... Yeah, we'll go with one of these shakers over here. Actually, no. I'll go back for the other ones. I'll do a little cleaning while we're writing things on the board. Yellow jacket, because it's a bee. Yeah. Oh, I completely losing track of which shaker is supposed to go with which one. That's okay. Clean these guys out a little bit, and then we shall continue. Yes. Yellow jacket. You can smell the herbs in this better. Ooh. Yeah, you That's can very... really get that. That is very. Well, we just mixed it with that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, those um, those like vanilla notes. This tasty. Yeah. There we go. Give it a little, bit of a little bit of a wipe down. As we enter into cocktail number four for the evening. Yes. I think I'll say, this has actually been, uh, it's interesting how we lingered a bit on the um, 
on the original wine tasting of things, we've been like going through these cocktails real quickly. Oh yeah, because the thing is, these cocktails are them. really simple. Yeah, yeah. That's it's literally like, just like two ounces of this, two ounces of that, shake over ice, and you're done. That and like, I feel like if we, you know, if we tasted six wines, we have to make six cocktails, one with each of the wines. It yes, just, it just feels appropriate. This guy will get our ice, which I will grab. However, I will say, the next two, we're on our own. Yeah, because we don't have a reference for those ones. I got ideas. I, I think we got ideas. We have ideas. We got some ideas. All right, and I need pineapple juice. A box. So actually, I did mention that we had, we had a shit ton of pineapples in this apartment, so I got, more or less, fresh pineapple juice that we can use. Ooh. So feel free to give that a shake and get the sediment incorporated. Can I actually try some of this? Absolutely, yeah. Feel free to pull up a quarter glass. You mean like this quarter glass? You can absolutely use that. No, use another one. <clears throat> Be a little bit heavy on the pineapple. And blueberry and blueberry hill is very good. So we added two ounces or 59 milliliters of the daffodil wine. It's a light, very floral, kind of pineapple-y wine. Which actually makes sense of why they're combining it with the pineapple juice. And then two ounces of the pineapple juice oh, as well. Oh, this is heavenly. It's great, right? I will, I will admit, it sat in the refrigerator for a little while, completely covered in saran wrap. So it's a little, it's a little ripe, but I think it tastes really good. It went into some pineapple souffle that I had. Either in the carbonate box. this or ferment this. Dude, have you ever had tapache? Yes. Do you know what tapache is? Oh. I tried making tapache one time and... It Tasted and smelled a little bit like formaldehyde, so I, I, apparently Reddit it says that's normal. It did smell normal. like formaldehyde. Oh, you were there. I forgot about that. Yes, yeah. I was there. <laughs> it tasted very sweet, though, in its own special kind of uh, twisted way. It was, it was all right. I'll make another batch eventually. They do have a pineapple Moscato. They do. And the pineapple cider. You were telling me about the ciders that they have, too, as well. This, I feel like the pineapple cider, from what I remember, it was a little bit funky. So far, I've had at least one other pineapple cider in my life, and it didn't taste like pineapple. It tasted like... The first one, the first sip of it, I was like, oh my god, it's pineapple. And then every other sip I took after that was like, hey, this is it's apple juice. The same. We're also going to need to add a single ounce of this recipe called specifically for San Germain, Saint Germain. It's an elderflower liqueur. I'm not as bougie, so instead I'm going to go down here and grab my elder, closest elderflower liqueur that I got, which is Bulls, Bulls elderflower liqueur. Again, there's a so there's a bunch of different like base spirits out there that have their particular flavor. I'm sure some of them are like specialty liqueurs and stuff. We got some substitutions for them. As the bar ever grows, so does our flavor collection. And one day we'll have, we'll, so one day we'll have the Grand Marnier. And this is gonna play really well with the. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Are you okay there? Yeah, <laughs> dude. It it's not as good as the time I got splashed by a dolphin, but that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the did best. Did I show thing you that video? By. No, was you having a film? Yes, I did. Oh, that's okay. cool. Yeah, because I was literally filming. Um, when I went down to Key West, Mom and I stopped for the night in Key Largo. And what my mom and I did was mm -hmm. we stopped at this little dolphin resort. And for ten dollars you can get this little wristband and watch other people swim with dolphins. That's cool. So we did that. And mm -hmm. this one Dolphin like came right up to you and just like splashed you? Splashed the people, but it went all the way back to me. <laughs> I had my phone out. There you go. It was a very photogenic dolphin. Yes, and right beforehand when I was buying the wristbands, I bought a bookmark that was actually painted by the same dolphin that splashed me. Oh, is it like one of like the water reactive ones or? No, they literally just hand the dolphin a paintbrush with paint on it. Oh, and, and they like come out of the yeah, and it, they paint it. That's so cool. I'll have to wow. show you the next time you're at the apartment. Oh my god, for sure. Yeah. Cool, yo. I'll show you the video if you want right after we're done. The, the paint. I want a painting by a dolphin. Well, I mean, it's, I wouldn't say that I want it, but if I had it, I'd be like. Look at this painting. It's done by a dolphin. Isn't that cool? Yeah, <laughs> actually, it's a lot of enrichment for the animals that they have down there. Um, we that need are in to like give creative expression to the animals. Yes, like the ones that like they have for like zoos and aquariums and mm -hmm. everything down there. It's one of their most popular enrichment activities. Makes a lot of at sense. Least. If I were an animal, Riddles. I'd want to paint too. Yeah. I'm a human animal, and I also want to paint. Yes. So the next ingredient that we need to add is a single ounce of lemon lime soda. I give you the choice. Do we want Sprite or Starry? Let's yeah. go with Starry because the Sprite oh, the that I had earlier, I think is 
no bub. Little, little, little bland? Yeah, it's I it's agree. flat. It's disappointment. It is not frisante. It is not spumante. It's not frisante. Fairly, fairly spumante, really. Yeah, it was disappointing. So what we got here is this can of Starry Lemon Lime Soda. I don't exactly know where Starry also comes from. Also not sponsored. It's renamed Sierra Mist. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, that's just... Oh, okay. It's Sierra Mist. That's what it is. Interesting. I honestly had no idea. I was like, I don't know where the starry stuff came from. Ah, that is why that smells familiar. It's funny because I saw the starry pop up on shelves and I was like, These, this came out of nowhere. Where did starry come from? Took the place of Sierra Mist. That's wild. One full ounce of that. Oh, it tops it with it. It says combine ingredients and shaker, pour over ice and top with soda. Top with soda? Well, they give, an, they give a mixture for the soda or the, a particular amount for the soda. So I would think we add that in addition to if we have any space left in the glass. That's what well, I would think. Well, that's gonna taste pretty good. Uh, yeah. I noticed as I was going through the other um, cocktails on the website, some of them are a little confusing. For example, the one that called for watermelon cocktail mix. Like that is very specific. Like where would you find that? Probably next to the margarita mixes. Probably. Oh yeah, probably like a watermelon mix. Yeah, I was all right. I was to find that at my local store. We'll shake things together. We'll Would pour. you like to do the honors this time? I'd be happy to. Shaky time with camera. We're yes. both the bartender. We're both bartenders here. Yes. I was actually debating on like getting formal classes and everything. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Whoa, you are leaking. Whoa, why are you leaking? Don't leak. This is definitely the container I was using before. Interesting. That's not really. Hmm. It smells lovely. Yes. I think Burns just got their grubby little soulful fingers over everything that we're doing this evening. Yes. That's so funny. Burns Revenge. Wow. Burns Revenge indeed. Okie dokie, we're gonna need a glass to strain this into. It says to pour it over ice. Mm. So we're gonna put a little more ice in the glass. I feel like... Let's see, we have four, six full ounces in here. So I think like any of the containers we have, if we get like a taller one, I'm trying to think of maybe one of the, maybe one of the margarita glasses. Oh, that'll work. We can use that one. That works. I think if we use, if we have a little bit of the, I think we can crack an ice cube over it. Because I would completely run out of the small ice cubes that we have. And I'm just going to do this really quick. Perfect. Get nice. everything Here's nice and quick photogenic. A quick runner indeed. Yeah. Angle. Ooh, can I crack the ice too? Go for it. Mid, I have a cracking apparatus. Let's see how I can screw this up this time. Go it's get him, bud. Fine. Here we go. We got it. I'm just going to do it like right over the glass itself. Wow. That was, that was all right. All right. Cool. Oh my God. It's working. Oh, uh, well, you know, that's a thing. Yep. I cracked it. Cracked it good. Better to crack than crack a lacking. We'll bring you down here just a tad bit. Get you a little uh, up close and personal with these cocktails. You know, whoa. Got a glass honey dipper. Got Don't a glass fall. Honey dipper. Oh, I do have a glass honey dipper in there. It is pretty. It's my, uh, it's my subtle flex. <laughs> it's this guy. I found it at the store. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Great. I'm gonna pull you forward just a tad. There we go. Hello, glass. Hello there. Hello, mine turtle. <laughs> Boom. I love how ever since high school I've been able to do it perfectly. Hello, hello, hello. Very good stuff. Hello. That was ASDF, right? Yeah, it's an uh, ASDF movie. I could never remember. I sometimes get uh, ASDF and the um, Laser Collection oh. mixed up. <laughs> no, I don't think I get it mixed up with ASMR. Okie doke. So Just we're gonna into, into the mic. Hello. Hello, my turtle. Hello. Hello. Explosion sounds. We'll strain this over the top, and then it's said to top off with the rest of the soda. Yeah. So we'll see if we see if we even need that. Ooh, we could use a little bit of soda up on there. there we Ooh, go. that's a little bit foamy. Ooh, probably from the pineapple juice. It's got those enzymes. It's got a head. Oh my god! Wow, that's unexpected. Yeah. That pineapple's really doing a number on there. This said a garnish. Oh, it said a garnish with pineapple chunks. I don't have pineapple chunks up here. Let's get a lime wheel. Let's get a li li lime wheel. Yeah, lime wheel. Cause think it like it doesn't look that yellow. Yeah. But I think it'll play really, really well. There we go. Color wise. Little, little lime wheel at the the cutting board that I got up in the ether. Let's do. Oh, oh let's just float it up on top. Right on top of that ice cube. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, actually, that is a beautiful looking photo. Okay, I gotta adjust this angle a little bit. <laughs> you need a photo? Hashtag drink selfie. Dude, garnish game. Hashtag garnish game on point. Look at that. Oh my god. Dude, I'd totally put my mouth on that. I really would. Seriously, though. Wow, look at that photo. Photo up. 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 Everybody pose for the camera! Everyone was in the photo, I promise that. Yes. That's pretty you good. You guys are always on cat. Well, technically, not on camera. You're through the camera. Well, anything you say can and will be used in the VOD because it all appears down there. You can put anything in there. Actually, don't. Don't push those limits. I've banned people because of that before. Oh, dear. Bad people get to say bad things. Like cornucopia. Or babushka. If you say cornucopia, I'll ban you. You've said it twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one thing I love about your commitment to the bit. Walks out the door, I ban myself. I don't think I've ever actually opened my door during a stream before. It's so off the rails. Thrillville, off the rails. Good stuff. Let me put this star over here in the next as to the bucket. You, as you can tell, that there's a, there's an entire like just like area of stuff that I kind of push off to the side, not back in the container because I'm like this could come up again later. Yes. I'll clean it all up afterwards. And so the the best part of the process is cleaning things up. Yes. All so. right. So we have yellow jacket. That was the cocktail that we were making. Yeah. The yellow jacket combined the daffodil wine with some pineapple juice, some elderflower liqueur, and I believe it was... What was the other piece of that? It wasn't lime juice, was it? I'm being thrown no. off the wine wheel. Pineapple juice, daffodil... Lemon lime soda. Lemon lime soda. Naturally. And we even topped it off a little bit of soda, too. We shook it all up together and topped yeah. it off a little more. It's got a cool head to it. Does it smell like lime? Oh my god, it smells like lime and elderflower. Any, anytime the elderflower liqueur gets put into like a cocktail, it's just like, it's very, very prevalent and appears in the end. And rarely do I have a cocktail that nicely balances elderflower with the other flavors. So maybe, maybe the elderflower and the pineapple juice is the move. We'll Let's see. see. Shall we? Yeah. By all means, go for it. Oh yeah, that's the move. Wow, it's tasty. Want to know? Okay, that is my newest favorite. That is really good. Want to know what's weird? Mm -hmm. Want to know what note I'm getting in this? Lychee. Yes. You say it that? It tastes like lychee you fruit. You say that, and I'm like, you're absolutely right there. <laughs> it tastes like lychee fruit. That's so interesting. It does have that lychee flavor there. I think that's- Imagine that must putting be, like a boba in this. Right? Like tapioca like yoga brawls? That must be the flavor of, I feel like there's a lot of things there. I feel like it's pineapple and elderflower together, but also lemon lime soda. That's making it taste like lychee. Cause like lychee has like this sort it's of- It's very sweet, but it's also kind it's, of floral. It's almost like, it's almost like the, like the floral, like to call an orange floral, like the flavor of an orange, I don't think is inaccurate. In the same way that an orange is floral, a lychee tastes floral in a very similar way, but without like the citrus tartness. Yes. If that makes any sense at all. It is very, very sweet. It's it's literally a flavor I cannot describe. By any it's other just means. Really, it's like a mild fruity sweetness. Yeah. With also like those bits of like, like I can't shake off like the citrusy notes there. It's a, It's kind of citrus. It's kind of floral. It's kind of strawberry. So like kind of berry specific, but like a little less... And like it's not tart. Like yeah. I don't think at all. I don't think lychee is tart in that way. That's good. And then I think I'm very I'll finish nice. It. Oh yeah, no, by all means. That Here, is let, mine. Me, let me get you let me get you one of these coosters. I like to like very proudly take cocktails and move them to my side of the bar when I find that it's something that I'm just like I'm a fan of. And I would not be I, I would not be it wouldn't be unusual for me to kind of switch sides. I'm obviously afraid of commitment, having been in a relationship for almost 10 years, <laughs> that I will sometimes swap around my cocktails and be like, no, 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 well, I, this, this guy was good, but like, that guy's even better. 
that's really tasty. Yeah. But alas, I've already I've already picked the bow this stream, so I don't wanna I don't wanna recant on that. That is very tasty. That was the yellow jacket? Ooh. Mm -hmm. That is a keeper there. That's so tasty. It's so interesting how like I because a few a few weeks ago, it was the banana stream. And it was interesting to find that like those flavors of banana combined with like cherry or pomegranate can make something that kind of tastes like bubblegum. It's interesting that like some other combinations will show up, like this, for instance, where kind of like all these things together, which are certainly not lychee, kind of taste like lychee. Yeah. Or there was another thing recently, I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was Dr. Pepper. Oh, I think it was Dr. Pepper and something else, which was also supposed to taste like bubble gum, and it really didn't. But like, yeah. there's so many different like other like viral combos and stuff up there, which I want to explore at some point. Yeah, like I know rum and coke taste completely different from its kind, and it tastes different from like its ingredients, and that's actually why I don't really like it that much. But. It's interesting too, like, in particular with rum and coke. Like rum and like coke plus rum is a nice way of kind of to if you like if you can't compare rums on their own like individually, you can mix it with a little bit of Coca Cola, and it's a nice control point of flavor to compare the different characteristics of the rum that don't blend in with the rest of it like like caramel and like the sort of botanical notes kind of blend in with the coke but the other stuff like the more like funky notes and whatever can be a little different mm -hmm. Ooh, hello everybody hello everybody what is going on over there please consider checking out that who was last seen invasion, wow. the, druid invasion the druid descent oh hello, God, we're welcome look at all these people coming in there welcome everybody and thanks Incoming. for the follows too wow look hello at all these there folks. new friend we came for the drinks we came for the drinks you came to the well, right you're place at the right time because have you ever had a drink that tastes like lychee apparently we just made one yeah oh, it's called cool. the yellow funny that they're druids absolutely yellow jacket druids wait did we see druids Invasion, oh my god! The druids! The the druids? I didn't even notice that the first time. I need to get a bigger screen so I can see chat like right over here, so I'm not like constantly being betrayed by my eyes over here. Wouldn't it be nice if you had like a TV on the wall? You know, I have a spare television in the closet, and I have been so tempted to just like put them out right there, just so everything's visible. But alas, things happen sometimes. Yes, you probably need another mount. Yeah, eventually. Well, welcome to everybody Use who's the popping TV in. Is a counterweight for this? I could honestly, that would kind of work there. Well, well maybe not be very very front heavy there yeah but indeed to welcome to everybody there are yes. indeed drinks occurring this evening we've covered we have covered four so far four so far some First of them including one, the troublemaker which is right up there it does taste a lot like ranch water it's wild uh, with hints of watermelon made with thomas okay. Winery's watermelon okay. moscato we also had a drink combining the blueberry, blueberry moscato, moscato and it tastes amazing i straight up stole this drink yeah it is basically together. like blueberry lemonade it is very tasty we had another one that used the cranberry moscato the cranberry cosmo very nice very very nice kind of tart delicious in its own Absolutely. special way and then what i am currently drinking which is the yellow jacket very beautiful uh which uses this lovely daffodil white um, supposedly tastes like spring according to the manufacturers yes and it certainly does taste tropical in this drink. Absolutely. We combined pineapple juice. We also combined some elderflower liqueur in there and basically some lemon lime soda. In this case, uh, what was it called? Oh my God. It was Starry. Starry. The the new Sierra Mist? Yes. It's good stuff. And it kind of tastes like lychee. That's cool. Yeah. Well, if a you very ever excellent make discovery. this, please do yourself a favor and use homemade pineapple juice. It is amazing. That was the other thing too. The pineapple just didn't come from a container. I usually get it from like a can or usually from a bottle, but this time I just- I This probably tastes different because of that. I feel like normal pineapple mm. juice, it tastes- it tastes artificial. Totally, totally by coincidence, I happened to be making pina coladas inside the pineapple a weekend and a half ago. And so we had a bunch of pineapple laying around, so naturally, make some juice out of it. Next time you do that, can I get one? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We we saw it at a food festival, actually, and we saw people literally Oh, yeah, they were for almost a mile long to get a single... Well, the thing was, you got the pina colada in the pineapple that was cored, and then you could come back for free refills. That's why the line was literally down to the next street. It was wild. Oh, yeah, and they are all over the place. I took a vacation recently down mm -hmm. in the Keys. Uh, they're all over in the Keys. Oh yeah, those pina coladas. Well, they make it- In make the pineapple, in the coconut, and you mix it all up. God, I want to have a drink in a coconut one time. That'd Do be it. Cool. Make so, a pina colada out of coconut. Ooh, that would be fun. So what am I missing over here? Glad to meet you, indeed. Lychee cocktail, delicious. Funny thing, elderflower wine cordial used to be a May slash spring drink. Ooh. Well, I mean, that works. That does make sense. I mean, it is technically- 
It's May. It's May. It's spring. It's spring. It makes sense. So, uh, coincidence or not, we did it. Mm -hmm. ha, ha, we did it, guys. Nice. Things that taste good. Yeah. Well, maybe the next one will taste good. Oh, actually, we're kind Hopefully. of we're kind of off on our own around here now. Yeah, so, floating in the sea. So the recipe, the website that we just got our. Oh, by the way, nice follow up there. Cool party yeah, yeah. parrot. Thank you all. Beautiful. There's so many of you guys. I love making party new parrot. friends. Sweet. So party parrots just got an extra flock. Get it? It's good stuff. So what we've been doing is the the wines that we the place that we got our wines from is a local winery localish winery called Tomasello and they sell a bunch of different types of wines. Their website actually has a bunch of cocktails on it. There's like sixty something cocktails of how to use all the different wines you buy. We actually have two other wines which we tried earlier and I will bring back onto the set now. Yes, uh, they're basically it's their a la mode line, which is a bunch of cream wines. Which absolutely delectable. This one is probably my favorite. Could drink it on its own easily. Barely tastes like alcohol. If I had to pick a favorite, it's this blackberry cream one over here. It tastes like a pop tart, like the blueberry one. It ones. really does taste like a pop tart. Enough. But since this is a brand new line, Tomasello doesn't actually have a lot of cocktail recipes for it. So we're just gonna get a be on our own. Absolutely. So I guess uh, you know it wouldn't be the first time we've just kind of cracked open a recipe on our own over here. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. We'll see if we can mix things together. It'll yeah. be fun. Absolutely. Where do we want to start? Let's see. Always happy to make new friends. Hashtag not. non Yes, non hashtag not sponsored. It's no, okay. It's, it's okay. It's not sponsored. No, it's not. It's okay, Cameron. It's okay. Listen, listen. Only because you brought it up, I, I tried to reach out. I was like, hey, I have all your wines. I want to make cocktails with them. And I just want a recommendation. I want you to tell me what's your recommendation for these bottles here. Ghosted. It's no wonder, you know, small guy trying to make his way on the internet just gets ghosted by the big, the big people. Mm -hmm. It's bit, it's, it's what big industry. What if you industry, sent yeah? this entire stream? So, so there's a plan to this. We're gonna make a cocktail or two. They're gonna taste delicious. I'm gonna be like, hey, like, hey, like, like, not that you, not that you care, but like, here's these cocktails we made with your wines, which are really tasty. And kind of like butter them up a little bit and be like, your wines are great. We made them better. Or we completely bastardize them, and I'm just here to insult you. But, you know, negative energy, positive energy. Positive mental attitude, like Jacksepticeye. Exactly. P positive M mental attitude. PMA, that's what it's all about. So we're gonna use our positive mental attitude, our bartending abilities, and uh, possibly some beginner's luck over here to try to make some, some, make some nice cocktails with these guys. Yeah. Well, at least one for each of them, starting with Let's see, we started with the blackberry cream last time. Yeah. So I think we should start with the butter pecan cream this time. Yes, and as far as this one goes, I think it would do really, really well with coffee notes. I agree. So when we tasted this earlier, I think I was getting like a lot of like ice cream notes. Oh yeah. And it smelled like- was It, it the, smelled like, like melted original? butter. Yeah, it smelled Ugh. like Werther's Original and basically tastes like, as the name suggests, melted butter pecan. Absolutely. It's but so, boozy. it's so good smelling. It was like, delectable Like taste. you throw this stuff in a milkshake, it's gonna bring all the boys to the yard. Is it, who's it better <laughs> than? Is it better than yours? Damn right it's better than yours. Could you teach me? I'd have to charge. I serve you cocktails and that's somehow not enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I think the best place to start with this will probably be to grab like a coffee liqueur. Yeah, I, have, I think you got some Kahlua down I here. have a couple of coffee liqueurs down here. On the one hand, we have a Mr. Black Amaro, which is a coffee liqueur that has Amaro notes to it, kind of like how that Campari from earlier had those bitter orange notes. Oh, cheers! Lucky does! Yeah! For Dark Tech like Network, that. hey, how you doing? Doing pretty well. Who is that? Dark Tech Network. Yo, what's going on, man? What's going on, Eric? Everybody's saying buttery, boozy, bring me that salted caramel. Salted caramel is a great idea. Oh, you have one already? Yes. Bitties! Thank you for the celebration. Yes, it's and like I said, here. next time... Oh, oh, next time I'm on here... We can do I margaritas. Can... We can do margaritas. Or, or, or. They also do have a salted caramel moscato. Do they really? Yes, they do. Don't I will bring tempt us. six brand new wines. Don't you tempt do us. This. We'll do it. We will. Oh, and if you fun. want, we can invite Emi Chow. Mm. Because unfortunately, she was not again. able to be here for this stream. Working times. Yes. Working, working times. times. Oh, the Hard death of times. the modern worker. Yes. Dark says, not much, just chilling, been configuring a 3D printer for like three days. Oh my Oof. god! Only because you brought up a 3D printer. I now have to show this. Is it the things? It's the it's things. The things. Hang no, on. Yes. 
Roll for initiative. I'm printing centerpieces for Anna and mine's wedding. This is Kirsten. Hey. My my fiance's downstairs. She's sleeping now. We printed these guys out. Yeah, no, I am. twenties. They're they're uh, icosahedrons. They've yes. got twenty sides to them, and it took an entire day to print them. And uh, eventually, I will print more. Thank you. I just had to show that off for a moment. I love printing. Yes. Printers are freaking awesome. I've had to think for a couple of miles now. It's good stuff. Very cool. Oh, thank you. Thank very, you. very cool. My, my fiance and I are actually me and the entire group of friends I surround myself with. We're a bunch of nerds. Yes, we it's are. Very good stuff. So Especially like, your, I would assume your best man, who's currently probably at home painting one of my, one of my best boys yes, out there Lycos being a nerd Lord. right now. My boy, Lycos Lore, all day. He's actually sponsoring the stream with his hot dogs. Totally not a sponsor. It's a bit. I would hope not. Don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm not. Oh my god. So what we have here is we have our butter pecan, right? Mm -hmm. There was, uh, I don't remember who it was, but they made a comment about salted caramel. And I don't have any salted caramel liqueur back here. It's interesting because I know, I think Pinnacle, who does this whipped vodka, also does a salted caramel. And to be honest, I usually don't go out of my way to buy those things unless I know exactly what they're going to use them for. However, the disadvantage is means I don't have them for occasions like this where we can what just if experiment around. What if you had caramel them. sauce and dripped it around the rim? I don't have caramel sauce. I have chocolate sauce. Nothing caramel in this place. It would still work. It would still work. So that's a good idea. If we had if we had things that were caramel we'd like go down that line. Going. A what now? Get like fudge ripple going. A what now? Have you never heard of the ice cream flavor fudge ripple? Fudge ripple? Yes. No, what is that? <laughs> what? Wait, is that, like, is that like supposed it to be like an... fudge and like vanilla rippled together or? It's literally like chocolate sauce ribboned through vanilla ice cream. How have you never- I've never, I've never heard what? of that before. I feel so silly. I've never heard of that before. Wow, that sounds delicious. It is. Oh my gosh. Well, have you ever heard of Funfetti? Yes. It's just multicolored vanilla, basically, with bits it, it, of like sprinkles and stuff in it. It's literally sprinkles in vanilla. Okay, I've made the thing Funfetti I'm thinking cake. of is crazy vanilla, which is just vanilla with colors in it. <laughs> and it just tastes like vanilla. But by God, it looks pretty. So is I'm going to buy it anyway. It, is it sad that when you said crazy vanilla, my first thought was like, when you said vanilla and my first thought went to ketamine? Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, why? Why ketamine? I don't know. Your mind is doing some wacky things right now. Uh, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I totally dig it. Uh, oh, we've got the horror man to say, we have our nerd flags. Dark Dead Network. Oh. oh my god. The salted caramel vodka, they do indeed do that. And caramel is really easy to make. Sugar, water, butter, milk, easy. Honestly, I've never put those things together. Oh yeah. Hmm. I gotta make some caramel sometime. And we uh, also had me. who's the other one down there? DM Chaos 2004. Congrats on your marriage. May you be forever happy together. May we happy forever be together. Yes. Literally, they're one of the cutest couples I have ever seen. Oh, you flatter me too much. Drink your drink there. <laughs> Kidding, no pressure. So we have our butter pecan. We have our coffee. The question is whether we keep the, so we have a butter pecan cream, a coffee cream, and a coffee Amaro. I think we need to choose between the two of these. And I think what we might want to do is we kind of go down the list of like, we take one, we take the other, we kind of tournament them all up to something. Yes. That's what I'm thinking. Indeed. If we want something that's a little more coffee, I guess I have to ask you, if this was a coffee beverage, a latte for you, do you want it more on the latte side of things? Or something a little little lighter, let's say like on the Mer the Americano side of things. It's I all gonna have cream. I'm perfectly fine with something on the latte side. Okay. So I'm thinking if we when I think of the latte, I think of a little more of the milk foam, milk cream, whatnot. Kalua. Kalua. I think it's a classic. Yeah. So I'll put the Mr. Black away. Mr. Black, by the way, is an excellent, excellent coffee liquor. It's so tasty. Like if there was gonna be any like go-to coffee, that'd be the one. Other this than one using one. real coffee. This is also fair. But then again, sometimes don't make sharpers and downers, kids. Mm -hmm. And sometimes... Do. Spike your coffee. Sometimes do. Sometimes don't. It's all about context, really. Oh my gosh. Dark Techie says, roll a d20 for happiness. I need to put like one of those... um, like Nat one of those, 20. Like those... Um, all the time. I'm trying to think of it. Yeah. Just roll a 20 on life. Just like, boop. I crit on life. All the time. Whether it's a crit success or crit fail is, well, up to the guys. No, we'll have to confirm. We'll have to roll to confirm on that one. Yes. So we've got our mudslide, Kahlua, our rum cream. Oh, let me let me erase the board, by the way. We're not even on the yellow jacket anymore, but we're trying to make something new. 
I made my coffee with Red Bull halfway to work. I realized I forgot my car. Oh my god. <laughs> You were driving to work without your car. <laughs> suspicious, suspicious coffee Red Bull? Coffee Red Bull? Coffee vodka Red Bull? That yes, is, no, yes. No, that is the last no, thing that anybody no, needs. No. Good God. So uh, we're going to pull out the Red Bull for this next one and mix our, <laughs> our uppers with our uppers with our uppers. Yes. Let's keep it going. Butter Sky pecan is cream. literally the limit. Cocktail, ha, uh, coffee cream. What else do we put in this? So if, if I'm thinking of like a coffee, a coffee drink, I feel like we need to add something else in there. Maybe something like kind of, so we've got like cream on cream so far with a bit of the coffee flavor with a bit of the butter pecan flavor. I'm sure if we mix the two of them together, it would probably taste just fine. But when I think of other bits of coffee, sometimes like different spices and stuff come to mind. And I feel like instead of, let's say like, let's say instead of a salted caramel, Maybe we go a different direction with that. We take it to something like, like uh, so you're at the coffee shop and you make your coffee, you have your latte, it's got some foam art on it and whatnot, and you wanna add something else to it. What lays before you are a couple of different options. I see a cinnamon container. I see a chocolate sprinkle container. I see a container of sugar. I see a container of whipped cream, actually, like half and half. I see these four things in front of us. What do you go for? Do you go for multiple? I would go for the cinnamon, definitely. Cinnamon? Okie doke. Either that or I would sometimes go for chocolate, sometimes mm -hmm. not. Now, would you go for more a like a cinnamon latte? More like, a, let's say, it, it came that way to you? Or you want to add the cinnamon at the end? I would rather it, it came to me like okay. that because, as I was telling you earlier, probably best latte that I've had was a place down in Charleston. Mm -hmm. uh, cinnamon bun latte literally tastes like oh, a cinnamon Oh, you were mentioning oh, that earlier. it was so That's good. That's a good idea. So I'm thinking for that, I'll go down here and grab some cinnamon liqueur. <laughs> so I have to bring up the question. Do you mean cinnamon like cinnamon? Or do you mean cinnamon like gasoline fireball? Let's not use fireball. I have way too much of it at home. <laughs> I will say though, it tastes very good in apple cider. Fireball has way too many occur um, um, occurrences in my life that just like, <laughs> it should not be there. So. In response to that, we have Goldschläger, a Is that cinnamon freaking liqueur. gold leaf in the bottom? It actually does have some edible gold leaves inside of it. Um, the amount of money that you would be able to pull from these actual gold leaves would not be enough to buy you another bottle. They've definitely worked out the economics there. But yeah, there are actually gold leaves in there. Isn't that cool? That's cool! Yeah, that's pretty cool. Real gold flakes in there. Not corn flakes. Gold flakes. Gold Although, flakes. I wonder, I don't know if that would be tasty if you put gold flakes in milk. Maybe in your coffee, though. Well, actually, this one, this one what is your What if we mixed coffee. only these two together and it tasted like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? You want to try it? Why not? You want to try a little tiny shot, like, tiny little shot of it? Hit me. Cordial. Hit me, baby, one more time. We're going to see if this tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch real quick. This will be the next viral trend, so stick around and check it out. The little leaf is just kind of a gimmick, though. They don't actually taste like anything. Mm. I figure, otherwise, they're, they're they totally not flavorless. Be. So we'll add a little bit in there. And I don't know if we want to do, I don't know if equal parts is the move or a little bit less. I think I'm going to do a two to one ratio of the cream to the cinnamon. And even still, I don't know if that's a little too much. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. What are we thinking? This Ooh, is Ooh, that's this very nice. Yeah. Smell that. It smells like a cinnamon bun. Oh my God, it does. This, sm this straight up smells like Cinnabon. Oh my God. <laughs> This could be good. Hashtag sponsor us. Oh my gosh. Maybe, maybe. No, don't get our hopes up. Horomancer says cinnamon toast crunch, fireball plus rum chata, perfection for what you're looking for there. Ooh. Oh yeah? Burns like the devil. Whoa, that's, in Whoa, that's intense. Okay. Yeah. Less. Whew. So the two to one ratio, too much on the cinnamon. Give me a little less than that though. Like a single, maybe like a quarter of an ounce to a full ounce up there. That's that's Holy that's potent. Shit. That is very very potent. Damn. You know you know what I just realized if too. If you love spicy cinnamon, that is the drink for you. Oh my gosh, that is good. That's, I should get AJ some of that. That's good though. Yeah, gold Slug is pretty good. Yeah, because like is, he loves Fireball. Mm -hmm. Honestly, and this together is yeah. kind of kind of Firebally, but like it not is. as not as like Fireball like undeniably has like a sweetness to it. And I think this is like a different kind of sweetness. Obviously more of a cream sweetness as opposed to like a, just like, 
just sugar intensity. Put the fire out. Put the fire out with some water. Or with more cream. More milk! I say drinking water, which is definitely not milk. Eric says, thoughts on the fireball lawsuit? What, the whole, like, the whole, uh, what is it? It's got, like, taurine or something in it? Or it's got the art of... I don't really know what's going on with the fireball lawsuit, if it's current. Yeah, because, like, as far as taurine goes, that's more monster energy than last, advertised. Last I heard, they were like, yeah, it's, it's got, like, this. ingredients in it that are one similar is to gasoline. Whiskey, or... One isn't. Oh, oh, I, okay, I do remember that one. Yeah, they have, like, I think they're saying, like, the, that, um... I think it had something to do with the fact that some of the little nip containers say whiskey on them, and I think some of them don't. And I think that has to do with like being able to sell it like in a drugstore. Like you can buy like little nips of Fireball at like a gas station, despite the fact they're not allowed to sell like liquor. But if it's a whiskey, then it's like liquor, so you're not allowed to sell that. But if it's not technically like straight up spirit, then it is okay. I'm not really up to date on that stuff, so somebody would have to correct me there if I'm wrong on that. Ironic says one shot cannon that taurine is good for cat teeth development. Is it really? Isn't taurine? Wasn't taurine the one they were like? Taurine is like a chemical and like it is derived from bull piss. That's exactly what I was thinking. It, it is found in Monster Energy drinks. Naturally, would I, mean, I still drink it? Unfortunately, yes. I Monster would. is very good, dude. I I wasn't kidding before when I was screaming vodka Red Bull coffee sans the coffee, but I've had vodka Red Bulls before. Those will fuck you up. Yeah. Makes for a great rave day, though. Indeed. Dark says, something like that. They're like, the nip smaller bottles don't say they contain whiskey in them. Yeah, something along those lines. Some and Luna is malt based. Luna's the other cat. is whiskey based, but they didn't differentiate between them. Yeah, one was a malt, one was a whiskey. I saw like a single article and then I was like, <laughs> fireball in the news. That's funny. Okay, so back to the cocktail at hand. I think... We definitely want a little bit of the Goldschläger in there because it's a nice cinnamon note, but not too much of it because it can oh, be a yeah, little overpowering. No, a little is going to go a long ass. Definitely going to keep with this butter pecan. Also, Monster Energy is suing an too. indie game dev just because of them using the word monster in the game. Oh yeah, well Fuck Monster tried everything. to trademark the term monster, and that's just a dick that's move. That's literally honestly. no. Yeah. Pokemon, Pocket Monsters, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter. Um, yeah, some you're going to have to guys. fight. Mo you're gonna have to fight Nintendo. You're gonna have to fight Capcom. You're gonna have to fight the entire monster movie genre. It's wild. So you're gonna be fighting Hollywood. I, it's like somebody trying to trademark like the happy, like the term "happy birthday." Like, no, no, you can't do that. You, you it, leave it's it as public. It's a common phrase. Okay, coffee, coffee plus cinnamon plus cream make cocktail. Maybe. Possibly. Do we want to add anything that kind of like dilutes the flavor down a little bit? I don't, I don't know like if we, like I feel like if we had, so do I have any extra cream down here? I do actually. I have light cream down here. We can also add some simple syrup to it to kind of up the sweetness level. Or we just have like this, I think, how much we do it on the cream? Cream's good. Cream's good, good stuff. stuff. We could add some of that too. It's a very, it's a very creamy drink so far. And so I'm trying to think of ways to potentially even things out. It might not even need to be evened out, to be honest. Yes. I'm thinking if we had all the components that we have now inside of a single what container. What if we use normal milk instead? We could also use normal milk too. I have to run downstairs for the normal milk, but yeah, we could do that. I mean, I that? could also grab it because I also have to run to the bathroom. Oh yeah, by all means. So it should be, there should be a small container of milk in the fridge, hopefully right up in the front. Sweetness. We'll see about that. Uh, I can stretch my legs. Go for it. Get a little. This is everyone's opportunity to kind of get up and stretch a little bit while we just kind of, kind of vibe around for a little bit. Actually, in this opportunity, I'll do a teeny little bit of cleanup because I think we're probably going to shake this one, and I only have two shakers remaining, and I think I'm just going to reuse this guy again. We try to conserve all of our different apparatus around here, otherwise we might run out of stuff. Actually, this one had a very, it was very frothy. I'm not going to use that one again. Grab one of these guys. And try to conserve. What kind of bartender would I be if I didn't clean the bar, like, as we have patrons walking in and out? It's a bit, it's a busy night around here. There's so many guests, and it's an absolute joy to have you all here. There we go, making noises again. That's one of my favorite parts about cleaning up. I could just, just throw things into the bucket. It's an honor for the bucket. The bucket enjoys it greatly. If anybody else has any thoughts out there, I'm actually very curious. If this was your coffee, uh, just a ge general question. How do you do your lattes? Drink your coffee black? Do you do like latte? I think when I was growing up, my mother really, really loved to add coffee creamers to her coffee. And now I think she adds a lot of honey to her coffee as well. Personally, 
I like to drink my coffee black. I got to that point in my life where I was drinking a lot of coffees from Starbucks and whatnot. And my fiance was like, that's a lot of sugar. You're probably gonna gain a little weight like that. And I was like, you're right. So I started drinking it black as a means to kind of cut down on my sugar intake. And lo and behold, I started to realize the more nuanced flavors of espressos and coffees and stuff versus like, depending on the different types of roasts and your darker light roast, the origins. I think my favorite coffee to date is like this Tanzanian, like this, this, it was, I don't know if it was a Tanzanian roast. I don't exactly remember what it was, but it was from this company called the many, the many, many something tavern. Cause I saw them at a board game convention and they had this lovely, very, very, like a slightly sour, very forward tasting coffee that was almost like drinking like a freshly pulled shot of espresso, but not as potent and to be enjoyed over a full cup of coffee as to, opposed to a single shot of espresso. It was lovely. Many, it's, it's many, many somethings tavern. Many something taverns coffee. And they're absolutely delightful. And I would highly recommend them. I don't remember exactly which one it is. I probably follow them on Instagram somewhere. I remember, but as I get into my older years, oh, just all of this stuff, all this information escapes me. There's just so much knowledge up in these brains. It's wonderful. <laughs> Eric says, I can't stand creamer in my coffee. I add milk to it instead, as I find creamer and half and half taste artificial, so I kind of stopped using that. I understand that. I also find, too, that milk and creamer have a sort of leveling effect on coffees. Like, for example, you can have, there's hundreds of different types of coffees out there, whether it comes from the origin of the bean, the mixture of the bean, the type of roast that you got there, or, and whatnot. And milk and half and half if you add them to all your coffee, no matter where it comes from, it kind of like evens the playing field and makes things taste a little more similar to each other. And I don't get as much of the nuances of one type of coffee versus another type of coffee versus this espresso shot versus that type of espresso shot. I feel like by adding something like that, it kind of dilutes it and I don't get the nuance as much. But then again, some people just like it that way. And I get that. Lou the Cat says, no sugar in coffee, never sugar in coffee. Personally, I like that rule. I actually, I bought some, uh, I, I was going to work today and I, I, I've grown tired of the different coffees that they provide for us there. So I bought myself some cream, gonna make some simple syrup, some cinnamon syrup or something and just bring it to work for me. That way I have it for, I can make my own lattes. Welcome back here. Hello. She has brought back the milk. It is nice and it is cool and it is smooth and it is milky, just like milk is supposed to be. And so I think we have all our constituents here. I think it's just a matter of mixing it together in a way that hopefully tastes all right. Yeah. And we'll give it a try. This one in particular, attempting to uh, feature the Butter Pecan Cream from Tomasella Winery, the a la mode wine that we have. So I think let's put some ice in this side of our shaker. It's got a little, it's got a little bit of liquid left in it. We can dump that off a little bit first, hopefully. The bucket is so far away from me. And then, I think we'll start, start thinking about our proportions there. I'm thinking, I want it to feature the cream wine itself, so I think we'll add- The bucket. The bucket, here we go. Yeah, nice. for anyone who's new, the bucket. It's the bucket, the bucket holds off. I think I, need, think I need a bigger bucket. The bucket winds up filling up, especially on these three plus hour long streams. So I think what we'll add to our shaker is two ounces of our wine, because we want this to kind of be like the center of attention for yes. everything happening here. Let me grab, oh, do I? Am I out of jiggers? Oh my God. Oh, look at that. A jigger popped up from behind me. A measuring mid jigger. We'll add two ounces of that. Measuring about 59. McJagger. Measuring McJagger. You I got, got the, the measures. Like Jagger. There we go. I got the shakes, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Classic stuff. Ooh, Dark Techie was saying, I had Duncan try to kill me. I swear I ordered a large coffee with milk and hazelnut, shot to it, added four shots of espresso in the coffee, and I saw and heard colors. The coffee that Lunit's Cat has will wake you up and shake your head, melt your spoon, and restart your heart. 50 shots of espresso? Maybe more. There could be many. Good lord. There's this coffee joint around here called Fuel, and I had a single cup of their coffee one time, and I was jacked up the entire day. Just Damn. a single cup of coffee. Like, I don't know what the hell they're putting in things over there, but God, it works very well. Either that or it's really concentrated. Maybe, honestly. 
So we have two ounces of our cream liqueur here. I think I stand by, even though I doubled up the cream there, because we're not mixing it the same way as we did previously, I'm gonna add maybe a quarter ounce of the cinnamon liqueur there. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe you have, I don't wanna add too much. I'm gonna I add say, just a little bit, because it was pretty powerful. Yeah, I would say go with the quarter ounce. So we'll go with the quarter ounce, and if it's not as cinnamony as we want it to be, we can always add a little bit more there. I'll change things up a little bit. Luna, welcome. Your seat at the bar is right over here. Grab a seat wherever. Actually, is there even a, is there a quarter ounce marker here? Oh, there's no quarter ounce mark on this jigger. Unfortunate, unfortunate indeed. Come on, there we go. Still halfway between the half ounce mark. Halfway, there we go. I keep wanting to take, take your beautiful drink away from me because I've almost poured things into it twice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna ruin things over here. Mr. Bartender is going to ruin his own bar, I swear. So we've got our cinnamon in there. We've got our butter pecan cream in there. I, I have a feeling that it's not going to be as coffee if we use the Kahlua as we would the Mr. Black. Now, now, this is a latte that we're making to your requirements. So I'm wondering, do we want to make it more coffee? More, more towards the coffee side or more towards the latte side? I will let you be I the judge here. You know what? Let's trade this out for Mr. Black because yeah. we already have the milk. Woo! That's true. That's true. Oh, I'm excited by this. I love Mr. Black. I think of the spirits that I go through the most at this bar, it's Mr. Black, coffee liqueur, Campari, and sweet vermouth because I love a Negroni. And I just like, and Mr. Black makes a damn good coffee Negroni too. So I think we'll add... Coffee Negroni? Coffee Negroni. Swap out. So, so because this is a Mr. Black Amaro, you can swap out your Campari swap it out. with this instead. You can make a nice coffee Negroni. It is. I love it. I love it so much. I'm completely biased towards the Negroni, so I stand by that. I think I'll add a full ounce of this, and I think we will be okay. I will put the ice away. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I appreciate it. Have I ever tried Aliens Coffee Brandy? I've never heard of that before. Ooh. Coffee Brandy? Coffee Brandy. If you have a li if you have a link to that, feel free to pop that because I am very curious about it. We have two ounces of our butter pecan Must cream wine. wine. Cream wine. We have a single ounce of the Mr. Black coffee liqueur and a quarter ounce of our Goldschläger cinnamon liqueur. And I think all we need to do now is I think we'll we'll skip on the light cream because yeah. we have the the milk. Yeah. So if you can put that back in a tiny fridge, it'd be yes. greatly appreciated. Yeah. I think. Yes, I'm thinking if we just add if we just add like an ounce or maybe half an ounce of the the milk in there, I think we'll be just fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So let's see. Let me let's write this down for posterity purposes. What do we want to call this? I mean, if we wanted to go easy, it's a butter pecan latte. It's a but it's a cinnamon butter pecan latte. However, what does it remind you of? And while you think about that for a moment, I'll mix the rest of the drink. Mm. Dark says it's a main thing. Oh, I have to I'll have to come up to Maine at some point. Pick some up of that. Pick some other particular local Maine liqueurs. It is there we go. Got our milk in there. We have an alien coffee here too in NM. Where is NM? Uh, North New Mexico. New Mexico. That's what I'm thinking. I thought for some reason my mind went to North New Hampshire, which is not a place. That's New Hampshire. Nice. Love you a lot. There we go. That's so cute. Now hopefully that this and hopefully this latte carries through on the love and I'm not just like forsaking it for something else. All right. We're gonna want to strain that. Idea. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Let's do a little bit, a little bit of curling <laughs> happening there. Love you a latte. Love you a butter pecan cinnamon latte. Yes. All right, let's go. Ooh, I think coffee, I think a coupe would be perfect for this. Yes. Let's go with, oh my God, I got this beautiful little champagne saucer. It's gonna be great. Oh, that's so cute. I bought these at a store over in, I don't remember where I was, but it was a thrift store and we loved it. Put these guys down here. We'll kind of clean up the bar a little bit for the beautiful next angle that we'll be looking at. So, there we go. Put you all here. I'm fine with stranger, dude. 
How fine? The finest. So I've got. Uh, I got a fine. I got a fine mesh strainer. You can use this. Perfect. Thing. That should catch things just fine. We'll do this one to catch. Like I should be using the other one, but it's it's kind of foamy from the um from the pineapple one. Yeah. The lychee flavored one. Do you so. want to switch places back with me this way? I can hold that for you. Sure. Yeah, that sounds perfect. I moved the bar forward a little bit, so I we mix positions as well as drinks. That's true. Okie doke. So I got this, and so let me grab that strainer there. This actually came apart a lot Hawthorne easier than the previous Hawthorne strainer. Way. Hawthorne. That was a stra that's Stranger Things, right? The mm -hmm. town of Hawthorne. I actually don't know. I've never seen Stranger <gasps> Things. I know. Stranger I things. know. Ooh, a uh, cocktail angle. Let's get a look at this. Yes. Come on over. Come on over. Whoa! It's okay. It's just a metal can. I'm glad it didn't drop Wine when it over. This can is also almost empty. No, it's actually very full. It's oh. lighter than the air. So oh. it feels like it's empty. It's, I don't know. Technology is pretty cool. So let's bring you down here. I'll set up the angle for this beautiful little saucer over here. Hello there. Yeah, I really like how there's leaves etched in here. It's very yeah. pretty. It was a, this was a very, very nice find. I think I paid like 20 bucks for them. Not too bad. Interesting. All right. That's uh, oh, my microphone is in a little. There we go. I love you a latte. Oh my god, proportioned that. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful little foam on there. Yeah. There we go. You can pop that back in here if you want. And now I must, now I must ask, how would you like your latte art? I think a little bit of, how do we want to garnish that? Hmm. I really I think don't in a little bit of, because I can't, I don't know if, I don't know how to do latte foam art, and I don't think it has a powerful color for can't, that. We can't, no. But we could put a little bit of cinnamon on it, we can do a little, what do we want with it? It's your latte. Because the thing is, is like, I would do cinnamon, but I don't know if that would make it a little bit too cinnamon heavy. Hmm. Maybe we taste it a little bit first, and then see if it's and see if it's worth the garnish. Indeed. Indeed. So we switch back. Yes. Boop. Beautiful picture. Lovely picture. Excellent picture. Oh, smell that. Oh, I was switching back to the chat. Ooh. I like the smell of that. Oh yeah. That's I. I'm smelling butter pecan, cinnamon, it of coffee. I like that. That's very nice. Three espresso beans on top. Oh my goodness, that's a great idea. Yes. Wow. Do you have any? I can. I had coffee beans downstairs. I can just get some coffee beans. Oh my god, this is a great idea. Wow. This is why I love having people here. First, I think you should taste. Oh, this. I should taste it first. Oh my god, you're right. I was so distracted by a beautiful scene that I was like. I need to go down for that. I need to bring this up to me. That is perfection. That, that was like the perfect latte. amount of cinnamon in there. That tastes like a latte. That tastes like, wow. Coffee, butter pecan, hint of cinnamon. Just a small spice from the cinnamon. Wow, that is tasty. That's good. Coffee beans? Coffee beans. Coffee beans, I'm so excited. Ah, <laughs> oh uh, yes, he sings about coffee beans on the way down. Lurk. Please enjoy your lurkage. Good stuff. Yeah, Hi. that coffee bean, very good idea. I got the beans. What pal? I'm Bello. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, beef. These beans are regional. Black cat, aroma fragante, uh, particularmente dulce. This is in Spanish, by the way. It's from Guatemala. Got it. My dearest picked uh, them up for me. Fragrant aroma, particularly sweet. Uh, balanced body beans. and delicate. Beans. Fine acidity and elegant. Beans. Beans? Persistent pleasure. Persistent pleasure. That's what it's all about. Persistent pleasure. That's how I like my coffee. I know some Spanish. Persistently. I can muddle my way through. Pleasurable. Get it? Yes. That's funny. So we'll add. Ooh, switch the cocktail angle. On it, boss. How many beans? Three. Bean. 
Bean. One? One going this way. Which way? This way toward you. Bean. Cause like if- Oh my gosh, it looks like a little leaf. Ah, so beautiful! Alright, I'm gonna turn it up like this a little bit. That there is beautiful. Oh, I don't know what you were doing with the lighting there. There we go. Yeah, that's better lighting. Beautiful. Thank you, auto, auto camera thingy. Rich says, could also grate a bit of hazelnut up on top. Fair. He could. However, I'm inclined to work against that this time, just because I feel like if Simplicity was, is best. If there was a hazelnut. Was there a hazelnut cream liqueur do you know of? Or the, the cream? No. I actually don't. Tomasello. Hit us up. Hit us up. I'm telling you, great ideas here. We have great ideas here every single week. I don't know what I'm doing next week yet, but I'll figure it out. I promise you that. All right, let's switch back and give this thing one more, I think just one more taste here. You know, if you're free, unless I can't remember saying the 26th. 26th uh, this month? Yeah. Um, That's two weeks, from, two weeks from, no, it's not two weeks from now. Wait a minute. Is this 10th, it, 17th? It's oh, the Friday the after next. Oh, the Friday. Oh, oh, okay. I could do an impromptu Friday stream. I'll think about it. We'll muddle on it. Coolio. Basically, if you want to visit Thomas. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's put the cinnamon wine back with the cinnamon Because funny thing, in between where I live and where we currently are, Thomas L is about halfway. It's a nice halfway point for all the, the beautiful drinkers out there, like us, for instance. Yes. So let's see. We created... Love, love you, you a latte. latte. Combining... That's okay. I remember it now. Ooh, we ooh. combined... Two ounces. Two, we said two ounces it was of the, our... Uh, butter pecan. But pecan cream wine. Wine. We had a single ounce of our... Mr. Black, Mr. Black, Amaro, Amaro. We also had a quarter, quarter ounce of our Goldschläger cinnamon liqueur, and we had a full ounce of milk. I would think two. I would keep it the whole milk. Yeah. If you wanted to change it up for your own particular taste, perhaps you're a little uh, whole milk of aver like a virgin, like my uh, my fiance is. Then you could probably, I would say, texture wise, you could use oat milk. Flavor wise, I would go with almond milk because it I is think almond milk. Notes. I agree with that. Uh, I've actually never tried. I, I've had coconut milk in not lattes before, so I don't know how the coconut milk would play there. It might be an interesting little change. Hmm. That could be fun. And then if it tastes decent, add coconut rum. Exactly. Ooh, my goodness. Malibu yeah. is always a, Just, a good addition. Um, if anybody does try this, be very, very careful. These cream wines do want to curl. Mm -hmm. We double strain this one because we notice it's interesting. The, the top of these cream wines seem to have a little bit of curdle that are yeah. already there. So I think if you kind of pour out a little bit of it, and then do your your real pour. I'll just like double strain it at the end. Yeah. Or you could like put it over like a coffee strainer if you wanted to. I don't exactly know what that would do. Cause the, all the cream is just gonna like get sapped right out of it. So I wonder what color it would come out the other side. Mm. Interesting experiments for beyond the scope of this particular cocktail stream. Beyond the bar. Beyond the bar, at least for this particular episode yes. that is. Maybe coffee cocktails again one day. It'll be fun. Let me join you. Oh yeah. I did one already and I've been c c growing the list ever since then. You know what? Did you do tea cocktails yet? I did not. Cause Long Island iced teas and green tea shots are two very distinct drinks that mm -hmm. have tea in the name. I actually no kinda, tea in them and somebody had works the about idea. <laughs> somebody had the idea of doing a it's a stream that's themed around cocktails that aren't what they say they are. For example, a green tea shot. Long Island iced tea. There's no tea in that shit. That's just no, it's just alcohol. So the you idea <laughs> the idea would be to try to take these cocktails that aren't what they say they are and make them what they say they are. For example, green tea in the green tea shot to taste something similar to a green tea or like Long Island iced tea that actually tastes like iced tea or has iced tea in it. Still kind of, there's a lot of planning in the process there. Yes. Um, so we're working on that. I would say too for, I, I personally, I, I don't want to come up with these ideas on my own. I'll just put it out there is that it's not really a, it, 
it benefits everybody. There is a channel in our Discord server called The Workshop. And when I say things about like, oh, we're thinking on themes and trying to workshop things together, that's where I refer things to happen at. Anybody can give their opinions or make suggestions for themes and stuff, and we try to workshop them all together. And if we yeah. can if we can put something together, then lo and behold. Yeah, I'm maybe sure do that cool. episode around Halloween. Could be fun. Tips and tricks. Tip or well, more tricks and everything. Tips and tricks. So there's one more wine that we haven't created a cocktail with yet. The blueberry, the or the blackberry. Black, the blackberry cream wine. So that will be our last cocktail of the evening as yes. I put this guy away, the butter pecan, the butter cream pecan, or whatever you call that This one. just looks so good. It's I, so pretty Again, looking. like between these two, I don't want to drink them. A coffee cocktail. Because they're just too pretty. With a nice layer over top of it, like the, like the latte layer in a coupe glass like that. You just can't go wrong with it. It looks pretty. It tastes delicious. I like. I, I was a little. I will admit, I was a little anxious that it wasn't going to taste balanced, but it's good. It's very, very tasty. Indeed. Did a nice, nice combined cocktail work there. That was excellent. So now we'll move on to our there. final cocktail of the evening. Again, not a cocktail that oh, we know ahead of time. Oh yes, indeed. Drink responsibly. We've got a bunch of water back here that we drink the entire time. Yes, and, and I'm actually certainly... going to chill mine with the remainder of oh, yeah. the yellow jacket. Go for it. I never wound up drinking all these things anyways. Well, I got <laughs> I splashed up water mm, on my face. Lime water. There we go. And I've refreshed myself a little bit with a little bit of the, the water. But so, the next one that we have, again, we don't actually have a cocktail comparison for this guy because apparently the a la mode cream wines are so new that they don't have any cocktails posted for them. So, we're going to try to make one, maybe maybe slip it into Tomasello's DMs a little bit and see if, uh, maybe, maybe, the Tomasello Senpai will finally notice us. Yeah, because they actually do have a section on their website where if you come up with recipes, you can sell them in. It's cool stuff. Supporting your local cool cocktail stuff. creator wherever they may be. Good stuff. Dark says, the people of Long Island don't know how to make an iced tea. <laughs> At least according to that cocktail, I'd have to agree with you there. Yeah. <clears throat> Very yeah. funny. But so, when we were thinking about the blackberry cream earlier, what, do you remember what kind of notes that we were thinking of? We were thinking more like vanilla notes and everything because the thoughts that kind of came to our mind were like blackberry cobbler, blackberry pie, mm -hmm. desserts. Oh, yeah, the, pie, the pie notes. It's interesting because when I when I think of pie, I think of like a graham cracker crust, and when I think of a graham cracker crust, I think of a little bit of cinnamon in there. And we kind of already went the cinnamon direction with this one, and I don't. I, I feel like we could do better. Than I think we just can. doing another type of latte there. So I'm curious of what other thoughts come to mind when I think of like pie. I, mean, I think mm. blackberry pie. I think of like a blackberry pastry. But I'm also kind of thinking too. There's a piece of me that kind of wants to do a like a blackberry sour. But not using lemon juice because if we use lemon juice, that there's going to be so much gonna acidity. It's like going to completely curdle. And like you could technically do something that's a little more. You could clarify it with it, which could be really interesting. But I'll be honest, I'm not super comfortable with clarification, yeah. and I don't know exactly what effect that. Usually, what will happen with a clarification process is all the solid components will be leached out of the drink. It'll be left behind, and what you're left with is something that tastes similar to what went into it, but it's smoother because you put those curdled cream bits into it, but the other aspects of what changes are a little beyond my experimentation at the, as of this point. Hey Cameron, I have a question. I definitely have an answer. Just because, again, my memory is that of a gnat. Mm -hmm. How do you do flips and fizzes? So a flip and a fit, so a flip would utilize an egg yolk, and a fizz would utilize like an the egg, egg yolk. White. The egg white. Well, just, yeah, egg white. Not the egg yolk. A flip, flips are kind of cool because the egg yolk offers a, it imparts a dryness to the cocktail, kind of turns it a little yellow, obviously. But it's also got this interesting, like, creamy smell to it, creamy texture and smell to it. Like a that, meringue? Like, like a meringue, exactly. Are you thinking maybe we meringue this thing? Blackberry cream fizz? Flip. Let's do it. I like that idea, actually. That's such an interesting thought. Actually, that is really interesting. Because when we did the fizz and flip stream the other day, oh, I think I, I, I want kind of want to go back into my recipe book to see if I have any good comparisons for the flips that we covered to see if we can find a nice base for this to work on. I know 
A lot of them the do wind up. death it. flip? There are so many different flips here. It's absolutely insane. But a lot of them, essentially, a flip is kind of made with your base spirit, some egg yolk in there, and some other stuff. The actual, like, formula, there's not really, like, a, an official formula to it. I think if you just put, like, an egg yolk in there, you'll probably be okay. But I do, I was looking through some of the recipes that I have in our recipe book, that there are, like, some of them have, like, liqueurs in them. Some of them are just straight up spirits. Um, some of them are a little lemon juice. This one looks like a pretty good, pretty good base for that. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Spirit, sweetener, yolk, and something that's non-alcoholic, like a, a like a, an agent there. So I'm thinking, if we take our cream wine, combine that with a complementary liqueur, add a particular syrup in there, and then add the egg yolk. That wouldn't be I bad. I think I think we have our flip. And I think we'll use the proportions of two, one, two, two, one, and dash. Let's flip this. Let's flip it. So. So first question. So first we are settling upon our spirit, which is going to be our blackberry cream. Yes. The question that I would ask is what other fruit, if there's a fruit that feels like it pairs well with that, if some other like liqueur flavor would pair My well with that. My first thought is another berry. Another berry. Okay. okay. I would actually, I have a blackberry whiskey that might because i feel like a bur bourbon and cream is a combo and this is i don't think this is bourbon this is a bird dog blackberry flavored whiskey it was less than five dollars at the liquor store they were trying to get rid of this i let's it's try right. it let's do it so we'll take this as our like not our base spirit in this case our complimentary liqueur spirit. complimentary spirit we're also obviously going to need an egg white or uh, egg, egg yolk, yolk in this case and we need some sort of sweetening agent I have a variety of different syrups. Allow me to go into my syrup collection and see exactly what we have. We have a molasses syrup. We have a simple syrup. We have a Demerara simple syrup, which is kind of like a darker um, simple syrup. We have a honey syrup. Honey might not be bad. That could be cool. I also have charred oak and maple, burnt sugar syrup, and orgeat, which is kind of like an al almondy orange type syrup. I would say simple syrup or Is it the honey? Th the yeah, honey? the honey one. The honey did actually kind of catch my attention. I was thinking of like honey in terms of like, I feel like that would be good. I don't know. I'm honestly, I, I'm totally down for just like giving it a whirl and seeing if the honey pairs with Let's it. Let's go. I mean, it's sweet. It's just a different type of sweetness. Let's go with that. Let's go for a little bit of honey syrup. And... Do you want? Do we want to rinse this out? Rinse that guy. Actually, we have one more shaker down there, so I think we'll just use that. Oh one. no! I save the best for last. It's not the best for last. It's just another. It's not any better than the other one. It is because this one has a glass top. Yeah, but I think that one is specifically meant to go inside of it. Hopefully. Oh, we'll try. If not, we do have a spare metal top. Absolutely. Right over Let here. Let me just make sure that I actually have uh, an egg over here. I do. There's a single egg just hanging in the fridge. Right. Okie dokie. Which means we're going to need this. We're hopefully not going to screw things up. So what we'll do is we'll just take this egg. We're going to crack it. And we're hopefully going to get only the egg yolk inside of the cocktail glass. Do we want to separate the white from the yolk over the yes. bucket, maybe? We can do it over the bucket. Shall we take the buckets? <laughs> Imagine if you had like a bucket cam. <laughs> oh my God. Well, technically the cocktail cam could be the bucket cam if we wanted to be. Here's the bucket. The bucket loves to eat everything. All right. Shall we? <laughs> do you want, you want a bucket cam? Bucket, bucket cam. cam. Hi, it's just me. I'm not a bucket, but it's I am cam. cam cam. It's cam cam. Cam cam. Bucket can you cam. do the cam cam? Can you go up higher? Yeah, you can. Wow, well, look at that. Hey, look, it's bucket cam. Uh, bucket this is cam. a bucket. There's a lot of a lot of shit in the bucket right now. It's yes. the bucket. The bucket bucket in some ways. It is the bucket. All I'm gonna bucket. try to do is I'm gonna pick some random surface in here and I'm gonna crack an egg and I'm hopefully gonna capture you the egg. Do it on the bar. Nope. Yeah. No, nope, it worked. All okay. right, work. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna let, <laughs> we're just gonna let this happen. No, some of the yolk. Wait, where's the cocktail? Shake, where's the shaker? Frick, 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 frick. That's okay. This works. Yolk. This works. There we go. It'll do. That's yolk in there. All right. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Ew. 
<laughs> Alright, switch angles quickly. <laughs> oh, oh, get away from the bucket. Oh, it's a little away. bit excessive. Dude. <laughs> I Bucket thought you juice. excelled. I... I did not. I exited. <laughs> Peace. Ah, uh, yes, my phone is going off. And I can only I imagine lost. drinking the bucket jungle juice that occurs after the end of every single That stream. would be disgusting. Uh, that sounds disgusting. Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> nasty. However... You need someone with an iron will and an iron stomach. Oh my gosh, yeah. Alright, so we've got a very fun looking bit of egg yolk inside of our uh, cocktail shaker here. It's funny because flips, I actually, I accidentally made a flip one time because I was trying to crack just the egg white and I got the yolk in there and it actually tasted great. And that was when I discovered flips. I was like, this is delicious. I had no idea. Do you want to grab one of those jiggers? Yeah, I got one of these guys over here. Are we still doing the uh, two ounces? I think we'll do two ounces of our base cream wine. But I I don't know what that is. Yeah. Give it a bit of a rinse. I thought it was water, but I didn't smell it. Fuck it. Here we go. Fuck it. All right. Sounds good. Two full ounces, or about 59 milliliters, of our chosen spirit of choice, which in this case is our kind of purple looking blackberry cream wine. In with our egg yolk there. The feature beverage of this particular cocktail. We're also going to add, let me go back to our proportions. I think it's a single ounce, a single ounce of our complimentary liqueur. Our complimentary liqueur to our blackberry cream wine is our blackberry flavored whiskey. Bird Dog, I bought it for less than $5 at the liquor store. And um, that was a pretty cool find, all things considered. Rich says that they feel like the bucket is a side character that I've never seen and that it, this is a pivotal episode where the bucket has finally appeared on screen. God, it's like Hunter on the Owl House. The, the, uh, the, the bucket appears every once in a while. I would say for the most part, I agree on the side character note. Never really makes a... Dude, one day, bucket theme stream. <laughs> Cocktail in a bucket. The bucket is actually... Dude, one day, actually, the bucket will have its day. I actually have had cocktails in buckets. Cocktails usually buckets? punches. Ooh. Dude, we can- Oh my god! I just had a thought. Punch bucket, no punch bags. Bucket has children. It's a bunch of, like, buckets that- like, sand buckets that you would take to a beach. And some are, like, little castle shapes, some are, like, mermaid shapes, and it's just- it's bucket day. Bucket day. Bucket day at the bar. Yeah, it could be, like, tiny little punches, sangrias, and stuff. <laughs> the theme. Buckets. <laughs> I love it. We should name that bucket. The bucket does not, honestly, a lot of things get names on this on this bar, and the bucket does not have a name yet. What should we name him? I don't know. I feel like the bucket has Wait. to choose for themselves. What if we name them Taylor? Taylor? Taylor. Taylor Bucket? Taylor Bucket. Bucket Is Taylor? A girl's name Taylor? and a boy's name. Taylor? This way Anna doesn't ah. say anything. Shall we, shall we make this a pivotal episode? Taylor, yes. Uh... Now indoctrinating and coordinating. Do you want me to write it? Taylor? Taylor like the ham? No, Taylor like the bucket. We finally named the bucket. This is beautiful. This is lovely. Rich says you can wear a bucket hat. Yeah, just watch me flip this bucket on my head right now. Yeah. This is a bucket. No, this is Taylor. <laughs> and Taylor is beautiful. Tay Taylor. Oh my god, like Taylor Swift. I was gonna sing a Taylor Swift song, but oh I god. honestly don't know any of them. It, does she, is she the one who does 22? Ooh, ooh. Yes. 22. We bought a kid. Gonna have to bug on <laughs> oh out next time from One Shot Cannon. So long, One Shot Cannon. May your One Shot you. Cannon target be far and hopefully painless. Yes. Would be my hope there. So we added everything except for our honey syrup, which, according to this particular recipe, calls for a single dash of it, but I think maybe like a half an ounce. Yeah. I think it'll be just fine. Hello? Oh, you still, you smell lovely. Honey. Honey. Do, 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 do. Oh, sugar, sugar. I sang that in the wrong order. But oh, it's fine. Honey, honey, da, 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 da. Oh, simple syrup. Da, 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 da. You are my cocktail girl. girl. Bucket girl. <laughs> and your name is Taylor or something. No, it's who really knows. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Okie dokie. We're not doing any more measuring this stream, so I'm going to take all of our measuring measures. Now the question I'll is... I'll put them away. Ice, question mark. Ice. So what we're going to do is Ew. for, for something that has egg white in it, usually what we'll do is, is you we'll put dry the, shake um... first. However, it's a yolk in this case, so I don't think the dry shake is necessary. So we're gonna we're gonna do wet shake. We'll do wet shake. Ha, bucket list episode. Love that. Yes. I rely on the people at large to be able to come up with the witty pun that I that we can't come up with on our own over here. We're only two people. <laughs> How's it looking in there? A little uh, scary. A little bit. <laughs> little scary. Just a tad. Just a tad. How to use the rest? Oh, I have a single tiny cube remaining. Oh God. We did this slightly wrong. Uh, get in there. Oh. Yeah, you're seeing one of It's okay. It's, it's fine. fine. We got it. It's okay. It's okay. We can do it. Okay, dokie. No. Uh, let's grab a coupe glass from beyond the bar, and let's shake this and hopefully make it work. That's probably the nicest sounding shake I've heard all night. Another very Another nice Another saucer! I love it. Dude, yeah, that is very this. satisfying. It's so purple looking! I love it. Yo, keep this one for your next purple drink stream. This is a good one. Other episodes will pale in comparison to the bucket list episode. <laughs> bucket list episode. We finally accomplished our bucket and list. And they spelled it P A I L. Get it? Pale? Pale? pale. Get it? Pale. Get it? Get it? Did pale. you get it? It's like it's like bucket pale, like yes. a pale. Like that's, a pale and shovel. That's the joke. We're explaining the joke. Yes. It's still funny. It is. It's hilarious. It'll always be funny. It's Laugh. purple! <laughs> Laugh, goddammit! <laughs> Sorry, it was a little extreme there. Okay, I think we're gonna double strain this because I see a little bit As of do I, yeah. I see a little bit of curl stuff happening over there. Let's grab cocktail angle so we can observe the beautiful masterpiece that is occurring today. And let me grab let me do a quick clean on one of the um on the strainer. Yeah. Oh, you are very, very, very. Ew. I apparently need more strength. Uh, see, with every stream, I realize what I'm lacking. And apparently, everyone needs more strainers. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. Let me give us a little wipe down, too. There we I'll go. Grab nice, fine strain. mesh strainer as well. This will be good. Okie doke. Let's get her. Beautiful purple blackberry. If I had a blackberry to garnish this with, I totally would. However, and we got some blueberries. We could put little blueberries up on top of it. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, dandy, thank you. Let's do this. Come uh, over here. I need angle. Angle. Cocktail. I can be your angle. Or your devil. That is thick. Wow, dude. I'm sorry, that is like oh my God, thick that's with three C's so thick. Very thick. It is completely coating the bottom of that fine mesh strainer. <laughs> just like, just like, let it go. Just, just let it go. I'm gonna try to adjust the angle a little bit so we can kind of get a view of, whoops, I'm dripping. This is what oh we God, see Oh God, it angle. is literally all of the egg. <laughs> all of the egg. All of the egg. Cause the- All the egg. <sighs> For you. I you got it. I'm gonna dump this. They see that for a second. Like it is all the egg. Try to get all that stuff. Yeah, it's kinda this is a tiny little mesh strainer, so I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put it back into Oh, I'm so glad we strained that. I am so glad we double strained that. So am I. Yeah. I'll take this guy and put him in the bucket. And then I'm just gonna Cause that literally looks like ass. I'm gonna get the rest of it because I think we caught all the, the gooby bits. There we go. Got a nice purple hue to it. That's so pretty. Coolio! I think we can garnish this with a little blueberry. What do you think? I think that would work. I don't have any blackberries, unfortunately. So we're gonna just have to use the next best thing and use a blueberry. Blueberry! Blueberries, blueberries, blueberries! Whoa! <laughs> do you think. Do blueberries float? One way to find out. Blueberry. Blueberry? They do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's just like the coffee one, except. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This here we go. Is beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. That's not right. Hold on a second. Come over here. Come over here. Get back in place. 
No, 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 no. You got it. No. What are you doing, guys? All right. You know what? It's it's almost kind of out of this world. Do you know that one song, like the like. Flying purple people eater. Something, something, flying purple people eater. It kind of reminds me of that song for some reason. Something like that. Honestly, this is almost a little. It's kind of otherworldly. It looks alien. Just I say we call it ET. ET, the extra. Ooh, could we put like a blackberry joke in there, or like a blueberry joke of some sort? What do we think? What are you thinking of that? It does seem kind of alien. What else do we have? We had what was it? We had Blackberry. Yeah, we had Blackberry on Blackberry. Flip. Oh, something. Fl something flip. I could just call it the Blackberry flip. But no, no, I don't know. Blackberry flip phone. Maybe we just call it the flip phone. <laughs> the flip phone. Like like ET phone home. Yeah. Aliens phoning home. Flip phone? Flip phone. Wait, 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 wait. A Blackberry's a type of phone. Yes, that's what I said. Yes, Blackberry that's flip what phone. you mean, the Blackberry flip phone. Oh my God, I love it. Blackberry. Actually, how, is Blackberry like the phone spelled Blackberry, like regular? I wonder if there's like a brand name. Mm, I think it is just spelled normal. Either that or they just use the logo, which is a Blackberry. Blackberry phone. I'm gonna Google search it. Yeah. Yeah. Black. Uh, ca capital capital B. B's. Capital B's. Flip phone because it's a flip. Get it? It's a pun. Technically. Phone. The Blackberry flip phone. Great. In memory of uh, Verizon or something. Yes. Oh my god, I love that. This terrifies me because this is the first time I've ever seen or had a flip and it looks like there's still egg on the top. Rich says it kind of looks like a little dog face. <laughs> it kind of does. Yeah, I understand that. And Peter Griffin says, hi. Hello, Peter. How are Hello. you? So what do we think of it? I'm going to let you take the first taste. I, I see egg on that. I do <sighs> Oh, I love, dude, I love flip cocktails. I love that stuff. Ooh, there's some funny stuff happening in there. Yeah. That is kind of freaky. Creamy. Blackberry. That's tasty. I really like that. I think that actually goes perfectly with the honey syrup. I'm nervous because I see the egg. I believe in you. I believe in you. It's okay. What do you think? It's like uh, it's like a blackberry cream. It tastes very it tastes very much like the wine, but that honey syrup is adding an extra sweetness there. Like, yeah. it's very very pleasant. Nice. I'm definitely getting it on the aftertaste. Oh yeah, for sure. Wow, I was super happy that that worked in there. You have to fill this one to the rim if you're calling this the blackberry, which means I think what we'd have to do in the end is add an extra ounce of something. I bet if I add. This is purely for experimentation purposes, just to make sure that we get the ratios right. I'm gonna just add another half ounce to this and see whether or not that works out. Okay. Couldn't you just pour it in the glass up to the rim? I could, but then I wouldn't know exactly how much amount we have in there. I just wanna see if I can get this exactly right. Let's see. Half ounce, oh, that's a little over. Ooh, actually, a full ounce, perhaps? Just for the sake of... Dude, he could even use more of that. So adding like an extra ounce or so to that one would probably help with that. Getting it all the way up to the rim in terms of proportions. So originally, the Blackberry flip phone was two ounces of our bee berry wine. We had... A single ounce of our bee berry whiskey. Do you want to specify that that's a cream wine? A uh, cream. I'll write up the I'll write up the recipes more completely later. And then it was a half ounce of the honey syrup and one egg yolk. And if we wanted to add a whole another ounce to this, just to keep things proportioned, we could add... Extra. Actually, we could probably add a whole ounce and a half more, I think. 
Yeah. So I think we do 2.5, 1.5, and then a single hole for this guy. Yeah. I think that would work out better. And then it would be all the way up to the top without changing any of the proportions around. Yes. Rich says, research in motion, Rim, oh, was the original name of the BlackBerry company. Oh, deep cuts here. Get it? Get it? Fill to the rim. That's cool. And it's also research in motion because we went into this blind. Dude, we got mul we have multiple levels of stuff here. Layers upon layers, layers upon, upon layers, layers of like eggs drinks. And eggs and drinks. It's true. Yes. Also, Peter, thank you for dropping that follow. Yeah. Over there. Welcome. We're at the tail end of the cocktail stream, but there'll be more next week, I promise you that. So that was Dude, we made two cocktails. That's so cool. Yeah. I love when experimentation and wonderful things happen on this stream. That was great. And hopefully soon I'll be able to have you try Fudge Ripple. Oh my god, I look forward to it. So, we've been to a number of places this evening. A number of places, all involving wine. I will go get all of our wine contenders from the tables over here and we'll line things up appropriately and do a little bit of a cocktail roundup just to see where we've been this evening. Yeah, and uh, oh, um, oh, you know what? No. Okay. I was just saying that I probably need a coaster for this bubbly little dude. Bubbly, bubbly, Not bubbly, 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 but... bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. It's not really bubbly, it's kind of creepy though. So let's see, we started with, it was the watermelon guy. So let's bring you guys over here. I'm trying to see if I can round things up appropriately. We had our watermelon wine. Then we went to our blueberry, I think. We either went to yeah, we went to the that one second, and went then to the blueberry. we went to the cranberry. Cranberry, which we had over this guy. I'm trying. I don't want a spider glasses, but I'm doing it for the purposes of presentation. We did <laughs> spider. Then for the daffodil, we did have the yellow jacket, but that is a long time. <laughs> the yellow jacket's back here because it's it's gone. It was too yeah. good. It was too good to it pass up. It was too good. Absolutely. Then we also had for our cream wines, we have our love you a latte. We have which was our butter pecan, and Black we have the blackberry flip phone, here, which is over there. And the love you a latte over here. So let's take things back to where we were previously, all the way at the very beginning. I'm just gonna pull up my recipes here so we have it, and we'll recite all of the ones that we had previously. So the first cocktail that we made was something called the Troublemaker, Troublemaker. starring the watermelon Moscato wine from Tomasello. All of the wines that you see before you are from Tomasello Winery. They decided to ghost me on Instagram, so I'm doing this in spite of them. <laughs> the Troublemaker was made by combining a single ounce of vodka with two ounces of watermelon Moscato to one ounce of orange juice, an ounce and a half of Aperol liqueur if you have it. We used Campari, probably incorrectly so, one and a half ounces of watermelon seltzer, and top it off with some spumante wine, or just something that's sparkling. Yes. What we did is we muddled up a bit of a watermelon whose name is Burn and has been cursing the stream the entire time with technical difficulties in a lot of it, um, and then we added some club soda to it. So we kind of made our own little watermelon soda there. It was... Okay. It tasted it little, like ranch water. It was a little too weird. It was a little too bitter. Kind of tasted like this ranch water cocktail where you combine tequila, lime, and uh, mineral water together, or sparkling water together. And, um, it didn't really taste like it was in the right place. It was a kind, of, kind of oddly mixed together. I think just some of the proportions there and the ingredients that we subbed out for, just like sometimes you can sub out Campari with Aperol. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can. And I think this is one of those moments where we've learned from that. Aperola will eventually find its way to this bar. I just have to be less lazy about ingredients. There's, there's so many back here. We can't have them all. So the next cocktail that we covered was the Blueberry Hill, Blueberry Hill which was delicious. I think probably one of my, aside from trying not to think about our own creations over here because that would be biased, that was probably my favorite of the evening. The blueberry wine to me was very, very sweet. It was candy-like. It almost tasted like like a like a, a juicy gum that had like this wonderful aftertaste that I just fell in love with. In the cocktail form, we combined two ounces of that blueberry Moscato with two ounces of white cranberry juice, a single ounce of gin, half an ounce of triple sec, and we added some sparkling water up on top after we shook everything together, put a little lime, uh, lemon wedge on there, and some blueberries as well. Very tasty, very refreshing, and just perfect as- Perfect for summer. Perfect for the summertime, or the springtime, which we are- yes. The weather's getting warmer over here, so it's a, it's a very pleasant cocktail for that. Mm -hmm. The next cocktail that we went into utilized the cranberry Moscato, and that was our cranberry. Cran cranberry Cosmo. Cranberry Combo. <laughs> cranberry Cosmo. Cranberry Cosmopolitan, which was very good. The Cranberry oh, yeah. Moscato, very tart, nicely balanced. If you're into like the tart stuff, I'm not personally a tart kind of guy. But when combined together with 
an ounce of vodka to two ounces of the wine with a single ounce of, it recommends Grand Marnier, but we used a, some, um, a, an orange liqueur called Citronge uh, with the juice of half a lime combined together. Very, very pleasant. Especially with the thyme that we put on top as a garnish. It didn't call that... for the thyme, but there was an image that looked like there was thyme in it, so we just put it in there anyway. It just really rounded up the whole Very much so. Up. Very nice herbal notes. I was very, very, I was very surprised to see that the actual, the, um, the notes from the thyme actually made its way into the rest of the cocktail. Oh, that yeah. was so interesting because we only dropped it in there like so soon after making it. So it was kind of cool. I guess some some herbs are a lot quicker to infuse. Than yeah, others. I know and mint thyme is one of them. Mint as well, indeed. No mint this time, though. But uh, the blueberry one was kind of minty in its own special way. What if we did combine the blueberry with the mint next blueberry time? With the mint would be pretty good. Oh, yeah. I don't have any fresh mints, unfortunately. I have to go to the store for that. I did have a mint plant, and somehow I killed it. How? I left it there for too long. I tried to water it, and the water started puddling. And I was like, yep, yeah, I screwed this up. Somehow. Smooth. That's what I get. So the next cocktail that we made utilized, where are you? It was this da this yes. uh, daffodil. Yes, daffodil it was the wine. yellow jacket. The yellow jacket. And the yellow jacket was, oh, so tasty. Yeah, it, Somehow, it turned into the flavor of lychee. It was so interesting. It was so good. Somehow, the flavors of two ounces of daffodil white wine combined with two ounces of pineapple juice, a single ounce of St. Germain or elderflower liqueur, and one ounce of lemon lime soda combined together to taste tastes like something that was almost like lychee fruit. Yeah. Kind of citrusy, very, very floral. Biggest note, mm. if you have it, please use fresh pineapple juice. It yes. It's totally worth I it. I think the distinction that here was that- That thing is addicting. This was utilizing pineapple juice that I created over the course of the weekend where I made, I made some pina coladas, had a shit ton of pineapples in the house, and I was like, what the heck do I do with all this? So I made some pineapple souffle and had some fresh pineapple juice. It's the first time I've used fresh pineapple juice before, and my goodness, I think that is what made that cocktail. It makes all the difference. It really did, because it tasted nothing like pineapple juice I've had from a can or pineapple juice I've had from a bottle before. Yeah, it, was it a, tastes it was actually like pineapple. Oh yeah, and it was good. Oh yeah. Super duper good. That would have been my favorite if I didn't already um, sell my salt to the, sell, sell my Sell your to, soul? Sell my salt to the blueberries. I did, <laughs> and my soul indeed. And then the other cocktails that we made this evening. We did make ourselves. Indeed. Because um, Thomas Ella Winery, Olive Mode wine, brand new. They don't have any cocktails for them yet. So uh, we took our butter pecan wine, um, added a couple of cinnamon notes to it, mm -hmm. and basically turned it into our I Love You a Latte. Indeed, and the I Love You a Latte is made utilizing two ounces of your butter pecan cream wine, a single ounce of your Mr. Black or some other coffee liqueur. We used the Mr. Black Amaro. Mm -hmm. It was great. I would highly recommend you using something that's a little more coffee floral forward as opposed to, let's say, like a Kahlua, for instance, that's a little more on the sweeter side. Yes. We also a added- A quarter ounce yeah. of gold, gold Slayer? Gold, gold Slayer. Slayer. A cinnamon liqueur. Not too much of it, just enough to kind of give those cinnamony spice notes. And that was- Because Lord, that stuff is potent. That was good. And then a full mm -hmm. ounce of whole milk. You could probably use a milk equivalent. It's going to attest that the, the, it's going to affect the taste of it a little bit, and it's going to affect the texture a bit too. Oat milk, if you want something that's more akin to the texture. Almond milk with those vanilla notes, that'll be something a little more akin to the flavor that we have here with the whole milk. Coconut milk, that's your Who game. Knows? Play around with it. Do whatever you want with it. Cashew milk. Experimentation. Totally out there. Uh, the, uh, after the I Love You a Latte, which utilized the butter pecan cream wine, we had Our this- Our last cocktail of the evening was the Blackberry Flip Phone. Indeed, the Blackberry Flip Phone using the Blackberry cream wine, which combined together two and a half ounces, and this is for the sake of the proportions, if you yes. want to fill all the way up to the rim. To the rim, otherwise. Otherwise, you could do it. Just take off a half an ounce of all these guys. Yes. That's the way that we made it. Two and a half ounces of the blackberry cream wine, mm -hmm. one and a half ounces of the blackberry whiskey, an ounce of honey syrup, mm -hmm. and a single egg yolk. A single egg yolk. It is a flip after all, and we have to have the egg yolk in there. It's nice. It's got a beautiful, the, the it's wine very itself. very velvety. Very velvety. It tastes very like, it's, it's. It is dummy thick. Yes, and very blackberry. Yes. I was very shocked to find that like the flavors of the blackberry, despite the fact that most of it is blackberry flavors, didn't get like, like, like distracted by the honey syrup, which was a nice addition, or the egg yolk, which kind of gives its own kind of creamy flavor Funkiness on its own. It. Exactly. I'll admit like they think the cream part of the cream wine counteracted the dryness that you would usually get when you add your egg yolk to a cocktail. So it was nice. Mm -hmm. pretty, good, pretty good for a first attempt at that stuff. Oh yeah. And that was all the cocktails that we made this evening. 
We went long on this one. This oh is, yeah. I, I was saying I was saying the other it day is that literally like literally after midnight. It's true. I was just saying last week was the longest one that I had in a while. But my goodness, when we have all this fun stuff, a bunch of wines to taste and cocktails to make, that's the, that's exciting. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that we saved that towards the end because I feel like that was very exciting to like kind of end on a high note. Yes. Very much so. Gosh. And that's all we have for this evening. Yeah. That's all That's all we've got. I'm very happy that I was joined by my pal Kirsten, a.k.a. the Corrupted Jasper, this time around. Woohoo! We'll be back next week with something more or less completely different. I'll greet you all on the end screen over here, over yonder. Coming into the middle over here. There we go. Now we're both yeah. in this little circle over here. This was very fun. Kirsten, yeah. thank you so much for coming along to the bar. It Thanks was a for joy. Me. I'm so glad that you got all these wines. I was honestly a little scared because I thought maybe that we wouldn't be able to get through everything, but... Damn, we did. Yeah. That was really cool. Even though it took a little while, it was uh, it was all fun. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'm glad that I could bring one of my favorite wineries to your taste buds. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to definitely get <laughs> I feel like we could just get a whole we could get like a whole another like um a whole nother like stream of the whole thing using just different ones. Yeah, like I could totally bring like three other different Moscatos. Maybe one of the either Rainier Red Come or Rainier. Here. Come over here. Keep your face in the pretty like, circle. Either like a Rainier Red, Rainier White. They have so many freaking wines. Mm. Um, but Are one you... that's not necessarily a Moscato or a cream wine, and two other cream wines, and basically do this all over again. There we go. Now that's better. Now our face is in there properly. I just realized we didn't have the squeeze in there. I can just zoom smooth. out the camera a little bit. Smooth move. I just wanted an excuse to get close to Kirsten. Hey. Well, this was fun. Everybody, yeah. you know, this was this was really, really great. Uh, just to let you know, in case you're kind of new around here, a lot of really fun people who popped in at the toward the kind of the latter half of things. So yeah, like, welcome to all the again, new. The one raid. Indeed, indeed. Welcome to all the new the new folks. We'll be back here again next Wednesday, at eight o'clock p.m. This is, this is what we do. We'll be something completely different. I'll probably be on my lonesome next week, but in two weeks from now, we'll have another special guest who's coming in. Always love guests on this bar stream. Who's coming in? We got a friend more than awesome who's popping on in a week Woo! or so from now. Ooh. Indeed, indeed. Somebody flying far flung just to be on this. And they're bringing some special bottles with us. Oh, is that the chart? The chart the episode. Oh my God, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Well, to everybody out there, no matter who you are, where you are, or what you, you are, or when and even, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night out there if the moon is shining. Indeed. If the uh, sun is shining out there, may you have a wonderful rest of your morning. Yes. Hope these wine cocktails serve you well if that's the kind of day that you plan on having from now on. Afternoon, dawn, twilight, no matter where we are, the party will continue next time. Thank you, everybody, so much. Until next time, y'all. Bye. Bye.